Yeah, hello everybody. So we're gonna be playing some Minecraft today. Very, very simple Minecraft. No big deal. Um, yeah, uh, we we are playing Craft to Exile Two. It's the sequel of the original Craft to Exile, which was an extremely bloated uh, loadout running on a very old version of Minecraft. This, however, is a bit different. We are in the overworld presently, and you can see my horde of zombies. No problem. Uh, we are playing at the moment a uh, what what do you call it? A warlock, as far as our class goes. And you can see how we have five points into Summon Zombie. Uh, five points into Poison Blast. Uh, one point into Curse of Agony. One point into Return Summon. And five points into Summon Skeletons. And uh, also one point into Poison Cloud. <clears throat> we uh, also have increased cast speed. We put five points into that. And um, some 3% life steal. That's what we picked up off our class. Now, as far as our talent tree goes, uh, the talent tree is pretty basic, as you can see. It's uh, not that, uh, uh, you know, complex or anything. So what we did specifically is we started off with uh, staves, and then we headed up and through magic damage, then over to minion damage, then up over to intelligence, got ourselves an extra jewel socket, once we got that jewel socket, we jogged over and got a game changer talent that uh, causes our summons to have less health but deal more damage. Then we jogged up over here and got uh, Summoner, where we deal 25% less damage, but that's fine because our summons deal more damage and we have more summons. So after that, we went over to the side and got Eldritch Battery, where 35% of the damage uh, we... Um, take is absorbed by mana before health so uh that's uh that worked out pretty well anyway uh that that's what we've been up to so uh previously we found this chapel here whoops ah ah chapel of course i hear a spider uh jeez one of these days, one of these days, I'll remember how to use the damn wand. Ah, ah. But for now, uh, yes. Give me a second. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me see here. Um. <clears throat> anyway. Remember when I said deranged folks come out to the Minecraft streams to get banned? Holy crap. Okay. Not, not even, like, two minutes in and a crazy person showed up. Now, uh, let's see. I have to figure out this... Like, the, there's a staff here in the corner, and I have to figure out how to get to it, because I have no idea what I'm doing regarding the uh, buttons there. I know, like, this is my dodge roll. Q, Q is my dodge roll, but I need to figure out how to get access to that... Uh, the front slot we have there, so... Um, let me see here. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, give me a second. I'm just gonna fix things up on the other side there. Ah, ah. Uh, not not a whole lot. Just uh, uh, weird weird shit. Yeah. Okay, that should more or less do it. So, um, I forgot how to get access to this little corner slot. Uh, go figure. Me being stupid, no. But uh, let's go ahead and have a look at the controls, specifically keybinds. And it should be, uh, it, it should be hotbar slot one. At least I thought it was part of the hotbar, but then I look over and uh, yeah, it's like this This isn't part of the hot, like, oh, further over from the hotbar is my magic wand. And I'm trying to figure out, okay, well, if I have the magic wand equipped, Oh, okay, it's in my shield slot. That explains everything. Somehow my shield and tome slots got uh, swapped around. I was trying to figure out why things were kind of odd, and th that's the reason. So, uh, in theory, we see the spider now. Oh, hello. This, this skeleton out there. Uh, well, first things first. We summon some zombies. Then we'll uh, go fight. Yep. Yeah. Okay. 
Use uh, poison bolt on that. Uh, that yeah, that skeleton wants to kill me. Jeez. Okay, I think we got everything. There's a spider off in the distance. We can just hit that with poison bolt. See what happens. Oh, it is quite dead. Very good. Very good. Point is, uh, bad things come out at night, and we have to be careful. So um, everything else seems to be good over here. I'm gonna go back. So uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, earlier I found this church. Uh, if we if we open up the map, I can explain better. We started over here in uh, this village, right? And what ended up happening is we died in a dungeon underneath the uh, uh, underneath this area. So we ended up kind of exploring. Uh, we explored over kind of to this region and uh, died up here. You know, we, we died in this area. Then <clears throat> we um, we came back over because we found this chapel, right? And behind the chapel, we built up a, uh, a kind of a big, big old box that's going to act as our fortress. By the way, our farm fields are a um, they're, they're a text bubble. You can see uh, right there. Um, but no, these are our farm fields next to the uh, uh, like this this huge base we built on the back of the chapel. And so we're going to kind of be messing around with that. Uh, our goal is ultimately, you can see we have a bed here. But uh, we're going to build this up, uh, like, uh, the outside of the wall we're going to build, like, uh, uh, four wide. You can see how I've already built it up toward the front here. So the idea is that a creeper explosion can't, um, uh, can't, can't deal with it. Yes, uh, sorry, can't stop us. But, uh, yeah, we look out here and we can see, like, all the, uh, the nonsense there. There's a skeleton there. It shot at me immediately. There was a, uh, a mega zombie down there. It's great. Everyone loves a mega zombie. Mega zombies can survive, uh, quite a bit. So, we need to be extra careful. You can see, uh, uh there's a zombie with a grappling hook there. Those are scary as well. Now, that mega zombie gets back up. The fact that we killed the mega zombie doesn't mean a whole lot. It's got like six more lives. And you see, bam, I got pulled down. That's what I meant. That's what I meant when I said uh, it's scary. Because uh, uh, I just got grappled down. Just like I said. Anyway, we gotta just keep killing the mega zombie. I, my poison bolt should take care of it. I also have a poison splash that I can execute. When he gets back up. Uh, that did hurt. We actually killed the mega zombie successfully. All right. Let's uh, get out of here. So, my uh, ultimate goal is to populate my base, but also to create, um, like, a certain amount of blocks around it. Like, um, here, hold on. I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean. So, um, basically, what I want to do is... Uh, get, get out of my way, zombies. The, the sun is coming up. Perfect. Okay, you can see right here... The the uh the three block radius between uh uh the inside of my base and the um uh what do, what do you call it um uh, sorry the the inside of, like because my the inside of my base is one block through this this right now zombies can dig through dirt so dirt is not an effective uh way of stopping them in other words we have to mine. Uh, yes. That, that zombie attacked me. Didn't do uh, very well for himself, but that's because we have energy shield. And we, we don't just tank damage with health. We have energy shield on top of that. Anyway, uh, my goal specifically... Well, bird. Crazy. No idea why the bird uh, did that, but it did. Okay, as I was saying... Um, Basically, if you look here, there's a kind of a barrier, right? A one, two, three, um, kind of a three block barricade. So we need to do that all around this base eventually. Not right now. It doesn't doesn't matter a whole lot because we can just repair, you know, damage in it. But if a creeper were to say explode against the wall, we don't want it to uh, come all the way through and break the bed, which it will do at present. That is an unfortunate reality. So, 
Uh, our main goal at the moment will be to go and mine up some more stone. Now, mining is a lot faster. Like, mining for resources specifically is a lot faster. You can see down here is where my base originally was. Um, as, as we dug things out. And then if you go deeper down, it's... Uh, this is where... This is like... These are caves full of monsters. It's fine, though. It's fine. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to go all the way down. Ooh la la. Um gonna say do i have torches doesn't look like i have torches this is a problem the zombies are just banking out of existence that's what's going on okay so in this spot in particular i need to hold a particular button and i forgot what it was to do the uh there we go that's the uber mine so what we do is we do that and then it, it digs a whole section of uh you know uh, of ore out that we can then kind of harvest but uh that's basically what we want to do is we just want to kind of dig deeper and deeper and then regret our decision as we uh, get massacred by everything. It's it's fine. So you can see how um, my mining level increased, though. And that can be used to mine better and faster, in theory. In reality, not so much. Not right now. But uh, we definitely want to make sure our mining skill keeps going up. I'm going to dig this section out. No big deal. It just needs to go away. And then we can continue our, our journey up. And the idea is zombies will, and uh, the monsters will spawn in the darkness there. So we do need torches. I have a, an army of zombies with me to um, deal with things. But not in close quarters, unfortunately. Um, right here is a problem. Go figure. There we go. Now we can climb up. It's uh, kind of a weird thing, but basically if a monster were to do this, they wouldn't be able to come up. You have to go around this way. Um, um, you said a beast tamer option? Yeah, I understand. But uh, that really comes down to... I gotta check these different chests. Uh, it, it comes down to the mod in question. I'm sure that if you look hard enough, there are other mods that would support that. Just not this loadout. Uh. Okay. So I got a bunch of pickaxes I'm just going to shove together in the uh, workbench here. For no other reason. Oh, um, is not the workbench? Could have sworn. Oh, okay. So they have to be identical. Yeah, it makes sense. That doesn't matter a whole lot. I just uh, th these run the verge of breaking, and uh, so I merge them. It's either that or straight up repair them. That that's not what I want to do though. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're uh, getting closer to finishing Marwin. That's uh, great to hear. I uh, probably have like three or four more streams of the main quest. Then I'll move on to Tribunal and then Blood Moon. But, uh, like, I did a lot of side content. I also will probably work on the Imperial Guilds once I get the main quest done. Oops, I did not mean to put a staircase there. Ah, uh, uh, that's my bad. But no, no, I need to figure out, um, why I don't have torches, considering I picked up coal. That's flint. Screw it. Let's just uh, make some torches real quick. I can get at least four made with this. More importantly, uh, we can get some more coal. Now that we did that. don't know why I have so many seeds as well. Hmm. Seeds will be in the corner here, I think. I need to start uh, actually labeling my chests with signs, I think. That's just something that's going to have to happen. I'm going to, like, c considering I have so much real estate to work with, I can probably set up areas that are dedicated exclusively to uh, types of uh, types of chests. Um, uh, you know, like, uh, apply whole sections for them. Hold on a second. Whoops. Okay, that's good. It's also good. And, yeah, it looks like we can just mine out a... Uh, whole section here of uh coal that's that's nice 
grab a few more units of coal over here. Um, that'll do. Okay. Just need to be able to make sure I can climb up here. Yep. My goodness. Uh, did I get the doge in Final Fantasy fourteen? Yes. Um, gotta say, though, it was kind of, it was somewhat off-putting having, um, having Yoshida look directly at me and say, buy my game. He did that, you know. He, he straight up, um, he, he straight up does that. He's, uh, it, it, uh, here we go. Hold on. So. He's all like, uh, let me let me pull it up. So, uh, he he's like, ahem, uh, the power to peer into other worlds was not granted to me by today's miracles. However, I wonder if you might manage it. What he was actually saying right there, well, what he was actually saying right there was by Final Fantasy sixteen. That that's what the guy was actually saying, right? Ahem. Yeah. Ahem. Okay. Come on. Good. We're getting there. Anyway. Uh, I don't know anything about automation. I, uh... I summon skeletons... Uh, sorry, uh, I, I, I summon zombies, and I shoot poison bolts, and I, uh, I progress my tech tree. So, uh, w w which is currently working toward, um, uh, what, what do you call it? Well, I, I recently got, uh, mana battery, but I'm not sure. Probably I'm gonna get this, this extra jewel socket. Uh, that's what I'm going for right now. So, no, I don't, I don't know anything about automation, sorry. Um, that doesn't ring a bell. All right, let's see here. Do, 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 do. It is Path of Exile. That's you, you say it looks like Path of Exile. It's it's called Craft to Exile Two. LOL. As in um um as in that's a nice ability you got there. You have support gems for it, like faster cast rate. Or, yeah, faster cast or uh, fa faster projectiles. You got your support gems locked in for your skills? Yes. <laughs> um, don't know anything about uh, that. It's a feature of everything here. Whoop. Hmm. Gotta dig further back to make sure there's like an actual staircase here. Um, we were already exiled. Talamoana warrior. Uh, all right. Oh, there's a blue thing. That's crazy. Don't remember the blue gym. Need to dig my way back out. Mm-hmm. Miss the uh, feeling of early Minecraft. I mean, kind of, sorta. I, I haven't played vanilla Minecraft in many, many years, so when people say that uh, current Minecraft feels like a mod pack parody of its original self, um, I kind of, I understand what they mean, but at the same time, um, I don't play it, so don't know. Like, I ha haven't played it in years. Not really inspired to. Okay. Well, this should do it. Got the lapis there. Mm-hmm. Gotta dig up. There we go. I gotta head back up to the entrance. Yep. Do, 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 do. Missed the, you, the lonely uh, vibe. Yes. Nothing but undead and spiders and creepus. Ha ha ha. Right. Yeah. Um. So. I know that there. This area right here leads to a cave section. Like where uh, monsters are. They dug through the dirt and 
and uh, made it really painful. But uh, it shouldn't be too much of an issue here. Let's see. First things first, we got the cobblestone. We need to start reinforcing the walls, which is kind of why I uh, came uh, was doing that digging. So let's let's do that right now. Let's uh, apply some uh, co cobby stone on the outside. So what I wanted to do specifically was to kind of uh, one two right. Same deal here. So. Um, Basically, I'm just creating a barricade that's three blocks tall. And the idea is that enemies can't really dig through this. At least it's not the type of rain you get in other uh, games like Breath of the Wild. Th that's some terrible rain right there. Okay. In any case, what th these blocks are is they are a buffer. So if a mega creeper were to generate an explosion here, um, it couldn't destroy this section of the wall all the way into the base. That's the idea behind it anyway. The reality, maybe not so much. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's, that's basically what we're doing here for the moment. Mm-hmm. Okay. That should do it. Yeah, I haven't played Minecraft in a long, long time. Do, 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 do. Mm hmm Yep. So. That should do... Yeah, I don't think there's anything else we need to do here. Just want to make sure that uh, this section is mostly inaccessible to the monsters. Speaking of monsters, I see them all around. I'm going to go take a nap. Only because I'd rather not fight while I'm in quote-unquote building mode. So, yeah, the, the blue moon is nice. You can get extra loot off monsters. But that's really not what we have to worry about at the moment. Uh... Let me see here. Your friend is talking about starting a realm. Ah, yeah. Makes sense. Okay. Well, that should do it. Our goal now is to bury the under side of this. Because uh, it's not good having monsters being able to dig up underneath you. And unfortunately, zombies can dig. Zombies and skeletons specifically can dig through. Um, uh, what do you call it? Through dirt. So we are capping this whole section with, uh, you know, uh, uh, some form of stone to make it very difficult for them to get in. We're basically securing the area due to, like, for example, a mega, um, a zombie titan can smash the dirt pretty severely and just create holes in it. And so our goal is, if we're fighting around the house, we don't want any uh, real issues. Yes. Ah, ah. Um, you're not subscribed. Eh, that happens. I. It, it just depends. There are people who get... Um, recommended things all the time. YouTube tries to keep people engaged and then it... Uh, uh, trust me, the the reversed is true for a lot of people. They will be subscribed, and then they won't uh, they won't see people in their sub boxes who they're subscribed to. It's uh, it's bonkers. The other day, uh, I tried to uh, tried to find this one lady, uh, Tamriel, um, different spelling, and um, I could not find her in my sub box at all. It was absolutely uh, ridiculous. Oh, shit. Excuse me. Poison bolt. Yep. We got him. There was a skeleton under there the whole time. What a shame. Anyway. If I can get this kind of dealt with, then I don't have to worry about uh, monsters being underneath this section of the house. And that's, that's the reason we're kind of sealing this area off. Um, 
would like that uh, torch. It looks like my inventory's full, which is typical. Get the hell out. Uh, I want to keep the wooden bowls, but get out flowers. Okay. Um, going to say seeds. Put the torch up here instead. There we go. And so it should be more or less the same as uh, just kind of make sure to uh, seal this off. That way, uh, because, because monsters spawn in darkness, right? And they can't spawn in a sealed area, but they can, uh, they can spawn in like crevices. So you kind of want to make sure that there are no crevices on the outside of the house. And also make sure there's nowhere that those uh, those digging skeletons can uh, dig up underneath. So, um, uh, 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 a ma mausoleum. Oh, you don't know. Uh, this is actually uh, we actually create found a church, and so it's less a house and more a um, you know. Uh, <laughs> A, a, uh, a crypt or a necropolis on the back end of the church that we uh, came across. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Anyway, I'm trying to... There we go. Cool. Uh, point is... Dig these two out. Good. Couple more of these and we'll be done done. I, I keep hitting the blocks in the wrong way because I'm smart, you see. Okay. That should do it. Mm -hmm. Too short, can't reach. T t tiny, t tiny little Minecraft character. C can't reach at all. What a shame. Okay. Stubby little arms. All right. Point is that we um, shouldn't have to worry about monsters burrowing in anymore from this section anyway. There should be one more stack of this. Nope, not even. Ah, ah, we used it all up. Doesn't matter. Whoa. Okay, that is a different type of material. Let's let's get going. So um. We need to get some torches made and get ready to explore. But yeah, this was the church that we found initially. Like if we, over here is the church. And then this is the area we built on, like behind the church, as well as the farm fields we have set up. While it is still daytime, we should check out the farm fields. Uh, they don't look ready yet, but um, I guess th these are fine. These uh, tamahatos. Don't have to worry about those a whole lot. Same thing for the cabbages. Uh, ca ca yes, cabbages. Although I did get some more cabbage seeds, which are nice. The potatoes are not all grown yet, so this is going to be a pain no matter how we deal with it. And did I live through a blood moon yet? Yes. Yeah, blood moon wasn't that difficult. Um, hold on a second. Okay, so I do have 64 coal. I will be able to make plenty of torches. In fact, I can make the torches right now and uh, then be sad because... Like, can, can we put two mine picks in here? Yeah, yeah, we can. Cool. And then we take the torches. Should be... Uh, where's the sticks? There's the sticks. And there's the coal. Cool. So we just make one uh, 64 stack of torches. And now I don't have to worry anymore. Yeah. I thought, oh, well, I can't go that deep or I'm going to die. It's not that big a deal. So, um, but yeah, this, this area used to be the uh, courtyard um, behind the church that we kind of made walls for. And now we've got it all set up in a way that is, uh, you know, like uh, th this is our new base up top. Underneath it is our old base that we carved out beneath the church. It's no big deal. Um, we'll use... Yeah. 
interesting. Did I just get Flint off that? I think I think Flint just dropped. Ah, ah. Um, first things first. Wait, those are gems. Put the gems away. What else? Ah, yes, food. Seeds. Uh, anything else? Uh, tomatoes. Yes. But uh, yeah, that's the flint. This is the gravel. In any case, eminently diggable stuff we get out of here. Uh, let's see, that's a rep that's an upgrade. That's a salvaging station. That's a smoker, and that's a grindstone. As I remember, like the grindstone could be used to uh, repair things. I just don't remember the uh, detail of it, how it works, because, you know, that would require some form of knowledge. All right. First things first, we need to go grab some more stone real quick. We're going to use that stone to make a bunch of pickaxes. Dig uh, we could just get stone basically anywhere here, but I'm going to continue my uh, dig down. Hopefully there is stone down here. Seems to be changing into other materials. Ah, ah, uh, it's fine. Um, that's copper ore. Forgot what copper ore was even used for. I don't think it existed back when I played. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure the versions of Minecraft that I played didn't have copper ore. Hmm... This is uh, going to bother me forever. Well, either way. Should be able to dig through that. Yeah, these aren't uh, cobblestone either. That's fairly new. Yeah. Feels that way. Let's get. I hear like a reverberation effect like I'm in a cave section. Well, I can't dig any further with just this pickaxe. I'm going to need to actually grab some cobblestone. Or we're going to be in for a bad situation. Uh, let's eat some bowls of rice real quick. How many bowls of rice do you need? Well, uh, we, we eat copious amounts of rice, yes. Uh, more importantly, though, I'm looking around going... Uh, none of this is... Hot, like actual stone. This is all uh, andesite. And I'm like, but that's not what I need. Okay, I found some some stone over here. Let's dig it out then. Oh jeez. Well, that went crunch. How much stone did I get? That's gravel. That's andesite. Nineteen stone. Okay, cool. That's not too bad. Okay, that broke the pickaxe, but we should have 34 stone, so we can make some pickaxes using that. Alternatively, if we were messing with iron, we could repair our pickaxe pretty easily, but uh, I'm not finding any iron along this path. That's just luck more than anything else. Or lack thereof. Hmm. Yeah, now I want to know what copper ore makes. What was the button for that? It was... Yeah, I see that. There's blocks of copper. Copper barrels. Copper rods. Diving boots? Huh. Interesting. A diving helmet. That is super interesting. A back tank. It looks like we can use copper to go underwater. Interesting. Nope, well, first things first. Sticks. And ore. Hold on. That, yeah, so it looks like a bunch of uh, tools. Whoops. Ah, ah, drop those on the ground like an idiot. Okay, more importantly, we're going to put away most of the pickaxes. 
pick up the rest of that stuff. Yeah, we should be fine. We have, we have uh, a couple pickaxes we can grab on our way through. That should do it. Okay. Let's uh, use up the last of these pickaxes to dig down and see what we find. I'm interested in this one way or the other, so... We'll be uh, fighting on the surface again pretty soon once we get done with this little uh, dig we're doing. I like how that hurt me. It went right through my energy shields. The falling damage, I mean. Okay. And you can kind of see how uh, far down it all goes. Ooh, that's zinc. A world without zinc. That was a Simpsons episode. Okay, this pickaxe is done. Next pickaxe. Kind of, kind of dig our way back up. Sadly, it's like we can clear massive sections, but those massive sections aren't guaranteed to be useful, or in a way that helps us. Oops, there we go. Cool. All right, that'll just about do it. Yeah, we can use that to climb up. So, um, zinc. Take a crafting table with you? Possibly. Might be worth doing. That is some ver verdium. What an interesting uh, type of thing there. Okay, looks like we got one more pickaxe, which means we'll probably do one more thing here. And then... Uh, yeah, well, we'll consider taking the pick at uh, the uh, the table with us next time. For now, I've got about another couple of these uh, chunks to go, and then uh, that should do it. Okay, this is uh, pretty cool. There's some more uh, of everything, really. Oops, trying to head on up. Ah. Uh, what do you mean head on up? You, your pickaxe breaks. You, you are screwed. Probably. I'm probably screwed. It's fine, really. Okay, we can go now. So, uh, that was a decent dig. I'm just gonna end up digging straight lines from now on. As nice as this, uh, these large sections have been, I might need to change up my, uh, what do you call it? Um, shift and mouse. Shift and middle mouse? No. Shift and up arrow. There we go. Yeah, it's a small tunnel. That's what I wanted to do. A mining tunnel. Yeah. Okay. I, uh... I was going to say, it should be easier now. It shouldn't be as uh, large uh, or extraction as it's been. I'm going to be doing a small mining tunnel instead. But uh, first things first, we're going to turn those sticks and uh, all that stone and sticks into uh, more pickaxes. Um, shouldn't be that big a deal. Just need to, you know, try to break less pickaxes. Ah, ah. Okay, so first things first, we're going to take a bunch of sticks with us. How many sticks do we have? We have two sticks here, 64 sticks there, and I think we can use an axe to chop this uh, station. No, mm, there's an axe. Okay, cool. Yeah, we can use the axe to chop the station there. Uh, howdy, John. So what we have here is we have... Uh, we, we are playing a necromancer, so we can summon zombies. Uh, a, as you can see, uh, we can also summon skeletons for a brief amount of time. So the, ske the skeletons are archers. Uh, additionally, we have a poison bolt. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, poison bolt and then uh, like poison field. 
So we, we those are on alternating cooldowns, so we can actually kind of do both. Um, but uh, we are uh, at present, if we go over to our skill tray, yeah, we're running with Poison Blast, Summon Zombie, uh, Poison Cloud, as in Summon Skeletons, as well as Curse of Agony. Uh, though Curse of Agony is on a second bar, and I'm kind of lazy about switching to it. So, um, as far as our talent tree go, you can see this is a perfectly normal and reasonable talent tree. So, what we've done is we've gone up from the staff over, gotten the magic skill nodes, crossed over to summon damage, then gone up, got a jewel socket, came back down, got minion frenzy, which reduces the minion health, but uh, increases their uh, damage dealt. Then we went up over here and got the summoner, which increases our summons by three and increases their damage, but reduces the damage ideal. So, um... Yeah, that, that's how that works. Then we went over and we got Eldritch Battery from uh, Path of Exile, you know, just to stray up the same talent. Or damage absorbed is, uh, you know, by mana. Yeah. Yeah, this is the this is the Necropolis update. Uh, we summon uh, Zombies. Uh, the Necropolis is located behind a church, specifically. You can see right here. Um, th this, is, this is a church, but we've... Uh, We've been building the necropolis on the back side of the church. If you look at the map here, uh, the, the church is right here. And uh, this is the home base we've been building. So, um, yeah, we've been digging down into the earth. But it's nighttime and there's a skeleton that wants to kill us. So, thankfully, our summon zombies are good enough. Yes. So, uh, in addition, if we look at some of the other uh, things, though. It's kind of funny because, like, if we look at our skills, I have a faster projectile support gym on my poison bolt, and I have faster cast support gym on my zombies. So I can summon my zombies faster, and my poison bolts don't fly super slow. It's uh, kind of nice. I, I don't have uh, that many support gems at the moment, but it's, it's getting there. So. And you can kind of hear... Zombies were hiding against the walls there, waiting to ambush me. Terrible on them, but hey. Uh, the the sun rises and begins to destroy the zombies. Fine. By the way, this these this hole these two holes here were made by a mega creeper. Mega creepers are very interesting in the sense that they uh, they can explode repeatedly, and uh, they do not care for your um. Uh, for for your normal hits, they 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 will survive many a hit. Yes. Okay. In any case, oh god, Enderman. Enderman. Woo wee! He was in my house. I killed him though. I killed him good. Yeah. So. Uh, Boot that. Uh, uh, let's put the cabbages away. There's the cabbage location. A cabbage patch? Yes. A cabbage patch. There should be a spot for monster items. There we go. Meat. Inspiring ceremonial hammer of restoration. I don't I don't care about this one. Yes. Uh, uh, zombies can, um, sorry, uh, Endermen can just kind of teleport in places. They do not care for your walls or, uh, protective barriers. They will just, uh, go where they wish. Something about a pirate is free. You are a pirate. That, that, um, yeah, I was actually talking about that recently. Uh, let me let me check here. Hold on. Um, yeah, I, I mentioned that because there was. Uh, geez, let me find it. Hold on. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, I I said this earlier. Um, like 
people were saying eh. well this is incredibly gross roku has filed a patent that it allow them to display ads through your hdmi connection trying to detect if you paused say your xbox mm -hmm. they want to display at they want to do pop-up ads if you paused your um your video basically and so uh my response was uh was this folks wonder why piracy is on the rise it's not because people aren't willing to pay for things most people provided they have money to spare take a pride in ownership of things they like the reason piracy is on the rise is to avoid things like this yep Okay. The harder they squeeze, the more uh, people will slip through their fingers. Okay. The hell is tough. Why is it here? Very strange. Okay. Well... We need to put down some pickaxe. We need to get some pickaxes there. That should do it. Get a shovel as well, just in case. And we should be good to go. Yeah, you pay for a service not to see ads. Correct. Mm-hmm. You're going back to CRT? That's pretty funny. All right. VR enthusiasts are going to be, uh, yep. And for a surprise, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I understand that. Okay. Um, hold on. Trying to see how that, yes. That'll do it. Perfect. That's what I'm talking about. We're digging into the the very bones of the earth. Fuck. That is a uh, shovel to... Uh, yeah, we gotta use a shovel for this. There. Good enough. Okay. I only have one more rice. We're in the deep caves now. There's no joke. This is the deep caves. Holy crap. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, about that. <laughs> that's a super enemy. That's, that's all well and good, but, uh... I'm not ready to fight the enemies of the deep caves at the moment. I, I was just uh, kind of looking like, oh, wow, what's, what's this? Death. Death awaits ye. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, first things first. Zombies. Um, unfortunate. I keep spawning them into the walls. Okay. This This will do. I may not have enough resources, but we should be okay. Yep. I believe. Okay, here we go. I know some zombies are suffocating in the wall. It's fine. My zombies are doing just fine. The deep caves is where we are right now. This area looks just fine. Oh, hello. Is that a super enemy? Crazy. Crystals. Crystals. Oh. This area looks really fancy. I think I just got a uh, an item there. Huh. What is that? That's an urn? Can I break it? Uh. Yes, yes I can. There's a bat. Was a bat, past tense. Crazy. Mushrooms, lapis... Yeah, this deep cave formation is kind of cool. I see a monster over there. 
Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Crystal zombie summons a pillar underneath you. Yeah. Kinda saw that. Wow, that creeper just died. This is uh, really neat. What are these blocks? Magma. So instead of lava, it's magma. Oh no, 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 I didn't mean to kill the goblin trader. But I killed the goblin trader, it's too late. Is that redstone? That is redstone. Huh. Kinda deep. Oh, this is pretty deep. What's this? Plate boots of the storm. Crazy. Iron? Iron where? I, I'm, I'm having trouble. Oh, deep slate. Uh, glow lichen. Yeah, I saw a monster and I attacked it. Oh, there's iron. But that goes down. I'm scared. Yeah, there, there's iron ore. Okay. Uh, don't want to go too far down, though. Uh, let's see here. I need to figure this out. So, um, yeah, a tiny square. That works. Cool. Fuck! That wasn't what I wanted. That wasn't what I wanted at all. Okay, I gotta climb up here. This deep slate is uh, pretty chunky. Very difficult to grab. I wonder what zinc ore makes. Hmm. Now I'm curious. Uh, what's this? A leather tunic. That's pretty funny. That's raw iron. Okay, so we got some raw iron. Needs to be smelted. No big deal. We just need to get out of here. Yep. Hmm. Well, hello. My immediate reaction was, oh, hey. Uh, defensive perimeter. My zombies see something. I'm going after it. Whatever it is. Uh... Oh, shit. Creeper. Wow. That was uh, very scary. I'm going this way now. Uh, let's see. This this should be... Where's the skeletons? Where's the skeletons? Yeah, I'm, I'm going this way. Hold on. This is scary. Uh-huh. Okay. Cool. Let's go ahead and uh, barricade this. Is what I would say. But then, uh, you know. Issues with the zombies. Zombies. Uh, hey, you guys. Cool. Alright, it's barricaded. Oh, another iron node. Cool. Nice. Oh, this just take, took us back into the cave section. That sucks. I mean, it is the iron I was looking for. So, uh, my mining level increased at least. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. All right, push the zombie down. Yes. Too many zombies into uh, small a uh, corridor. All I can say is it's a pain in the butt. Yeah. Do the undead do something? You mean kill enemies for me? They, like, I, I summon them, and then they murder things for me. Yes. Uh, like, when a, when a mega creeper or a zombie titan shows up, I'm happy to have a wall of defense, you know, so that, like, my... I, I only have 168 points of energy shields, so, uh, my health is still pretty easy to chew into by the, uh, the big bosses, you know? So, uh, 
in any case, like a super monster, for example, a unique might cause uh, some pretty big issues. It's, I don't, it's not like I have plate armor. I have a, uh, what does he call it? Um, I'm wearing leather at the moment, but I should really be wearing cloth. Uh, speaking of which, we can put that cloth on right now. So, uh, this leather armor is awful. It can be dropped on the ground. Uh, more importantly, you know, uh, we equip our hat. There we go. That gives us some more energy shields. But we're missing pants, unfortunately. Being cute is more important. I was thinking about that. The fact that I can't, um, you know, have the French maid outfit uh, kind of uh, cosmetic over the uh, the energy shield cloth is kind of irritating, to be honest. Alright. Can they follow you into small spaces? Uh, a, uh, a mega creeper can explode without dying. So, yes. Uh, there are also monsters that can dig through dirt and gravel and stuff. And, um, then there are also, um, like, the mega zombies can do, like, a jump smash. So they can jump smash through things if they, uh, detect you. Uh, do, 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 do. Anyway, these plates, uh, boots of the storm look kind of nice, but I'm just gonna put them away here for now. Along with the cloth outfit there. Oh, pants. These are actually leather pants. I don't care about those. I'll put them down here. Um, what about the rings? Chaos resistance. Magic find. No. I need to worry about that. Uh, plate boots can go down here as well. This book. The chilled tome of the storm needs to be in this... Uh, section here. I had it in the wrong uh, chest. Let me see. These are augment slots. Uh, support gem. You know what? Let's let's get this uh, area of effect support gem. Pretty sure we can apply that to our poison uh, field. Uh, no, no. We don't have our poison field leveled up enough to, uh, to accommodate a support gem at the moment. Hmm. Irritating. Okay, fair enough. We're grabbing the rotten flesh. I have a chest, yeah, devoted to monster items. There we go. Um, what else do we need to do? Since we, we can explore the underground if we want. Alternatively, there are other areas we can visit as well. What's the button for the backpack? Was it uh, shift E? Uh, e is our inventory, right? Uh, control E, shift E. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so we can dodge roll with Q. I remember that much. Uh, eat? No, we're not eating yet. Uh, we're, we're gonna be on the verge of starvation. Uh, jeez, I'm trying to figure out, uh, what the button was for this. Um. I mean... Hold on. Where's the food? The food was down here. Right, I guess we can just have some bread. It's no big deal. Yeah. B for backpack? Okay, cool. Yeah. So, we're gonna take all of these uh, souls out. And put them in a chest with the other souls. There you go. Good. I had, had a bunch of souls stored up. And I'm like, you know what? We need... Uh, yeah, okay. Mm, com yeah, we're going to keep the common stones because those repair our durability. Speaking of which, um, can we use that on an enchanted... I don't think we can use it on an enchanted pickaxe. I don't think the pickaxe ever got a soul. Um, would be cool if it did, but uh, let's give it a try. No. No, they, they, they don't work together. Um... That would have been funny if they did. It's only like our chest piece and stuff like that. So if we access this, for example, we can use this to repair our boots. See? Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Unfortunate. Oh, well. Let's put the uh, repair stones back. Grab the essence. The essence needs to be... What are we doing the essence? Let's see, these are the different crystals. Rare stones. Okay. Cool. Um, spectral arrows. I can't remember why uh, it even exists. Okay, so first things first. Let's put this pickaxe back in case we figure something else out. Uh, what about souls? All right. So, their stat souls for axes, swords, spears. I'm wondering if a pickaxe counts as an axe. It probably doesn't. No. No, it doesn't. I suspect since that's enchanted, it wouldn't matter anyway. But, uh... You can right-click to generate it. You know what? That That's something I haven't done yet. I haven't right-clicked to generate item. Uh, do we have any wand? We do have a wand uh, soul, so I should do that. I should generate an item with the wand soul. Let's give that a try. So we go uh, open this up. There we go. Uh, and that is a new wand. That is... An Arcanist Moon Staff of Penetration. Compare that to our Staff of Consumption. Mana on kill, skill damage accuracy, plus one to chaos skills. Hey, my my skills are chaos. Armor penetration, cast speed. This is this is just this is better than what I got. So um hmm. Okay. Now I'm looking at this right now and I'm think I see two sockets here. So I'm wondering about uh, applying some gems here. Let's see. Energy on hit is nice. I don't need energy, though. I need mana. I need mana on hit. Oh. I'm kind of... Uh, that maggot doesn't mean anything there. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for mana on hit, not energy on hit, unfortunately. Grumble, grumble. I have sworn I saw another gemstone. Oh, well. We'll put the lapis away uh, in a different spot, I suppose. What's this? That's a cold resistance gem. Upgrade the quality of an item. You know what? Fuck it. Let's let's be incredibly, incredibly stupid. So. Damn right. That's got quality plus one. Uh, terror. Oh, that's not great, but hey, whatever. Uh, still better than the Staff of Consumption, so we'll put that away. Yep. It's neat. I like it well enough. I need to get pants, specifically. I'm going to look at the other souls that I picked up. Uh, there we go. Pants. Let's uh, see. There's helmet boots. Can make another couple staffs. A totem. Hmm. Yeah, a ruined helmet would be nice. Let's just try making both of those and see what happens. Yeah, I, th I think so. Okay, that's a pair of pants, and that's a ruined helmet. So this ruined helmet is, unfortunately, that's a dexterity helmet. And this is Dexterity Pants. So we didn't get uh, good gear there, unfortunately. That uh, ruined soul cursed us. What a shame. Oh, well. It's not that big a deal. Let's uh, head on out. I think... Um... Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Look at those monsters blowing up the front of the church. Damn, I'm glad I made my uh, fortress deeper in. Sam, uh, thank you for the five. I appreciate that. Ooh, hold on a second. Whoops. Um, yeah, this is this is something else. Okay, so we need to rebuild real quick. There's no question about that. Those are the front doors of the church, yeah. And there, there ain't a whole lot left here. So, uh, we're going to be using this material. 
to kind of uh, cap everything off. I uh, didn't think we'd be doing it that this quickly, but uh, here we are. Uh, um, yeah, crazy, absolutely crazy. In any case, um, yeah, that that spider caused uh, some pretty big issues. Um, it looks like we missed one of our doors. Like we actually have one of our doors is actually gone. Crazy. That's uh, yeah. You said terrorist attacks. That, that that's no joke. Like the fact that we had to do all this. Release the Sadukar. My goodness. Okay. So. Yeah, as, as much as I wanted to be happy about this, I have to seal this whole area off with a three block, um, with three block depth. And the reason for three blocks of depth is that it, uh, that's the blast radius of a, uh, of a, a Krippa. Yes. Okay. So... Painful. Absolutely painful. But yeah. The church is still here. No problem. Mm-hmm. Let me see. I got two iron ingots there. Not too big a deal. I think we'll just put away the rest of the stuff here. Uh, Basically anything we... Oh, that was a shield regen augment. That's kind of nice. Uh, it doesn't matter. We're just uh, putting everything away, and now we should be good to go. Um, th this area is actually sealed. There's no way through. You can shoot through it, but that's it. So, um, ah, that's terrifying. Holy crap. Okay. That's better. Anyway. Uh, we will build uh, proper doors at the front when we're done. For now, however, I'm thinking about heading on off to that town we started at. We died in the dungeon beneath, and I think that uh, if we clear out our inventory properly, like our backpack and everything, we should be able to uh, make a go of like transferring all the items over to our, uh, our, our, our church here. Um specifically put these two away yeah um what do you call it yeah basically i just want to make sure everything gets uh stowed away that uh, can be stowed away i want to keep one of the shovels specifically but most of these other items can just go 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 uh same deal for this little corner here so that's a lot of dirt we've gathered i'm just looking at the uh situation here Okay, that should do it. We can go now. We're going to head over to the nearby town. And uh, the rest of my crops should be replenished by the time we get uh, done with this. But yeah, um, basically, we, we have an army of zombies we're going to kind of attack with. No big deal. Um, yeah, I've got my book. My book increases skill damage by 8%, along with the, uh, the rare wand, which is plus one to chaos skills. By the way, my zombies, my, um, poison bolt, all of that are chaos skills. So, uh, having plus one to all skills is really good, provided it matches the type you're using. Uh, we are going to loot all of this and then steal the chest for no other reason than it is useful to have. Um, wait, whoops, I forgot about that. They're, they're like, hey, um, don't break the chest, in other words. Okay. Yeah, I don't need any of those oak saplings. We need to get into the town itself. If possible. So. Let me uh, see. We're going in this direction. Very good. Very good. This is the former blacksmith shop. 
You can hear him going how how inside. Yeah. Uh, this is where this was our temporary base, where we secured ourselves against the forces of darkness. You can see all the different treasure chests here, where we got all the good stuff. We'll we'll come back later for all the other uh, like uh, this is plus one chaos damage. That's kind of nice. But yeah, for the most part, we're gonna be back for all of this stuff pretty soon. That life steal, um, okay, that spell steal is pretty good. Like, I, that, we're gonna definitely have that spell steal, Jim. God, there's so many items I should be breaking down for uh, their components. Uh, gear stats, soul. Hmm. There, there's different souls here as well. Okay, I'm just definitely gonna have to come back for most of this stuff. I think there, there's no question about it. Unfortunately. Um. Yeah, there's a lot of runes and other items that I'd love to get to, but uh, I can't right now. So, we're going to head on out. Close that door so that the monsters can't uh, get to me. I wonder where the uh, villagers are. I hear them, but they, they must be inside the mountain or something. Anyway, our goal is that building over there. There's a dungeon underneath that building, so we just got to kind of climb up over like this. These are supposed to be stairs, but they misgenerated, and so, you know, you get, like, the tables and chairs and stuff. It's a little weird. Um, there's some beds there, tables, chairs, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're gonna go down here. This is this is the way down into the dungeon. It's, uh, it's in the basement of the kitchen. There are... Yeah, I'm definitely gonna grab some glass bottles. G always grab uh, souls, yes. But uh, how many bottles can uh, stack in one inventory slot would be nice. Looks like there's some plate boots here. Those are good. Magic, thank you for the dollar. -ay. Yes. Okay, so now how do we dump out the water bottle? I guess drinking it works, too. Point is more, I just want to stack the, all the bottles in one spot. Yeah, it's this isn't like uh, other Path of Exile loadouts where I had to meticulously... Oh, God! He just blew up... Uh, tried to blow up the entrance, but it didn't do anything. That was crazy. Yeah. That creeper failed to explode this area. That was that was strange. Oh well. Victory is mine. That's the, the I'm I'm here to collect all the glass bottles and gold nuggets. Yeah. Glass bottles are useful. I figure if I have one inventory slot. Wait, what's that? No. Definitely not. So yeah, deep down to the depths, there'll be more monsters. This is a dungeon area. Definitely. Cracked Azurite. Nice. Um, yeah, I found some wheat. I have plenty of wheat, so that's not a problem. Never seen that before. Oh, well. Let me see here. Inventory management. That doesn't exist. Okay. There's the cake. Um, that's an oak trap door. No, thanks. Take those... Are those uh, melon slices? Melon slices. Hmm. There are a lot of melon slices there. Diablo, kind of. The harvest moon. Your crops provide a better harvest. Really? Well, I should go... Uh, oh, blue bow. How nice. Uh, some ore? Hmm. 
Ah, oh, crap. I'm running. I'm running. I need to get back to the house. The, the, the harvest moon is rising, which means uh, I should be harvesting all my crops right now. So... Yeah, we just need to head over to home base. It's pretty close by. It is nighttime, so there will be monsters. Potentially big ones. But I'm going to pretend like that's not the case. I'm just going to run straight through as I summon my zombies behind me. As long as the zombies keep the attention of the monsters, I should be able to get into my farm fields just fine. My farm fields are surrounded by fences, so in theory, normal monsters won't be able to get in. The reality may not match the theory, but uh, who cares, right? As that creeper tries to get me. It's fine. The creeper's dead. Um, should be fine. Just pop in here. Goodbye. Okay. Looks like they said the harvest. Yeah, the harvest uh, is better today. So I, sh I should be doing harvests. That's what they're saying. Fair enough. Fair enough. We are harvesting today. This is increasing my farm skill anyway, so it's good. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I'm looking at that. Uh, potatoes. I need to access my backpack. There we go. Uh, so you were asking about Diablo. This is, uh, this is more Path of Exile than Diablo. But yes, it has... Like... Path of Exile is inspired by Diablo. That's where you'd get uh, that idea. Okay, well, the moon is still up. I'm going to finish uh, harvesting everything. Yeah, my farming skill just increased. That is perfect. In any case. This is where we uh, get all our food and not starve. Yes. My farming skills, whoops, I accidentally destroyed a uh, section of field. That's great. Just a small section, but still. It's annoying because I had uh, flawlessly harvested a lot of this. Yeah, this is a lot of wheat. I'm glad the harvest moon is increasing our yield. It means uh, we won't have to worry too much. Regarding food, basically at all. That's a lot of rice. Yeah, this whole section is just rice. The zombies can't get to us. They are, they are down in the depths. Those are cabbages and carrots. Good carrots. Okay, we have uh, capped out our inventory space, unfortunately. We gotta run back. And uh, deal with that. I should have a chest like right next to here. If we, uh, yeah, uh, not that one. Runch. All right, where are, where's the food chest? I forget. Really, is it that one? There it is, that's the food chest. Okay. In any case, we're grabbing all the wheat seeds now. Uh, putting away more wheat, but, um, the wheat seeds specifically, we're gonna put in a different chest, I think. Yeah, uh, that's where the, re there we go. This is just gonna be a wheat seed chest. Nothing else but seeds. Because I, I looked at the situation, I went, oh crap, that we're running out of, uh, space due to the overabundance of seeds. And, uh, that's fine. Again, we can just kind of do that. So, yep. We can go back now and grab all the other stuff. I say as I'm holding an ingot. A gold nugget. Should be fine. As long as the harvest moon hasn't set yet, we should be able to reap the increased rewards. Uh, let's see. We've already been down that line. We're going to the next one. Mm-hmm. Compost seeds for bone meal. 
Where's the uh, where where is the compost? Uh, what what kind of uh, uh, mechanic is that? What what crafty station does it require? Okay, potatoes. Yes, this is good to see the multiple potatoes flying out. My goodness. You can compact uh, wheat with hay bales. Interesting. Hmm. But yeah, I, I could just like plant more wheat. I could definitely do that. Um, let's make sure we fix that field there. And if we uh, plant uh, two different types of crops side by side, uh, we're supposed to uh, be put to death, according to that them their book. The one uh, people ignore half of, or more. Oh, hello. Crazy. You can't break my energy shield, sir. Yeah. So obviously some area of this is dark enough to summon forth the skeletons. I suspect it's this little spot in the corner. That would make a lot of sense, to be honest. If that this little corner was what was spawning the monsters. In any case... Uh, we got plenty of potato. Other foods, yes. Uh-huh. Mm hmm A wooden slab? What are you talking about? Oh, compost. Okay. So yeah, yeah, that that can that can be arranged. Bam. Alright, so six oak slabs four and that should make us a troth we need uh one more set sadly one more thing so two three a lot of extras to be honest okay mm -hmm. there we go Okay. So, might as well start doing things on the surface. There's really no reason to be doing things underground. Good enough. And then I assume we just take the seeds and add them to it. And or instantaneous. Don't know. Uh, where did I put the bread? I put the bread in the food area, yeah. Why'd I do that? Cause I'm stupid, that's why. It's fine. Yep. Yep. Bread eaten. Now, more importantly, rotten tomato. No one cares about that. There you go, seeds. Birds. Harvest moon sets. Just in time, we managed to harvest everything. Alright. What'd that do? Okay, it's full now. Oh, interesting. So it fills up and instantly becomes the thing. Okay, that's not too big a deal. That's, um, that's a lot of commitment for not a lot of bone meal, but I am getting a lot of seeds out of it, so. Eh. Uh, sorry, yeah, I'm getting a lot of seeds, so, hey. No big deal, no big deal. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was really enjoyable playing Oblivion on release. There was definitely a huge sense of wonder uh, wandering Cyrodiil at the time. Uh, I still get that feeling these days if I'm playing with, like, the Unique Landscapes mod or whatever, but, uh, 
I can't say I feel that way in vanilla because vanilla is very flat once you understand it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, when you really didn't know what to expect, Oblivion was uh, special there. You said to yeah, hopper and make it semi-automatic. Yeah, I don't really care about automating the process at the moment, but uh, that is interesting. Um, I'm just going to burn through these seeds that we've been collecting and then uh, call it a day, I think. Bone meal is kind of important for... Uh, uh, growing up plants really quick if you need to for any reason. We're almost done. Like I'm, I'm uh, considering that. What does what does a hopper require anyway? If I were to check it. Mm, so a hopper would require steel in a chest. No, that's not happening right now. Ch steel's kind of difficult to get to at the moment. Yep. No, I played the Minecraft beta back in the day. Yep. And I've got to say that, uh, no, it, like, isolation um, would be, like, the core theme of uh, Minecraft. You know, it, it's a very lonely experience where everything was inherently hostile. And, uh, that's fine. Yeah, as soon as I get through these seeds, I'll, uh, I'll get back to the normal stuff. But, uh, yeah, I'm impressed we were able to uh, get through that whole, uh, what, what do you call it, experience. The whole, uh, Harvest Moon pretty quick. It happened at a really inopportune time. I was plundering a different dungeon. Yep. I had access to Minecraft, um... Uh, Pretty uh, much everywhere. In its early incarnation, basically any computer could run it. Yep. Okay. Oops. How much... Uh... Oh, I got 31 bone meal so far. That is not a bad... Uh... Yeah, that isn't bad at all. Considering it can grow up uh, crops. Mm. I'll consider a hopper for this when um, I get access to more steel. More reliably. For sure. But uh, for now we'll just finish off these two and call it a day. Pretty cool. Remembering a lot in trouble with early Minecraft because of Java? I mean, yeah, kind of, but um, I think, uh, for me at least, to quote Todd Howard, it just worked. And it was modding that was the problem. Because before we had these, these lavish frameworks like Fabric and uh, uh, whatnot, uh, we were... Uh, like, we had to manually modify the jar file. And that's where shit kind of went wrong frequently. Like, it, um, we had to keep, like, uh, we had to keep reloading the, uh, the corrupted, uh, jar file. Oof. Because, like, oh, hey, you changed things. You ruined it. Yeah, the er early Minecraft modding was a pain in the ass because, like, different mods really weren't compatible with each other. It was like, hey, I, th I've modified the jar file to do this. I've modified the jar file to do that. Um, throw seeds in the chest. Ah, okay. I see. Well, no, uh, eventually I'll get a hopper made. For now, though, I'd like to go back to that other area we were at before. The, um... Yep. Hmm. Forgot to delete meta.in from the jar file. It didn't, wouldn't work. I don't remember that specifically. Um, but yeah, Andy, uh... It was irritating. 
for the time. Uh, let's see. There's a bug out there. Uh, yeah, we, we lost one piece of wheat, but... Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, we lost one piece of wheat. That's not that big a deal. Uh, wait, I got a wheat seed here. Let's go ahead and just plant it real quick. No reason not to fix it up. There we go. And everything else is growing just fine. So, yep, I don't see a reason to come back here at the moment. Let me see. Bedrock edition, yes. Uh, exactly, exactly. It's, it's the, the the Bedrock Edition Minecraft Marketplace is uh, precisely why Microsoft bought Bethesda. Uh, let's be honest here. That's what they wanted all along, is they wanted to do the uh, the whole Minecraft Marketplace, um, but with mods. Yes. Um... I need to take everything from here and put it down in my other section. Hold on. Okay. Bottles can go here. Up. Uh, you know what? Let's use this soul. Fuck it. We're, we're gonna use this soul and try to generate pants. What do we got? Uh, they're leather. Damn it. Every time. Every time I'm like, oh boy, I'm gonna generate gear. And it turns out to be leather. And I'm like... That's that's not good. I don't have the dexterity for that. Uh, there's a bow. Jeez, the, the stats on this bow are kind of crazy. Uh, not for me, though. Cracked, cracked Azurite is mana on hit. I kind of want that. Yeah. If I can get some more Azurite, and, uh, you know, that would be nice to get mana on hit. Oh, a curse. Weakness, jump boost, and slow falling. Crazy. Mm-hmm. Well, I think it's almost due. Well, let's, let's see. W wheat goes in here, right? Yeah, so. We're just going to make up some bread real quick with that wheat we harvested. Uh, yeah, that should do it. Okay. Good enough. We got 21 bread. We shouldn't starve anytime soon. Shove that wheat away. And we're just going to put everything else away, like, just completely. Sh shove it all away. Yes, that's that's fine. Okay. We should be good to go now. I say as I do everything wrong. Good. Yes. Let them eat bread, she said. Okay. We're heading on off. Bread is uh not a uh not suitable to subsist on purely. You will be malnourished. We don't care about that at the moment. But uh Manchester that that's the uh yeah, that's the waypoint. And then the town is this way. We're heading on into town. We're going to go check out the dungeon beneath the town. No big deal. Oops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where... Yeah, and that's the waystone over there. These are the only two waystones we have at the moment. That's sad. Oh, well. For now, let's dive into the depths of the dungeon, see what we can do. The answer's probably a death, but uh, who cares about that? I saw a creeper explode down here and it didn't do anything. That is a player head. The uh, hamburger. No idea why that's the case. Very strange. I'm gonna summon some zombies. They're a pain in the ass, they get in my way, but they also save me from creepers and other monsters, usually. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. If you uh, stop really caring about the lore in the Elder Scrolls, then it's not that big a deal. But yeah, I get what you mean. Um, 
Okay, we need more gold bars. Hell yeah. What else? It's another brewing stand. I'm still looking through here. Uh, I, I got my 63 torches. Good. Thought we were going to be in for a bad time. We're still in for a bad time. A monster just jumped out at me and got killed by my zombies. Thank goodness. Iron! And an iron plate. We're going to melt that iron plate down, probably. Just spend it. Oh, and a diamond. Crazy. Who's going her? Oh. Who are you? We're going to release this guy from his cage. We will release him. How you doing? You're a nice guy, right? I'm assuming you're a nice guy. My zombies will kill him instantly if he's bad. Whoop. Damn. He tapped my energy shield pretty good, but in return I got a red banner and an emerald. That's good. Ah, ah. It's fine. It's fine. I want to see what's back here. The answer is a whole lot of nothing. Got it. Uh, it's in the chest. That is a cracked emerald. That's more chaos damage. Cool. There's another guy sealed away in there. Oh, nice emeralds and gold. Uh, don't need any redstone repeaters, but I'll gladly take the magic skill damage, reduce crit damage. That's an interesting, uh, an interesting skill gem there. Meaning you don't crit, but uh, you do more base damage. I like that. A lot, actually. We're going to free this guy. He's a hostile marauder, but uh, it should be fine. As you can see. He, uh... He didn't drop anything really useful, to be honest. But still, to find a marauder in each cage is kind of funny. This area just kind of dead ends there. It's a closet. And this one. Gold bars. That is a Hyperion spear. No big deal. Oh, a uh, bow soul. Nice. Will of the beer. Uh, levitation. So you can fly around. It, it does some damage, and in exchange, you can levitate. That's pretty funny. Poison support gym increases chaos damage. Nice. Pretty sure I can apply that to my poison blast. I'd like that. Uh, cracked opal. That's, that's good. Hmm. Bales. More brewing stand. Some glass. Nothing there. I'm looking at the different uh, design there. Oh. Oh. Uh, don't know about nuclear reactors. Sorry. Quite ignorant. So, yeah. There's nothing in this section. Just a bunch of loot. Oh, how, how unfortunate I am to be showered in loot. Hmm. Nothing there. Treasure chest. Got some iron. And what kind of rune is this? A, a ta rune. Mana on kill. Mana regen. What kind of rune words can I make? That's the real question. Uh, bu 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 right click while holding to view uh, rune words. Okay. Fair enough. I'd like to see what kind of rune words we can get. That is not a gear item. Really? Uh, wh what made you think so, video game? Hmm. Yes. Anyway. I um I have no doubt that in Elder Scrolls 6 they can just ignore 
what happened in Skyrim. And now that something new is going on in a different area. That's uh, pretty normal for them. The Dragonborn went to... Uh, is apparently living on High Hrothgar, the Greybeards. They don't see anybody. Okay. Uh, well, what else do we know about them? Nothing! It's, it's apparently uh, the Dragonborn disappeared into Hemoris Mora's realm. And he walks in oblivion now, or some shit. No, no. Um, let me see what else we got. People send me things. Don't see anything of the sort. Okay. I think we're good to go. Thank you for waiting. There we go. Um, yes. I mean, really, what it comes down to isn't so much, um, um, it, it probably isn't so much the Thalmor as it is going to be the, um, whatever local problem they decide to create for Elder Scrolls Six, right? The Thalmor, uh, will probably be another tertiary problem you know if they show up at all okay yeah i think we've explored this area completely we're gonna try to get out of here maybe possibly i say as i run around in circles four more times this way i'm using the map now it helps to have a map. New area. New treasure. Why not? Chaos damage and speed. Oh, there we go. That's plenty of iron. And emeralds. Is that a golden helmet? Don't golden helmets have, like, the shittiest durability ever, but then, uh, oh look, they can be enchanted super well that's what i thought anyway what kind of ring is this magic fine fire resistance that ain't happening hmm. nope i'll take those cracked emerald Okay, I need to access my backpack and put stuff away. Uh, yeah, definitely. Gold bars, diamonds, emeralds, runes. Don't know about these banners, but I'll definitely, uh... Yeah, Hyperion Spear. Ingots. This should be fine. Yeah, we're definitely in a better spot right now. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. What do you mean the Civil War becomes all-out war? No. Uh, you should try a mod called Blood of the Nord. It's pretty cool. Ooh. A ruined tome with four sockets. This is pretty cool. How, how, how's our tome? Our tome is eight skill damage. This is magic shield 34, 37. So this this tome is actually worse than my current tome, even though it's a rune type. Unfortunate. Uh, I'll take the ring. Yeah. So there's there's some more treasure down here to be had. A soul, a war spear, you know. Various other items that can be uh, broken down. Miserable war spear. What's this? A chest, uh, an armored chest of the Drake. Yeah, we can uh, melt that down for sure. That's a high grade item. 22% more summon damage. Oh shit. We're gonna apply that to our zombies and just increase their damage by 22. In fact, I think we can do that right now. Let's uh, have a look. Go over to our skills. 
And our current one is faster cast. Screw that. We got uh, summon support. Yeah, now they, now they just straight up do 22% more damage, our zombies. Yeah. No problem. Yep. Living sponge. It's a water breathing potion. We're getting there. I hear something skittering around in the darkness. Mm, a boot sole. A uh, dirk of gluttony, which is health on kill. Okay. Fair enough. Let's access this. Put some more gear pieces away. Jeez, there is so much stuff that we've gathered in here. We we died in here a couple times. We had to run away a couple times. We maxed out our inventory several times. But uh still pretty nice. That dirk. A soul for a staff. I should probably just try generating a new staff at this point. Let's see. Crit damage. That's nice. Living, uh, sorry, liquid emeralds. Strength and hero of the village. I don't know what hero of the village 2 does, but I know uh, what strength does. Plus uh, attack damage is nice as well. Hmm. More brewing stand. And this gets us back to the main hall. No. We place a torch here to curtail spawning. It won't eliminate spawns, but it'll definitely lessen them. This goes further into the depths. I'm going to eat that bread. What's this amulet? Energy on hit and strength. I don't need energy. Energy is like melee mana. Like if you yeah, played the old Final Fantasy XIV, it's like TP. Except it's not... Oh, wait. Let's gain uh, your heal strength to skill damage. That's an interesting tone. Huh. Okay. Heroes lowers the cost of item tra oh, for trading. Oh, okay. In other words, not great. More of that. Further down, further down. There's evidence in game. LOL. Mm hmm. Yeah. My my general assumption is that Bethesda is not going to uh, care about what's been established previously. They might use it if they feel like using it, but otherwise. Uh, they won't be beholden to it. They never are. Whatever they established in a previous game uh, usually is just a funny uh, one-off or, a, you know, um, an idea that they may or may not use. Oh, we gotta go further down. Crazy. Uh, stats all there. Actually, hold on a second. Let's put away a couple things that I won't be using at the moment, like the, the blocks. There we go. And uh, now I can pick up some more things. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, an emerald ring. That's nice. What's this? Uh, another strength and hero of the village potion. That's good. Those are wither roses. What do wither roses make anyway? What, what what can you craft them into? I'm curious. Okay. Bottle. Hmm. Ah, oh, well. I think that's that. I don't think this goes any further. Yeah. Seems to be close. I mean, really close to some kind of underground area. But, uh, you know. Outside of uh, testing, I, I can't even imagine. Let's see. Could go up. That's an escape tunnel, and then a mining tunnel is the opposite direction. So, yes. 
Mm-hmm. All right. I'm sure that the answer is uh, that they won't care. Uh, they've done this before. They've um, they've just kind of uh, in like in Elder Scrolls games, they just kind of say, "Oh well." Um, the, the, the Dovacane, uh, de, sorry, the, the Navarine went to Akavir. And now, uh, you know, they, like, uh, Halalu, uh, sorry. Um, the other great houses are picking at the bones of Inderil, being that Inderil's on, on the outs. And it's like, okay, well, what does that have to do with your, your actions in Morrowind? Nothing. Get excited. Your agency as a player doesn't matter. And uh, none of this was really... Um, like It's not that it doesn't uh, match, it doesn't fit. It's merely that... Uh, like It could have happened either way. Like, there, there, there would have been... There's no... Uh, there was no decisive um, information pointing to it. Oh, cool. That way. They they will... Uh, like, it's not that it's unreasonable that these things happen. It's just that, uh, oh, hey, they happened. So, uh... Trying to figure out what will or won't canonically happen in the next game is uh, of extremely low priority to me. That is, uh, you know, really don't care. Is is the uh, is my current state of uh, thinking? Because Bethesda has uh, proven time and time again that they don't. You know, they'll use it if they want to. They won't if they don't. It's uh, not a living, breathing world. More a uh, a stage for them to set their quest lines in. Yep. Okay, we're taking the gems with us back to the other base. We're taking the rune back with us. Yep. And it looks like I can't take everything, so we'll have to call it quits there. There's souls for us to take as well. Jeez. Mm-hmm. Would love to be able to get, um, you know, one of these soul... Yeah, you know what? We're just going to have to go and come back, I think. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sorry, the seventh champion of Cyrodiil's gone now. He is cheek. Uh, he makes a couple cheeky. Sorry, uh, Shale Groth makes a couple cheeky references. That's like a wink, wink, nudge, nudge, but is also not a solid confirmation. It's one of those. Uh, we'll let you come to your own conclusions. Uh, situations, which I, I think is fine. We gotta go to our home base now. We're going there. Whoops, I may have killed the sheep with the power of, uh, with the power of the poison bolt. Yes. Dodge roll. Yes. What did I say? Yeah, there. Nice little chapel. With a door that's, you know, everything's busted here. No problem. Yep. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Mm hmm. Uh, uh. Okay. Why not just say X side one? They might. 
then again, uh, they, they've they had in the past a crippling fear of like completely invalidating player choices to the point where they have declined to progress their stories in interesting ways and instead have uh, just noped out of them, which is not necessarily terrible, but uh, it's just... It kind of sets the expectation of what they're going to do in the future. Yes. Okay. No, the best part about the Daggerfall endings is that they both happened and didn't happen. Meaning that they had, like, th that the, uh, the result of the quote unquote warp in the West was that uh, a new, uh, f uh, a new outcome occurred where everything simultaneously did and didn't happen. It was very silly. Um, we got 19 iron. That's fine. I have to access the uh, item storage. Where did I put the... It's going to drive me nuts. There it is. Okay. Cool. We need uh, all the weapons. Actually, you know what? Can we just shove the weapons in there? I'm going to try this. I want to try to get rid of these since they're bad. Uh, since almost all of these are bad, yes. Mm-hmm. I mean, they can just say that an armistice was signed later, and that uh, you know Skyrim, like they they could easily say that Skyrim won, but then rejoined the Empire afterward. You know, after uh, after signing an armistice or some shit. Um, they, they could say that, uh, you, you know, after negotiations, they rejoined, uh, and, and they, they could, they could pull a page out of Elder Scrolls Adventures Red Guard and say that, uh, they joined as equals, not exploited subjects. troll -all -all. Um, anyway, we're melting these items down. I don't care about any of them. Yep. They're all plate items, so we're just going to melt them down into stones that we can use. Stones and essences. Yes. That's uh, pretty good. These are all item types I don't use, so you can see how we're getting essences and stones. And our uh, salvaging experience goes up, so that's good. Gonna melt down some more real quick. Especially the leather items I don't need. That one lacks a soul. I can't melt it down. But, um... Oh god, this focused uh, wand of skill damage looks great. Shame it's uh, not gonna be useful for us. Let's go ahead and put these away as well. And, yeah, these, these leather have souls. Same deal for the golden hat, which is, again, dodge rating, not uh, energy shield. So, we're just going to shove all these in there. Whoop. Ah, uh, it's dropping stuff. Go figure. Yep. That should, that should do. Wait, what? What happened? Oh, I made room so it's able to grab more. That, that makes more sense. Uh, okay, I was a little confused there for a second. I was wondering what it was doing. The answer is it's still smelting things. Interesting. Some of those things are going directly into my inventory, which is where they should go. You know, if, uh... Yeah. That works. Crazy. I have no clue. Yep, yep, yep. So we got plenty of these gemstones. Was what well, those are what we needed. Uh, essences and rare essences. Salvaging experience is going well. Yes. Holy crap! Okay. It's a shame I can't use, like, the shift-click and stuff like that on that uh, particular um, trait, that station there. Yeah. 
Da, 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 da. Okay, so we finished that old village. We did that already. We've successfully plundered the village. Uh, very happy about that. Um, took some time to get through that as well. So I'm quite happy about that. We're going to be uh, heading over to a different area soon. Um, going to be checking out the underground like we did earlier. Um, kind of uh, filling it out. But uh, first things first. Let's access our backpack, grab the rest of this stuff. Souls. Yes, lots of souls. And my salvaging's up to 14, so this is good. Mm -hmm. Thieves Guild quest line? Feels a little stilted. Like, you could tell they were driving it with with gameplay in mind. Uh, you know, it's like, we, we don't kill anybody. We're not the Dark Brotherhood. Like, what are you talking about? That's like what the, th the Thieves Guild goes around murdering people all the time in like every Elder Scrolls game before this one. You know. They, like, you could tell it was really gameplay focused. And that, that isn't terrible, but, um... You know, also, the stranger and everything felt very, um, kind of thrust upon the player at the very end. Like, I got the Elder Scroll now. I'm going to use uh, some some super magic to uh, dispel this curse using the Elder Scroll because, you know, it can do fucking anything. Yeah. Uh, howdy, Strat. Good to see ya. So, uh... We're, we're running Minecraft right now. We're doing the Craft to Exile loadout. So, as you can see, uh, we're running with Poison Blast, Summon Zombie, Poison Cloud, and Summon Skeletons. We've got support gems on our Poison Blast, one for faster projectiles. We have a zombie support gem for 22% more summon damage. Now, as far as our actual uh, talent tree goes, whoops, uh, talent tree, uh, you can see this is the standard Path of Exile talent tree, you know. Um, we are, um, we started off with magic staves up north, and then we went up for magic skill damage. Then we went across to do more summon damage. Went up for an extra jewel socket for, uh, you know, augments. Then we went across, grabbed uh, minion frenzy, where this reduces our summon health, but increases our summon damage. So our summons die easily, but... We can just resummon them, so who cares? Uh, then over here, we got Summoner, where we can summon three additional zombies for a total of six zombies. And our our own damage goes down, but our summon damage goes up. So we're basically a Summoner. That, that's what we are. Then over here in the corner, we got Eldritch Battery, which just basically takes our... Uh, uh, like We take 35% of damage as our mana before our health. So it's um, it's like taking 35% less damage, but then uh, it also, you know, weakens our mana. So it, it's, it's good for... It's d good damage reduction. That's what it is. Anyway, I have uh, two extra points. I just haven't decided where to socket them. I think I'm going to go get a jewel socket right now. One and two. There we go. I got an extra jewel socket. So uh, we should be able to apply that jewel socket right now. Uh, do, 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 under skills, to, yeah, we should should have access to this right here. It's a, not not augment capacity; it's somewhere else. Grumble, grumble. Um, let's access this here. Okay, th there are runes, you know, from Diablo. You can make rune words. So, like, if I were to do this, uh, and then I were to use the rune, you can see, like, uh, if I wanted to have a rune word that was, say, undeath. Um, that would be Zerha Und inside a staff. And that would turn it into the Undeath staff. So you, you can actually make rune words like Diablo 2 in your uh, items that have sockets. Um, I don't have access to that right now. Grumble, grumble. Okay, as for these, the Poison Support Gym, I kind of want to be able to use this soon. Um... But in the meantime, the other support gems I'm just going to put away. There is so much junk everywhere. I need to, add, like, create new chests and move stuff around. Um, speaking of which, our salvaging station has some more, yeah, uh, repaired stones. Yeah, you basically use these stones to repair your items. 
and um, that way you can have enchanted items that stick around for quite some time. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything else we need while we're here. I, I think the answer is just create new uh, create new treasure chests and forget about all the old stuff. I'm going to go to take a nap real quick before we do anything else. So you'll be able to sleep in the bed over here. Oh, there are, yeah, dur uh, you can only sleep at night or during thunderstorms. Okay, so. Oh, the monsters are underneath. Crazy. There's a skeleton there that wants to kill me. He is kind of awful. Is there a narrative? Uh, for that, you would have to use the quest guide. Um, I'm blanking on how to do that, to be honest. Uh, but there is there is a quest guide, and if you use it, you can um, you can go through the different chapters. Um, but again, that that requires some kind of uh, effort that I'm uh, blanking on at the moment. Quests. There we go. All right. So we go quests, and we go we we'll go to chapter one, and you basically you you go through the different uh, chapters. Uh, until you're um, you're at the very end, and it, it's it's basic objectives, right? You you've got dragon quest, like this is the main quest where you have to go kill a dragon. Uh, but then there's also like dimension guardian and stuff like that. It's it's all uh, it, it's it's all very mechanically driven, I would say, but it's guided, in, in terms of uh, getting access to other rewards as you progress. Uh, compared to normal Minecraft, where there is basically uh, no guidance whatsoever. Okay. This is going to drive me nuts, trying to figure out what goes where. There we go. Chipped Emerald. Okay, I have to help the cat out. The cat's panicking. He's like, oh no, I'm trapped in here. What do I do? You can only sleep at night or during thunderstorms. What kind of madness is that? Okay. I'm going to drink from a bottle. Okay. Now. Just temporarily, we're going to shove everything in there. Mm-hmm. This magic tome. It's over here, yeah. I'm gonna make new chests soon, I think. Yep. Do, 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 do. Is the Mecha God? No. The Numidium and the Akulakon are completely separate. The Akulakon is based on the Numidium, though. We killed the skeleton. Now, what was I saying? Sorry, a Akulakon was based on the Numidium. Yeah. The Numidium was originally in Morrowind. It was a dwarven creation. And then, um, what's his name? Dagothur was like, I'm going to make another one of these, but uh, I'm going to, I'm going to make it spew out divine disease so that I can spread my consciousness across the world and, you know, mind control everybody. And so, the idea is it was going to be an engine of destruction, but also uh, the catalyst that spread the divine disease wherever he went. And, um, like, the Numidium didn't have that, that plague-spreading function that Dagother uh, concocted with the heart. Yeah. If you believe Michael Kirkbride's lore, though, it could teleport and time travel and stuff. So, you know. Like, the the, the whole idea is that the Numidium was destroyed uh, at the end of Daggerfall. And, um... Akulakon uh, was then created 
as uh, Dagith Ur's attempt at uh, you know making making a new one with uh, Kagranak's plans, essentially. Yep. Oh, don't worry. Um, if you listen to the the Kirkbride fan fictions that came later, um, the Numidium comes back. Um, and it ancestrocytes the Altmer out of existence. Yep. Don't worry about it. Okay. There's a skeleton over there. He's dead. Oh, they're coming up through the ground. That explains everything. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> do, 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 do. And then uh Narivar comes back in uh in the Akulakon and fights the Numidium Power Rangers style. Troll the lol lol. Alright. You have to remember, though, whenever Kirkbride talks about his fan fiction Vivek or his fan fiction Narivar, uh, Vivek is um, uh, Vivek is a stand-in for him, and Narivar is a stand-in for Lady Narivar, his uh, um, um, his wife. Yes. Do, 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 do. We are talking about a game. That's a very good question. LOL. Anyway. What I'm talking about is whatever I'm talking about at any given moment in amongst my endless rambling. But yes. You say Kirkbride is one of those brilliant creators who need someone to tell him no every once in a while? Correct. Absolutely true. Anyway, need to put this here. Do, 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 do. So, um, <clears throat> right. So why hasn't anyone made a Coda mod yet? It's uh, the the actual number of people who talk about Coda versus the number of people who've actually read it are um. There, there's a, there's a big gap between between those numbers. Um, mostly it's just bonkers. It, remember that Coda is actually just a, like, it's a script for a, um, a comic book that never got made, basically. Hmm. Anyway. Let me, uh, see here. What was I going to make with these? I was, oh uh, yeah, I was going to make treasure chests. That's why I came here. I came to this land to make treasure chests. Of course. That's a fair number. To make about five of each there. Yeah, so about 21 treasure chests. Pretty sure, yeah, perfect. 22 treasure chests. Okay. We need signs. There, there must be signs of... Uh... Okay, how do we do that? I've forgotten how to make signs. They, they, that Not that way. I think we need sticks. There we go. That's better. Mm, yes. Yes, we can do that. Cool. That should do it. And, yeah. Cool. Now. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. First things first. We're going to set up some uh, storage here. We have 22 chests. And we're going to go, yeah, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. Cool. So th this should be uh, gear. Yes. And then over here should be gems. And yes. One, two, whoops. Three, four, five, six. Good. So we will have gear here, gems there. And what we'll do is we'll just kind of do the same thing. And that'll make things easier for quick dumping. I know sorting won't be done as easily, but uh, in the meantime, for now, for meow, we're going to dump everything we can and deal with it later. But I just wanted to make sure we could kind of get that done and not be suffering. Yep. Okay. Did Sven or Fandal? Unfortunately, it's going to be a Warp in the West deal. Uh, where neither Sven or Fandal won Camilla's heart. And in fact, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the Dragonborn probably uh, swooped in and, and stole her. But then that retroactively got changed to another character, ret you know, swooped in and stole her. And... Um, that's just probably how it's going to be. Yep. Again, the, the idea of... Uh, it, not, nothing being consistent. Okay, so... Uh, that's unfortunate. This this The top chests can't be opened. Due to them being out of roof. Makes me sad. Oh, well. I don't care about that. So, standard gems. Uh, support gems. Augment gems. Gear, uh, gear gems. And that should do it. So, di different gem types. That's way better than having them in a single chest. That means that I can find a particular item type and just dump it. Now we do the same thing for gear. We just shove the gear into a single uh, slot there. Ooh, so same, same deal here. Just basically anything that is quote unquote gear can get shoved in there. That should do. I need a pickaxe, or sorry, a regular axe to fix something I did wrong. There's the regular axe, cool. Okay. So yeah, these top slots can't be used. Because uh, the chests can't open into the ceiling. Which makes sense. Mm-hmm. It would be funny if uh, someone dedicated like a giant mod suite to realizing all of Kirkbride's stuff. Um, I spoiled which game? Which game are you talking about? No. <laughs> okay. You talking about Skyrim? Holy fuck. Okay. Uh, Daggerfall? Oh, shit. No, no. Daggerfall's got, like, multiple endings. Good luck with that, man. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay. Um. Yeah, yeah. Uh, jeez. My favorite one's the uh, King of Worms ending, honestly. Because he, he goes Superman into, into oblivion. Becomes a god. Uh, um, your ending was always when you get bored. Yeah. The King of Worms makes a really compelling argument. Yes. Um, now what else was I going to do? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, wasn't material. Yeah, tools. Uh, ma materials. Uh, 
Excuse me. Yeah, Matt, Matt, Matt's. Uh, raw blocks. Yeah, raw, raw blocks. There we go. There's gems, and then this, yeah, these are just raw blocks. One, two, one, two, one, two. Cool. And so, like, cobblestone, stuff like that. Cool, that, that makes things so much easier. Yeah. Rather than uh, skimming through each chest going, what's in here? Now what's in there? It's a case of raw blocks, yes. Um, so stone would be in the first one. That's fine, we'll go grab a bunch of that. I'm gonna go other places in a second. I just wanted to really quick uh, deposit some of these in raw blocks. It's fine. We're, we're clear. That's, yeah, my, uh, I'm gonna try to take a nap and see what happens. Oops. There are monsters nearby. Bullshit. Bullshit, there are monsters nearby. I'm taking this bed. I'm moving it to the center. Yeah. Wait, there, oh, jeez. Okay, the mon there's a monster on the roof, I think. I have to kill it with the power of force. Spider! That's why I couldn't uh, sleep, is there was a monster, like, right over my head. Seriously. That was going on. We're good. Good morning! Okay. Let's go explore a bit. Also, poisonous potato. Get rid of that. Hello. Crazy. I'm strong enough to kill a single skeleton. That isn't a problem. Those creepers and super zombies, on the other hand, I'm going to get my uh, minions out for. That was, uh, that was definitely a creeper. Okay, let's check our map here. So, we should go over to the village where we died before. We haven't properly explored that village yet. There's definitely more places to check out. Um... This is, uh, Path of Exile, actually. Yeah. This is, this is definitely Path of Exile. I haven't really considered where I want to put points yet, but, uh, hey. We're gonna have our zombies behind us. Just because, like, a creeper comes out of nowhere and we have to worry about too much. Oh, God, I just fell into a pit. Crazy. At least we can dig our way out. Hell, yeah. What else? There's a marauder. Yep, we're killing the marauders. We're in the orchid swamp right now. Crazy. Quest completed investigation. We got a fair few gems off those marauders there. Okay. Don't need industry when you have magic. Depends. But, uh... Yeah, I get what you mean. This area is crumbled. Looks like there's some candles here. Weird day area there. Yeah, we're headed toward our old death, which is up over there. What are these? These are Geishal Greens. We should uh, grow up some of those. Geishal Greens are the uh, key to... Uh, Let's see, yeah. Those are lovely guy shells, and these are standard guy shell grains. Those are uh, chocobo. Chocobo food. Uh huh. Yes. Do, 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 do. Okay. Ooh, well, it's this cave. There's some really cool stuff down here. Looks like coal. Yeah, I, I can't get the coal easily. Let's swim back up. Oh, crap. I'm dead. Incredible. Well, that was it. Uh, lost a huge chunk of EXP. Yeah. 
Lost a huge chunk of EXP. In fact, if we look at this, our, our favor is currently the 369. Yeah, we lost uh, 250 uh, favor in our death. Unfortunate. You get an EXP boost. Uh, we are level 23. Yes. Mm-hmm. Level two. We gotta go down there. We we have to get down there and get our stuff. I don't th I, I don't think most stuff dropped, but uh, yeah, our items are still here. It's just I think we dropped some EXP and stuff that we can possibly go get. I'd like to get it. The question is, how do we get down there without death? That's the real question. Hmm. This is terracotta, clay. Let me see here. You have to recover your soul. Something like that. I'm going to hang around here for a second. Holy crap. Okay, we're going to... We're going to do this. I'm, I'm going to build a mine shaft. Hold on. So, for mine shafts, what we have to do is that. And then that. Good. That's better. Uh, now again. Yeah, I know that broke, but I have more. Okay. That's better. Okay, we can use the water. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, I, th I think so. I think we can use the water. We just need to uh, dig this. Yeah, I think so. Cool. We now have a proper waterfall going down there. To our old death. <laughs> The zombie was impaled on a stalagmite. Oh, jeez. Okay. Whoa, crystal zombies. Okay. Crystal zombies should be good. Oh, so yeah, you can get impaled on these stalagmites then. That's crazy. Oh, crystal attacks. Crap. I hate you. Okay. Uh, light. Must remember the light. Ah, oh, crap. We got him. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, hit one of these. I was trying to illuminate this area. Monsters spawn less. In light. Very often they don't spawn at all, but then there are other trigger conditions. Damn. Hmm. It is pretty fun, and with the build diversity, like, you can do whatever you want regarding, like, the different classes here. I'll, I'll go over the classes real quick. Um. Like, there's... I, I'm playing Warlock. There's Bard, so you can be, like, a... A actual musician, a combat musician. Then, um, what do you call it? A shaman, archer, rogue, uh, may uh, like elementalist, and of course, standard old sword and board warrior. Yeah, those are the archetypes, and then you kind of, uh, you know, expand outward using the talent trace however you want. Okay. But yeah, I really wasn't expecting to explore this cave. I was expecting to head over to the nearby village. You can dual class. You cannot multi-class. So, uh... You, you can be exactly two classes at once. But, uh... That's it. Okay. 
You are splitting your skill points, though, if you do that. Now, let's see. No power fantasy? I'm sure that if you, you know, finish the progression, you can get power fantasy. But you earn that power fantasy as opposed to, you know, uh, other games where you are given it right at the beginning. Press a button, something awesome has to happen! Uh, here, hold on. Uh, let me pull it up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Dragon Age 2, everybody. Ahem. <clears throat> first thing we wanted to do is the combat. So a lot of people, when they played the combat in Dragon Age Origins, they weren't really getting that kind of sense of getting into the heart of battle. So we went to a point, we have one motto on the team in terms of combat, and that's when you press a button, something awesome has to happen. So button awesome, connected now in Dragon Age 2. There you go. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm gathering iron ore. I, w I want more iron, thanks. Okay. Morrowind is a slow burn power fantasy because you will eventually become godlike and you will eventually, you know, surpass the prophecy and be uh, Nerevar reborn. But, um, you know, you, you feel at the end of the day, after you've uh, achieved that power fantasy, you feel as if it's uh, been earned. Whereas in, um, in in a game like that, you're just supposed to. Uh, oh, I, I see an Enderman over there. He's angry. Okay. My zombie should take care of the Enderman as it moves to get me. Yeah. Cool. My zombie's got him. We've also got coins. Yes. Coins. Mm hmm. Duplicate bottles of skooma. Nice. You're gonna die to a scrib because you don't know how stamina management or uh, uh, weapon uh, weapons work. Yeah. There, there are some people who will. They'll pick up the iron dagger from the census office and they won't have dagger skill. And they'll have an empty stamina bar. It's great. Even without exploits, you will become massively overpowered and morrowing toward the end of your playthrough. Yes. Okay. I don't see my target here yet. Do, 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 do. Got... 37 more torches. Like to get more of this. Yep. Mm, yeah, this is good. I've gotten uh, plenty of iron here. It's funny how there was basically no iron in the earth whatsoever, but you come to one of these areas and there's iron everywhere. I don't mind it. Yep. Potion of speed with the levitate spell. I have a potion of levitation back at base right now. Hmm. There's a zombie. Cool. Mm -hmm. Are there maps? Yes. There are maps. You you will uh, you will find a map item. You will use it. It will teleport you to a procedurally generated area where you will fight super monsters. That is, uh, that is absolutely part of the game. Yes. Okay. Wow, I see magma down there. Crazy. I want to jump on the magma blocks. Jump on my sword while you can. Ah, ah. Hey, zombies, you guys gonna just kind of land on the... Yeah. Oh, jeez. It's, it's, it's fa that was a fast zombie. Crazy. Um, 
Jump on my sword while you can. That's the, uh... Yeah. That was a good meme. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. Did, did you know that Microsoft's lawyers were pestering the lady uh, who wrote the the end poem to uh, to sign over her rights to it? She wrote it as a gift to Notch specifically. No, not not Microsoft. Nobody else. She wrote it as a gift to Notch, and um, so when they were asking her to sign over her intellectual property rights to it, she said no over and over and over. But they kept they kept uh, complaining to her about it. So uh, as one last fuck you, she uh, uh, she gave it over to the public domain. So the end poem of Minecraft is. Uh, it's, it belongs to everybody. It belongs to society. Serious business. Yep. She, she just got so pissed at, uh, at Microsoft uh, trying to bully her that she just uh, gave it to the public domain. Okay. Eight. No. I gotta put stuff in the backpack. Uh, yes. Anything that's 64, kind of capped, whatever. Ominous banner. Palladium chunk. Sure. Greens. Yeah, this is good. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Okay. I'm in the deep caves now. Black seeds. Huh. This area doesn't seem to go anywhere. There is a deep slate redstone, but I don't care about that. I'd like the iron if I could. Zombie pushing me around. There we go. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty good. Mods have changed significantly, but so has the um, the foundation. You can't, like, if you want to use a certain mod pack, you're going to have to use a certain version of Minecraft. Uh, it's not really possible to just uh, mix and match them, so to speak. The mods are made for a certain version, so... If you say like the mod that adds uh, all kinds of dragons and, and other things, uh, and other like co really hardcore combat encounters, well, you can't actually use that mod with um, newer Minecraft, for example. Like the mod that adds the battle towers is several versions out of date. Um, and there's really no fixing that other than to rebuild it from scratch at this point since Minecraft is so different than it used to be. So as Minecraft mod packs progress, you end up with newer uh, mods and uh, older mods just kind of have to be abandoned, which is irritating because I'd love to mix and match some of them. All right, well, I'm going to try to get out of here. This uh, cave has been pretty cool, and I'm sure I could explore more of it, but it's dark outside. Um... That I'm going to try to get over to the village. Or maybe back to base. I, I'm closer to base than I am the village, technically, so. Yep. I had to make that big waterfall by digging this section out, because I jumped down here and died. Yep. Du -du 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 -du. Anyway. This is a much newer version than the one I was playing before, but it also runs better. That's the sad reality. Is the older versions don't have a tendency to run very well. I'm summoning zombies. There's a gelatinous cube there. Oh, jeez. Okay. More zombies. 
Yep. Okay, more uh, limes appear. Crazy. Gonna try to summon uh, some, uh, what do you call them? Archers. Archers are summoned, okay. The archers will now uh, shoot the slimes, I guess? Yeah, yeah, we're good. The slimes are dead. Uh, orbs, some other things. Money! Okay. Like how I got farming experience by doing that. There's my house. I'm going to go sleep. At least after I fight all the zombies. Yep. Good, good, good. Anyway. Dude, the free version of Minecraft was creative only. Yeah. But it was an old, old version of Minecraft. It was That wasn't really... It wasn't really creative only. It was more... Uh, this is a... a t not a tutorial, but like a an early alpha version. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No, no, stop, stop it, stop it, stop, stop, stop. Okay. Big golem. Crazy. Well, that was a block of redstone. And a cracked amethyst. I need that gear. Yeah. I'm fighting enemy zombies. They're coming in waves. Irritating as that is. The sun is coming up, so... The enemy zombies will die soon. Oh, they're dropping souls. Nice. I need those souls. Souls let you either modify gear or generate new gear. So, um... Like, if you find a, uh, a pre-existing piece of gear that you like, say, an iron pickaxe, and you were to get an, a pickaxe soul, you could create a special version of the pickaxe. Um, it's an interesting mechanic. Um, but, um, if you don't have one, you can just use, a say, a pickaxe soul and just gen generate one randomly. And it might be good, it might be bad, it might be made of a material you don't want. And you have no way of knowing. Yep. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. We need to get back to... I mean, it's morning. We can probably just go, but I need to put my stuff away. There's there's too... I have too much junk. Good, though. I uh, expanded the wall out from the base, so things are a little better. Let me uh, see here. First things first. Let's go over to uh, raw blocks. And we'll put all, away all our raw blocks that we picked up. Um... Then we need souls. Soul. Uh, we're gonna put that in the gear. I think is it gear? Ge yeah, it's gear. Okay, we'll put the souls in the gear slot there for now. And as far as gems go, we need to find the one with chip gems. Yeah, there we go. Uh, cracked amethyst. That's fine. Okay. Mm hmm. You like that radar mod? Yes. The the map is very helpful. I I like it very much. Okay. I think that's about it. What else do I need to take with me? I've got food. I will have more food before we're done. I have a bucket just in case. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, I'm just going to put away that uh, socketed gym and then I guess grab a couple more pickaxes. Got one pickaxe, two pickaxe, and I think we're good. I don't see anything else I need to be concerned about, so let's uh, let's go. Mm -hmm. uh, I've I my previous run was RL Craft. You can actually find that on the uh, on this YouTube channel under lives if you scroll down until you find a, a thumbnail of a French made uh, character there, but. Um, what do you call it? The issue with RL Craft is that it's um um like it doesn't run very well. 
That's for sure. It's got issues. Um, like its performance is kind of awful. So I just kind of shrug and go, oh, well. This uh, maintains 60 FPS most of the time. It might dip if uh, for any reason, but, uh, you know, it, it, it at least feels like it runs better the majority of the time. Okay. I've harvested all the Geishal greens. Oops, I keep hitting the wrong button. There we go. I need to go around the marsh to this area to the north. Yeah. I keep doing things wrong. Okay. There's a cave over here I haven't explored yet. Very close to my base, too. Uh, it's... it's... Well, hello, creeper. I was a common creeper. I was able to kill it with a blast of uh, poison. That's fine. We're good. Not, uh, not being able to harvest wood with your bare hands. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it just adds a... You, you get, uh, you get, uh, flint. Like, you... You have to collect rocks, and you have to break the rocks in order to get, like, a shard. And then you, you, like, tie it to a stick using some grass. And by the time you're done with all of that, it is the most, uh, it's the most convoluted shit for the most, for a very simple thing. Monkeys? Huh. Level 40 monkeys. Crazy. Oh, there's villagers here. So this, this area is considered a village, then. Hmm. Bookshelves. Okay. Let me try to go up here. I want to see what's up in this area. Oh, just a bed. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Gotta wonder how the villagers were able to build the things they built. Feels very off. Hmm. This is an entrance as well. Interesting. It's a cauldron. Go upstairs. Okay. I don't see anything special up here. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It's just, uh... What the heck? That is a cartography table. We can make maps. I think that's like duplicating your maps. Imagine creating illegal maps and then having uh, a cartographer's association come and break your legs because you were uh, illegally distributed. In yeah, this guy's an archer. We talked to him. He'll he'll pay you for sticks and, and copper, but if you give him copper plus gravel, he'll make flint for you so you can get arrows. Uh, okay, what about this uh, area here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, eat anything good. Um, the wife got me a Costco chicken bake, uh, and, uh, like yesterday, and so what I did was I just, uh, oh, I I just had that today. She's uh, as is uh the um. What do you call it? Uh, sorry. I got distracted. No, she, she has today off, so she's with her mom. I uh, I helped load up that car. I should know. Um, but um, what do you call it? They're, they're working on, like, a quilting project. In their... Um, in the in-law's basement, they got, like, a whole uh, set of sewing machines and stuff. It's uh, pretty cool. Bernina's. Yes. Oh. Anyway, they're uh they're working on different projects. Chief among them is a uh, quilting project, but you know, that isn't the only thing they're working on. I just um what do you call it? Uh every few Sundays I'll go over and bug them and help them out with stuff, but usually they're um Usually she goes over to their place on Saturdays. That isn't always true, though. 
Um, like today is a Tuesday, right? But uh, is it a Tuesday? Is it, sorry, Thursday. This is this is me being stupid again. Um, yeah, it's a Thursday today, and she has uh, she's off from work, so she's uh, gonna put the finishing touches on a project that she didn't have time to finish earlier. It's uh, kind of cool. Why is there a door here? I don't understand. Uh, hello, are are you? You're common unemployed. Damn, those common unemployeds. Yep, yep. Oh God. Well, so much for that. Wait, it's a functional ladder. What the hell? Crazy. Can I go down now? Thank you. Can I? No. No. Uh, I don't understand. Oh. Okay, I'd, uh, I crouch. Very strange. So, these are different, like, battlements. This is a cool place. Flames. Yes. Tales of a loss and something or other. Okay. Um, I guess this is an interesting little castle there. Seems kind of pointless to me. Hello, Mr. Weaponsmith. Uh, 19 gold coins and he'll give you an enchanted iron sword with looting. That's pretty incredible. I have three gold coins. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. I could give him coal. And it, so... In exchange for coal, he'll give me gold coins. That's really nice. I had no idea. I'll have to keep that in mind. There's also an armor smith who will give me iron chest piece for, for gold as well. That's neat. Okay, not exactly what I was looking for. Oh, God. My poison bolts can't reach that creeper. Maybe I can, actually. Hmm. Well, anyway, uh, there is a path down there. I don't know the name of this village, and I don't see a waystone for it. Mm-hmm. What's up with the quests with the king and Daggerfall? Um, do you have to go do a whole lot of little side quests for different people in different kingdoms to discover that he was actually, um... Uh, that he was actually killed by a certain person. And then you have to go to Lysandus' tomb, which is somewhere else. And, um... Wait, oh, a moss rune. Yeah. Uh, oh, and a compass I don't need. Great. Empty maps. Sticks. Lead. Leather boots. I'll take the emerald. Cool. Um, but yeah, like... There is no uh, level cap on the quest. You just have to go and uh, uh, go and explore and talk to the different uh, royals in different cities. And when you're done, when you've talked to enough people um, and enough time has passed, emphasis on time passing, uh, then there will be a, um, whatchamacallit, you'll get letters in your inventory and those letters will tell you about what you need to do uh next you know, who you need to talk to and they, they all feel like unrelated side quests but they all loop back around to finding out what happened to the king do i look tired yeah i'm, I'm a little smidgen tired Whoop! Well, what's this i need that loot It's getting dark, so I hope to find, like, a bed around here. In one of these little, uh, sections here. Nappy time. Oh, it's a, this area's called Cherry Grove. Glitter Mitten Grove. What? Okay. Yes. Okay, it's morning again. Glitter Mitten Grove is a uh, pretty good game. It's actually uh, the original game that Frog Fractions 2 was hidden inside of. 
See, Frog Fractions 2 is a game that was kickstarted. It was a very, very interesting kickstarter. Like, you, you've never seen a kickstarter like it. I guarantee you. Hold on. Okay. Getting a fair amount of coal. I was wondering if I should just give the coal to the blacksmith and get uh, some... <laughs> some gold coins. The answer is no. But, uh... It is interesting nonetheless. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the dirt. And... Let's, uh, stow some stuff away. Yeah. When, when in doubt, stow things away. Yep. Okay. That's better. I hear a zombie! Damn. He dropped a, um... Uh, armor penetration support gym. Nice. I wasn't expecting that. I'll take it, though. Uh, bu 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 well, there's a creeper. Creepers are pretty weak. I say, as one nearly exploded in my face, it's fine. Um, but yeah, Daggerfall is an interesting game in the sense that uh, it has like a bunch of interweaving quest lines. This is a crypt. Huh. So those are supposed to be like coffins. And these are supposed to be graves. Crazy. And a seed where coal was nowhere to be found. Oof. I think I've already been to this uh, section here. Oh god, the guy is washing his hands. Got it. I'm assuming that's what he's doing. It's a toilet. Uh, that area was literally a toilet. That's an aquarium. No big deal. Mm-hmm. What else we got? Gonna check a couple more things. Hold on. Someone asked me a uh, question. Hmm. All right. Don't see that there. Ba -ba -ba. Hold on. Um... Sorry, I have to fix something. Someone asked me a thing. Um... <laughs> I, I, uh, someone asked me, uh, wh what you should, what you should, uh, classify yourself under. It, it, like, be, you know, if you're doing like YouTube or something, what should you classify that under? And then someone was pointing to a um, um, to a profile of this uh, VTuber named Pippa, uh, who has financial services listed under her uh, uh, under her job title, and it's just like what, uh, wh what? Uh, okay, what a shame. Okay. Let me see here. But it, it is a good question, you know. Whether it's entertainment or other... Um, what do you call it? Other, other qualifications. Um, let me see here. Large tunnel. Small square. That's better. Good. Got plenty of copper there. Yes. Analyst. That, that's funny. But, uh... See, those are Geishal greens. I like how you get farming EXP from these. 
Like, uh, yeah, farming experience. Harvest more Geishal greens, dumbass. Uh, that is a golden Geishal. Those are kind of rare. Let's uh, continue up, I guess. Uh, our goal was to go over here to this town. But we got sidetracked by all of this, and I still can't figure out where any guardian stones are. Uh, any kind of uh, waypoint indicator. That might be a waypoint over there. Uh, but it feels like a little high up, so I don't know. Maybe to the north. Let's find out. Whoa, boy, crunch. Let's eat first. Something about we're starving. You think villages would be full of food, and sometimes they are. Sometimes they aren't. What's this? Those are beetroots. Neat. Looks like we can use those to grow beetroots at our place. Which is A-OK. -okay. That's some wheat crops. And we can turn around and turn the wheat into... Jeez, uh... what is with this water? Where is it coming from? That's a, that's a very loud hummingbird. Mm-hmm. Said in your country, Daggerfall wasn't so popular. You do realize Daggerfall wasn't very popular in any uh, countries at all, right? It was just popular enough um, for them to consider making other games. Okay. Um, like it, it, it was profitable. It wasn't popular. My goodness. Okay. And go this way. Yep, yep. Okay. Yeah, I just need to continue north and around. I want to see what's on the northern side of this. Avoid the monkeys. The monkeys are angry. Oh, there's more Geishal to grab. We'll grab that. It's free. Yeah, we can just grab all of this. I hear something loud and angry down there. Sounds great. Like there's a super happy enemies. Mm-hmm. No Daggerfall landfill. That's funny. Hmm. Straight area down here. Yeah, I don't think so. It's cool, but not for me. Thank you very much. I'll take this uh, iron, though. Thank you. How much iron is there? The answer is probably none. Yeah, it's just, it's just literally one block of iron. Could be okay. Forgot that I brought the 13 signs with me. Yeah, the, the real issue is that uh, Gothic kind of hates you. And wants you to die. Daggerfall is... Kind of neutral if you learn its systems. You don't need to actually exploit Daggerfall to become obscenely powerful. Whereas Gothic uh, kind of demands that you exploit it or suffer. Okay. Cool. We found some more uh, harvestables that are not in... Uh, the worst areas ever. Yep. I can hear the zombies below getting angry. Growling. Okay. We're going to head more north. Figure out what's up here and around here. Uh, duh, 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 duh. What? Mm -hmm. Fish. I'll take that gear soul, you bet. The voodoo hat is totem damage. That's pretty cool. Uh, some puffer fish. 
Let's see some lacquered boots. Cracked sapphire. I'll grab all those sticks. You bet. Don't need any of that. It looks like barrels are almost exclusively reserved for fish. Fish and fish related items. Hmm. Yeah, I can hear all the zombies underneath the village. It's kind of crazy. There are a lot of fishermen here, leading me to wonder what the hell is going on. Like, where are you fishing from? You're going all the way down to the bottom? That area is dangerous. I don't see any uh, waypoints here, which feels very odd to me. Look, there's some. There's my home base over there. You can see it that way. I need to go east from here, though. Uh, the sun is uh, definitely on the setting side, but I think we can get there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I'd say um, I haven't played Gothic in a long, long time, whereas Elix, on the other hand, I uh, I enjoyed semi-recently. Okay. Mostly I found that both in Gothic and Elix, Melee is just asking for pain and suffering. I'm, I'm sure that you can quote-unquote get good at it, but at, at that point, I don't want to. And at that and when, when you hit that point where you realize you don't enjoy something, you're better off just playing another video game. All right. Do, 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 do. I've never played Elix 2, so I couldn't tell you anything about it. Some people like it, other people complain. Okay, I close the door here. The monsters. Yep. Very good. What are these? Blowberries. Crazy. Mm hmm. Now, I will fight you. What are you going to do, huh? There's a lot of zombies. I'm also having trouble getting out. There we go. BX Pyro Orbs. I've almost leveled up. One more kill should do it. Maybe not. I need to summon more zombies. Good. Should do it. We leveled up. 24. Hell yeah. That is basically what I wanted. Oh god, there's loot here. I need the loot. Um, let me see. Get out of here, cobblestone. Um, I see good items down there. I just kind of need to be able to get them. And it's very irritating. Yeah, man on kill. Is there a level cap? Don't know. There's a lot to go over, though. And, uh... Yeah. Common restoration potion. Restores 11%. I'm sure that's true. Mm, get rid of that lesser root. Chipped amethyst. Crazy. Okay. Damn. Lots of monsters. Okay, I'm going to go for a... Uh, uh, somewhere in this village, there's got to be a treasure chest. Cool, there's a treasure chest right here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to 
grab all of the common restoration potions and kind of shove them together into this chest. And the idea is I'll be back for this stuff later. But, uh, we gotta fight. That's our goal. Enderman, I challenge you. He's angry. Look at that. I mean angry monsters. Okay. We killed most of them. There's an amulet there. We just, oh, it's a soul. Very good. Yes. Do, 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 do. Nice. Okay. Moving along, moving along. We'll see if the bot wants to interact. What the hell? Oh god, that's a super zombie. It's an epic savage zombie. And it's dead. Good. What the hell else is going on here? There's some really strange noises. Looks like there's uh, some kind of building up there with music coming out of it. It's really weird. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -hmm. Okay. That should do it. Gunpowder there. Yeah, I'm going to simplify that bot message because I set up a link tree last night. But, uh, you know. It is what it is. I like how the bot decided, hey, I'm going to spam it twice. That'd be great. Okay. Trying our best here. Level 15 bastards. Almost got him. Cool. I hear that noise coming up from inside this building and it makes me wonder what's at the top and how do I get to the top? Then I see more monsters like this and I know that we must kill. Good. Okay. We gotta do it. Okay. That should do... 42 experience orbs. Hilarious. Damn it. Got distracted. Yeah. This area is just full of monsters. Mm-hmm. Everything's a reference and nothing is. Well, oh god, it's a zombie titan. Yeah. Nope. You have to you have to get out of the way before it uh yeah. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, crap. I got slammed into the ground. Thankfully I got slammed into water. Uh I, I'm hurting. I'm hurting a lot. I'm hurting a lot, I'm hurting a lot, I'm hurting a lot. Okay. Okay, he's dead once. He will come back in just a second. I'm summoning my skeleton archers just in case. There you go. He's, he's, he's waking up. Yep. He's, he's gonna get up again. He gets up at least two times. Sometimes three. Okay. You dead yet? You dead for good? No. No, you're not. Crazy. We got him this time. Okay. That was scary as heck. Um, inventory isn't full yet. In fact, we got some plate pants I can't wait to break down for resources. This is madness. We've got a uh, Enderman coming. Uh, alligator and name only. What? I don't understand. That is a fast zombie. Okay, Enderman's dead. Good. This is madness. Madness, I say. Eat the potatoes. The potatoes are not good. Yeah. Let's eat the guy shell greens. That's not good either. Got to go all the way back. Can't stop here. It's bat country. 
crazy, crazy. Okay. Our goal is to make it all the way back to the house. Uh, technically, the sun is rising, so we're probably not going to die a horrible death right now. Unless, of course, you know, that is an epic creeper. He's creeping. I should have known. Okay. That should do. Moldy food can also heal. Ah, ah. Oh, I just need to go over here. There, there's a bunch of bread in this house. Yes. That's what we were looking for. What the hell is this amulet? That's a map rarity upgrade. Yes, maps can drop higher loot. Wait, what? Damn. A zombie just tried to come in. The blue moon sets you don't feel lucky anymore. Oh, no. Well, here's the bread we were looking for. Drop that meat. Say hello, bread. Bread isn't particularly nutritious, but hey, whatever. Um, the guy shawl greens. Okay. I'll try to put things away in here. At least the potatoes got put away. That was something. But, um, yeah. I was gonna say that we need to... I guess, like, I need beetroot seeds. Vanda seeds are fine. Crack sapphire is nice. I'm gonna have to come back here later and deal with things. I'm gonna put these stupid signs away. They've been in my uh, face for way too long. Yeah, these, these little signs right there. Those here. Grab that. Yeah, the amulets are important, so we need to take those with us. Same thing. Uh, yeah. Let's... I'm trying to figure out if there's anywhere else we need to go. Let's uh, figure out this village first. There is a... There should be a way shrine around here somewhere, considering I found a market board, right? The, the, these quest boards... Uh, rare bounty... Mm, let's see. Pink banner. Gray wool. Black dye. I'm trying to see what else they want. Brown banners, any banners. Nope, so so they just want us to kill different bandit tribes. My goodness. Oh, there's a golem here. That's pretty cool. I'm a 9,000-year-old lich, don't you know? Um, seriously, though, we're... Okay, we can, we can get some Gaishal grains here. Like, let them respawn after, you know... We can harvest them and then pick them up. Um, I guess, how much wheat can we run through? I don't need wheat seeds. I've got plenty of wheat seeds. So that's fine. Just want to make sure I pick up enough Gaishal greens and miscellaneous other things. There's another green there. Grab the dandelion. I think that's a golden green. That's fine. Mm-hmm. There are horses there. That's kind of nice. Now, I'm trying to find a stone that can let me teleport to this area whenever I want. That's what I'm actually looking for. I can place a manual thing down, but... I'd rather not if I can just find a stone. So, we're looking around. That's a well. There's cows in there. Hmm. Wait, what's what's down here? Ooh, there's a bunch of coal. That'd be nice to have. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just got distracted. Mm -hmm. There's another root. Drop the feather. Say hello to the root. Yep. That's good. Wait, what What kind of uh, green is that? Another one. Crazy. Lots of children here. 
Lots of children. Okay, there are, there are plenty of treasure chests here to check out, but I don't think I'm going to be after them right now because I just need, like, a, a waystone. There should be a waystone here somewhere. I'm not seeing it, probably because I'm stupid, but uh, it'd be great if we could find one. Yeah, Half-Life was fun. Um, in fact, I rather enjoy, um, what do you call it, some of the uh, Half-Life mods that came out well afterward. I'm go probably going to do a playthrough of uh, that Dark Star mod at some point. It's a really old one. People are like, why are you playing old mods? It's like, because then we play new mods. Uh, uh, but seriously. I am so confused. Usually, next to a, any village or town or whatever, there's a waystone. And I don't see one. It makes me concerned. Like, we, we, I just orbited around. I'm trying to figure out, is it, like, in this area toward the, toward the water? I know it wasn't over here at my quote-unquote old death, which we're going to delete, by the way. We're going to uh, delete that waypoint. Yeah. It'll go away soon. But, um, confirm deletion, yes. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to try that southern area there. Get the. I'm just going to follow the water instead of going through the middle of a few places. I'm surprised. I expected there to be a waystone basically everywhere in every uh, major location, but I've only found two so far. One in the starting town and one kind of nearby the starting town. But, um, huh. Let me see here. Yeah, I've orbited the whole town now. I'm going to go back over to the middle then. Let me see. There should be a, a thing in the middle of town, a uh, bounty board. I saw it earlier. We go over to the bounty board. I remember in older setups, there was always a, uh, like the waystone was always next to the bounty board. But now I'm looking at it right now. The bounty board's right here. I see some honey. I see, are those villagers on top of this? Yeah. This fountain is where I would expect to see a waystone. Aw. Aw, ha, ha. But, um... I guess I'll give up. What a shame. Hmm. Let me try this. Cow, cow, sheep. Bee, unemployed, creeper. Those are some underground things. There's apparently some chicken blood. Uh, sorry, it's just a chicken. Um, squid, squid. No, I don't see anything of the sort. So let's start heading over this way, I guess, to, to further to the east. If I find a waystone, I can teleport back between my base really easily. Otherwise, I have to make a manual waypoint, which I don't want to do at the moment. Grumble, grumble. I'm kind of looking around going, Hey, game. Do you not want to generate any of those? There's a big tower over there. It looks pretty fancy. Fancy. Hmm. I guess we've hit a point now where I'm just going to have to create a waypoint. Uh, I think I see one. I, I, I'm, in fact, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what I'm seeing. Right up there. That should be a way shrine. On that uh, cliff there. I loved Quake 1. Wasn't that huge a fan of Quake 2. What the hell is this? That's a goddess statue? Tell me what you desire. Spirit orb, heart container. Okay, so this goddess statue, we can take uh, four spirit orbs and make a heart container, which will increase our max health by 10. So this is a goddess statue. 
Cool. Let's place a marker here. Mm, let's see. Gold. Yep. There we go. We got a thing there. Well, I suppose that's it then. I'm going to check. Oh, wait. I, I think I see something at the top of that tower. If it's another goddess statue, I'm going to be pissed. But I think it's a way sh waypoint. Yeah. At the top of that tower. Go check. First things first. Grab the guy shell. Greens a plenty. Oh god, my inventory just filled up. Get out of here, raw chicken. So what? The guy shell greens only stacked to 60. Okay, 64. Okay, that makes sense. That's a normal stack size. Mm -hmm. Why would I be pissed? Because I'm pretty sure it's not. Damn. I need to jump up like that. Whoa! Hello, hello. The Wayward Realms Kickstarter page? Cool. Let's go ahead and link that. Oh, okay. Wayward Realms Kickstarter page coming soon. All right, cool. Uh, notify me on launch. You will be notified via email. Very good. Here it is. That's that's the Kickstarter. Neat. Mm hmm Looking forward to it. That's Elder Scrolls 2. That, that, sorry, that's a spiritual successor to Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfall. Which I am legitimately interested in. You know what? If that's what you want to do, I can just break the block. Yes. Oops. Uh, jeez. Yeah, that. Oh, this is gonna drive me crazy. I gotta drop something. Oh, I can I can place blocks here. Never mind. I know exactly what to do. Aha. No. There we go. To the top. I knew it! I knew there was a way shrine here. Thank goodness. It's an unnamed waystone. Okay. So, we need to go over to our thing here. Unnamed waystone. Uh. Hold on. No, no. Should be there. Unnamed waystone. Edit, and then it should be East Tower, Wild Waystone. Cool. So now we have uh, the East Tower, Wild Waystone, and we should be able to just kind of pop over to home base. So here's our home base. Uh, that that's just a cloud. Okay, we're we're, we're just snapping over to deal with our inventory, which is completely and totally. <laughs> full so we'll go back to that waystone in a second um first things first equipment we're grabbing any kind of equipment we can get our hands on yep putting it all in there to be smelted down later gear souls we need to put the souls away as well as for gems we got gems to put away so much stuff Crazy. Okay, chipped gems should be over here. But not iron nuggets, oddly enough. That is something completely different. I'm gonna grab everything from my chest. Yes, from sorry, from my backpack. I've got I've got a backpack on. It just isn't visible right now, but uh here, hold on. The best way to explain the backpack is by going over here, clicking on this. You can see the backpack right there. So if I click it. 
you can see the backpack equipped. Uh, you, you can hide those objects pretty easily, which is nice. It's a fairly fun mechanic. Let's see, more souls. Um, should probably get a uh, chest for runes, come to think of it. I hadn't thought about that too much. Gonna need a uh, area for iron as well. No big deal. Let me see. First things first, I'm just gonna drop everything in here. And then... Um, let's grab uh, some more iron. Yeah, the iron's good, okay. Let's access. Um, I'm gonna have to go back to the village and grab some more loot. I think. Do, 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 do. Is Skyrim the worst Elder Scrolls game? No, that's Elder Scrolls Blades for the cell phone. Followed by Elder Scrolls Adventures Redguard, which is also bad. Okay, Skyrim is functionally a good game. It's just, uh, it demands of you, uh, number one, imagination. And, uh, n number two, uh, not a, um, uh, how do I put this? Not, but, uh, not, a, not good storytelling, unfortunately. Like, Morrowind has the best, uh, world building, for sure. And not to be confused with world design. I mean, like, from a storytelling perspective. It really comes down to what you want out of the game. Yep. Hmm. Let me see here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Mm hmm Nice. I put the Celestial Produce. What a name. Okay, I think that's about it. I think we are good to go now. Uh, exploration question mark. I should probably head on out and grab more stuff. Um, but yeah, as far as our uh, character goes, we are uh, we well, we did our best. Unfortunately, the in-game gear kind of overwrites our other, you know, stuff. So, in any case, uh, it's nighttime, so we're going to go to sleep. Whoops. Okay, we're going to sleep here. And, yep, wake up in the morning. Then we are going to travel back to the East Tower Wild Waystone. There we go. And now we can grab some more bread. What's this? Damage over time support gem. That's nice. The emeralds are good too. Golden apple. What the heck? That is amazing. We'll eat that when we're hungry. It also heals you, right? Mm. No. It, it just gives you. It gives you regeneration. That's that's fun. Okay. Let's have a look at the other chests in this amazing place. Is that an anvil? That is an anvil. So if I wanted to repair this, I would have to then apply uh, something else. Well, that's pretty cool, though. I'm going to take the anvil with me. Yep. I got it. I'm going to put it in my base. There's a book here. Okay, this book looks good. Magic Shield 41 Health Cold Resistance. That that is a pretty good book. Let's see what else we got next. Uh, oh, nice a uh, bow soul, an uncommon bow. Is that another? That's a grindstone. Okay. Cartography table. Don't care about that one. What's this? Is it just some leather? Don't need to worry about it. So that's. Interesting. I need to break this section too. Yep. And that will let me get up this way. Yeah. The uh, ladder was broken in this tower.
Which is annoying because... Oh, there's a, that is a jack-o'-lantern. Cool. One treasure chest outside. It has a fire penetration uh, gem. That's great. Okay, let's have a look at the map. There's, it looks like a, a tower or something to the south there. Mm -hmm. uh, you get rolled weapons. Uh, yes, you get... Uh, uh, all the gear has like randomly assigned stats. And if something is normal, you can shove one of these souls into it and it'll roll a... Um, it'll roll stats. Yeah. You can also use the soul to generate a random item, but it won't be exactly the type you want as opposed to, you know, shoving a soul into it. You, uh... You, yeah, it's a lot more reliable when you, uh... use the soul to modify an item. Okay. I'm grabbing all these, uh, Geishal Greens here. Harvesting from the Wilderness. It's true, I'm getting farming experience, though. This is a little Stonehenge area. That, that That's all that was, was a Stonehenge. But there's other stuff down here. Um, looks like I'd be getting into the snowy regions that way. But you know what? Let's, let's go across anyway and see what happens. No idea. Hmm. Okay, from here, grab all the grains. I mean, if they want to grow around here, I'll take them. Yellowstone is what this area is called. So, in other words, volcanic. Hmm. What else is here? Is there an entrance of sorts? That's a fence. There we go. We can get inside. There's a villager here. A a novice Fletcher. For one copper, he will give me 16 arrows. I have plenty of copper. I have some gold and everything. That's a fletching table. Uh -uh. Is right. Um, I don't have an axe to chop with. But I would consider making a uh, fletching target. No, the fletching table doesn't work. What a shame. Yeah, it looks like this was once a um, a sort of a fortress, but it's been burned down or broken. Because uh, yeah, it's, it's one of those ruined forts out of oblivion. Oh, there's a golem there. The golems protect people. Jump on fire, you dumbass. That, that's what I did. Okay, so I think I'm just going to give up here. And figure out where else to go. Yeah, we're in a cave section. Got to get out to the surface. There we go. Um, Looks like a rock in that direction. There's some cherry groves that way as well. Oh, well. Let's just go northeast and figure out uh, where I want to go afterward. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Someone showed you an ancient feature of Minecraft that allowed you to take an isometric screenshot? Yes. But, I mean, with server tech these days, you can have a like a Google Maps version of your generated world. If you have a dedicated server, you can have like a real time, um, a, a real time Google Maps running on your game. Okay. What should do? How are we doing on the grains? Got another 64 of those. What was the button you hold to kind of figure out what... Um, I'm, I'm trying to remember the button you hold to... Um, like, 
to to figure out what this particular item requires for crafting. I can't remember for the life of me what the button was in the user interface. Like there, there was some kind of key combination you hit. Okay. Like what recipes require this thing? As a big bay. As long as it doesn't bug me. Okay. Some pretty basic stuff here. Yeah, we're going to continue north uh, east there. System Shock 1 and 2 are very different games. I enjoyed System Shock 1 a lot, but I think I enjoyed 2 more. I obviously kick-started the um, System Shock 1 remake, which I'm glad I did. It turned out to be great. By the way, there is an upcoming patch for the System Shock remake uh, on the 11th. So that's going to be a thing. Let me uh, see here. Oh, oh. Okay. Let's set a thing. Okay. I think I found it if I just scroll down a smidgen. Ah, uh, yeah. There it is. Ahem. Look at you, waffles. Pathetic breakfast of ghee and dough. Cooling and dripping as syrup runs down my flatware. How could you hope to feed a peckish immortal machine? There you go. Huh. <laughs> Do you, yeah, if you say, uh, immersive sim, it's a little closer to, uh, like System Shock 2 would be closer to that. Get my scout, uh, zombies out here. Fuck! Okay. We're good, we're good. My zombies will handle this. Meanwhile, I want to grab the coal. Coal is important. One thing I don't miss about System... Uh, not System Shock, jeez. About earlier Minecraft was... Um, whoop. Hold on. One thing I don't miss from earlier Minecraft was the... Um, the... Uh, in, like, RL Craft and stuff like that, a... An ore guardian breaks out of coal sometimes and will murder the crap out of you. And I was just thinking, hey, that is that was incredibly unfun, and turned ore from an interesting, like, uh, sorry, a, a uh, oh god, a, this is a fun little loot box to a, uh, you know, to horror. Like, I don't want to mine this coal. It's going to kill me. That's how it feels. This area is ve oh, it's a, it's a mine. Okay, fair enough. I was wondering what was going on with this location. Felt a bit off. It's a mine. Yeah. I know, a mine in Minecraft. Uh, there we go. That'll do. Better. Uh, okay. Said, uh, System Shock. Seems like System Shock. Uh, oh, yeah, Deus Ex. Like, the original Deus Ex versus the other ones. Very, very different games as well. Be surprised how many people get, uh, uh, confused between them. On. Okay. Should be able to dive down here now. 
Oh, creeper, how nice. Okay, we got the creeper, very good. Uh, whoop. French, I go. It's fine, really. Let's go. My vision is augmented. There's a, um... There's a mod that completely revoices the original Deus Ex. Uh, with a, a, a very, very deadpan lady. It's not, uh, AI or anything. It's, uh... It, she, it, like... She, uh, like, the lady voiced it herself, but I still, uh, I still remember that, uh, that mod. What a shame. This is a good man. What a rotten way to die. Okay. Getting a fair amount of mining EXP. I don't remember what it was called. I just remember that there was, in fact, a lady who completely revoiced the game. Yes. Okay. Do, 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 do. That'll do it. Got a fair amount of copper from that. The stone pickaxe has gained experience points. Yeah, but it's going to break any moment now. Like, seriously. Pain in the ass. All right. We're going to put most of this stuff away. Then we got to go back to the tower, I think. I'm going to go ahead and equip this gear. Because as nice as it is to have the French made outfit, it's uh, better to survive. And that almost doubles my uh, capacity for energy shield. Okay. Hmm. I need to break my way up there. So it looks like we got to use that pickaxe after all. What's left of it anyway. Yeah, I can't get any higher than that. So... That'll do it. And then... Where do I go from here? The answer is... Blocks. I need block there. Block there. Cool. We can, we can leave now. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, that, that way. That way. Hooray! We're out. It's nighttime outside. Which means monsters. Yep. Gonna summon my minions and we're going for that east tower. Got skeletons to fight. Mm hmm. The stealth pistol, jeez. I thought, uh. I thought it was really cool in the original Deus Ex that you could accomplish most situations um, in alternative ways. And I don't necessarily mean that, oh, you can, um, you can ignore, like, uh, th there are boss fights you still have to fight, but you can give yourself an edge in those fights by, like, say, turning on a machine gun, uh, you, you know, like, turning the security system against him or whatever. Like, there, there were always um, ways you could, you know, uh, while being not so much of a badass, um, still be able to accomplish things whoop, uh, through alternative methods. Whoop. And, but there were, of course, boss battles you had to finish that were, you know, basically required to... Complete levels. All right. Damn. Ba ba. The angry sheep are here. We've got zombies to be fighting. I don't really care about chasing sheep. 
sheep just happened to be in my way. We're going to that east tower over there. Yeah. Here we go. You have to be careful. The drowned come out at night. You can see one right there. They try to drown you. Oh. Like that one right there. It was right behind me. Okay. Hello. Nice. The creeper was about to explode and I killed it and got a soul for doing so. It's pretty cool. Creeper souls. Isn't that just uh, social media? There we go. Making more zombies. Collecting the silver. We should be fine. We're gonna use this. Uh... Hey there, creeper right out in front. Crazy. Wait, what? What's that sound? Oh, it was a. Uh... Enderman. Crazy. A little confused there for a second. Okay, we can leave now. We're going up to the roof. We gotta kinda climb on top of this. And around. There's a bed. Good. It's morning again! So what we do is we go over here. And using the east tower, uh, bu 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 bu, we need to really quick. Uh, we wanted to go over here to home base. There we go. Cool. Now, once again, we just kind of get rid of some stuff and we're going to continue exploring soon. I just want to make sure, yep, there's a soul there. Cool. This time of day, yep. It's uh, 4.40 p.m. right now. I have to actually make sure my cell phone's in front of me. I had my cell phone behind me resting on something. I'm like, wait a second. If uh, the wife calls uh, the ringers off, I need to be able to see the phone. Here we go. Cool. Let me uh, see there. Mm-hmm. Okay. First things first. Hmm. Give me a sec. I just need to make sure everything's set. Okay. I think we're good. So I need to grab all... I just need to grab everything at this point. And as for a crafting station, we need to set that up around here. So along the front, we should build the crafting stations. So in this case, we'll build an anvil... Um, we'll build an anvil right here. And now we can repair things, I think. Like if we were to do a stone pickaxe, and then we were to put some cobblestone in there... It would cost five enchantment levels to repair the stone pickaxe. That's freaking hilarious. But if we wanted to repair our iron pickaxe, like our our, sp our magical enchanted iron pickaxe, I want to see if it's going to let me do that. So iron and then the actual like magical pickaxe should be around here somewhere. I'm looking for it. The answer is don't be over encumbered all the time, you nit. Right, right. Um... It's gonna take me a moment to find. Might be upstairs in the other one. Hold on. Yep. Movable boxes, physics. Yeah, I remember Half Life 2 had the movable boxes, and, other, and players got pissed that Black Mesa added, like, physics objects. I, I remember that. Like, people were actually kind of. Like, they were off-put because they were expecting a, uh, a, a quote-unquote, like, re remaster of, um, of Half-Life. 
And what they got was very much a remake, and it added systems that they didn't uh, expect or want. I I think it was good. I I think uh, Black Mesa was good. I don't think it. Uh, I think it's uh, a little unbalanced, and therefore it's better for um people who are like they're bored of original Half Life and they want something a little less balanced. I think that's uh. Like, it's for them, for sure. Let me grab those. Okay. Uh, let me do this next. That's a stone pickaxe. I want to I wanna try to see if I can repair this enchanted iron pickaxe, see if it breaks or not. So we take the iron pickaxe uh, here, and then we put this here, and yeah, fu fully repaired. So um, that's pretty cool. Let's do it. All right, we now have a fully uh, set up uh, iron pickaxe. That's, uh, yeah, it was going to break, and uh, now it's just repaired. Yeah, that, that's glorious. I'm happy. Means that I can get more enchanted items and uh, maintain them. I don't hate that. I think that's really cool. Rock and stone, yes. I've only played now three runs of deep rock galactic but all three of them were fun like straight up i have not had a bad time in that game um give me a sec okay i need to access this we're gonna figure out gyms and stuff oh it was like i had uh other people in the game each time and it was fun so i i think it's just great period that's uh, how i'm going to phrase it i need to put these runes i need to keep the runes away i don't know what i'm doing here mm, still trying to see if there's anything else we need i guess we should use this gear soul and we should use these boots so uh, what about cloth? Yeah, I, I need, if I wanted to make cloth helmet, sorry, cl cloth chest, who is it? Yeah. So if I wanted to make one of those, it's, it, oh, it's literally just combining to, to repair. They're, they're, so they're talking about the repair function, not the actual, uh, that's unfortunate. I was hoping for more. Oh, well, let's go ahead and just uh, use this soul and see what happens. Okay, looks like... Oh, crap. Well, this is just all sockets now. Fair enough. Um. Okay, 38 magic shield. What's this one? This one's 32. So th this is technically better, but it's a bunch of sockets. So I'm wondering what we can do as far as runes go. Like... I just, I got a really good uh, chest piece, and I don't know, like, I don't think I have the gemstones for it right now. So I'm going to put it away for now at the bottom. But uh, that's pretty cool. So I might as well uh, go over to gems, and we're going to put these other ones away as well. Yeah. Just any kind of gemstones we got. What about books? Books are fine. I just need to put stuff away and uh, make sure all my inventory is clear for more exploration. Uh, let's see. Need to eat some more bread. Whoops. Yeah, I should be fine. I have a few more rounds in me of uh, this. Let's see. 64. So I was looking at maybe making some more torches. We got 54 torches. We don't need more torches. I'll put the golden apple away because as nice as a golden apple is, I, I don't want to accidentally use it right now. Um, There's ingots. I think we need to make some... Um, I'm going to use this, these wood here. And then uh, put the rest of this stuff away here. Hold on. Yeah, keep a couple extra pickaxes just in case. Take the rest of these. We're actually going to melt or gonna combine these other pickaxes. It's like these two right here. Bam. Then those two right there. 
not great, but you know. Okay, make planks. Planks make sticks. And sticks make torches, just a few. Yes, good. We're at 62. No problem there. What else do I need to do here? Because I got plenty of signs. Like, the signs aren't the problem. I got to go grab stuff, I think. Let's see. The System Shock remakes getting a massive free patch that adds the ability to play the female character. Yes, that was something that... Uh, they had confirmed was going to happen early on. And um, it kind of didn't right away. So, you know, it's good that they're finally getting around to it. Let me phrase it like that. Okay, diamonds, emeralds. Um, I'm looking at the four types of gems I have, and none of them are quite it. So we're just going to put them in the corner here. Yeah. And then there should be a, another gym. Okay. My inventory is much, much better off right now. I just need to shove some stuff in the bottom there and check on the, the crops, the farm fields. Make sure they are A-OK. -okay. I may need to harvest right now. But otherwise... Oh, well, yeah, I definitely have to harvest. Ah, ah, right. Yes. We're fine. We're, uh... We're gonna have some more bread. Oh. Mm, yes. Ah, ah. My bad. The stone hoe has leveled. Damn right it has. This is pretty funny. Yeah, it should be a okay. Level nineteen, eh? I think we're uh, doing well enough, I suppose. The stone hole ha hoe has been upgraded to uncommon. Interesting. Let's have a look at it. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, entity reach. It's got plus three reach. Oh, wow. The hoe can go all the way over there now. Yes. No, I don't need to build any auto anything. We're not automating in this game. You're thinking of uh, Minecraft players who actually play this game to any uh, length. I'm not not doing auto harvesting. I'm not doing. Uh, I'm I'm not doing uh, what do you call it? Uh, traps for monsters. Not not doing anything of the. I'm not doing automated. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, cow uh, cow and chicken uh, hoppers. Not not doing anything of the sort. Not even a bit. I will end the playthrough before that happens. Okay. We're almost there. Yep. Glad we were able to do this farming. It's pretty impressive. Okay. Yep, yep. Almost there. The stone hoe is at level 31 now. Madness. Well, gotta do that. Put seeds in. Sure. The only thing I want to automate is the placing of seeds into um, the composter for various reasons. There are uh, issues with placing seeds in the composter. Yes. That I just don't want to do anymore. Okay. Oh, wow. He hit me. Crazy. Thankfully, I can shoot poison over the fence. But yeah, he hit my, nicked my energy shield and gave me a uh, Stardust Jewel. How oh, nice. Mm -hmm.
Okay. Do you remember when the nether was a new thing? Yes. I, I do too. Okay. Crystal, crystal, chipped emerald. Trying to grab specific items to take with me downstairs. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do, do, do. Auto places seeds when harvesting. Yes. Okay, there there are more gems up here. Got it. First things first. Got to deal with this. This is a augment effect gem. We're gonna put that in the corner there. Augments up there. Bleeding damage. Increased armor augment. That's nothing big. And then uh, chipped gem there. And it's in the bottom corner where we have to make sure that these specific gems get kind of placed. Yes. Alright, anything else I need to do here? I don't think so. This is all just food. We're going to go uh, deal with that. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Okay. Wheat. How much wheat do we actually have? Um, come to think of it. I'm going to try to see how much. Yeah, we got 11 wheat there. wonder what I can make with potatoes. That'd be interesting to find out. Carrots, other things. I'm taking these gemstones. These gemstones are going into a completely different uh, container now. Oh, there we go. Wheat, wheat, wheat. I, I got it. We got we got enough wheat. So uh, we take this wheat. Take this wheat. Take that wheat. Wait, wait, what is this? Straw. No, thanks. There we go. Bread. We got 64 bread. This is fine. Fry it up on the oven. Okay. Let's see exactly what goes where. No big deal. Potatoes. But yes. I understand. Um, we're going to take... This workbench. I need an axe. I need an actual axe. Uh, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Why would I min max Minecraft? I'm playing for fun. Same thing with Stardew Valley. I uh, wouldn't bother even thinking of min maxing that. I will let seasons go and not accomplish certain tasks for the community center that could be gotten. And people flip the fuck out when that happens. No, you need to do it this season. How about not? How about Zoidberg? Okay. We're really quick grabbing stuff. We're no longer gonna be crafting down here. We're gonna be crafting upstairs. And that's why we're grabbing all the things. Yep. Good. So we head on up. Next to the anvil is where we're going to place the salvaging station. Yeah, sorry. Gear crafting stations next. Yes. Then salvaging station. Smithing table. Smoker. Uh, grindst uh, grindstone will go over here. Want to be able to get through the middle. A furnace. And a standard workbench. There we go. Now we got crafty stations there. Zoidberg AI overlay. At some point, I'm going to consider really weird-ass VTuber... VTuber avatars. Um... Not right now. Eventually. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Tamahato. Okay, so... 
Can we cook the potatoes directly, or do we need to do other things with it? That's the question. Oh, no, we can fry those potatoes up. Let's do it. Hell yeah. What do we got? That is a baked potato. Okay, so we're going to let those potatoes bake until the coal runs out. Um, everything else is regrowing nicely. Okay. I'm not really a fan of Argonians myself. I don't hate them, per se, but they've never been one of my preferred classes to pl uh, races to play. Whoa. Guy, guy spawned on the bottom somehow. I'm going to kill him. You there. No, he ended up in some weird corner somewhere. That's crazy. Oh, well. That's funny. Very funny, actually. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's nice. I'll have a full stack of baked potatoes soon. Yep. Damn. Damn. They just came in. Oh, they were miners. They had mining picks. Crazy. I mean, if they managed to just break on through. That's a spider. It's burning to death. But, uh, yeah, they just mined the through the door there. That was absolutely insane. You think you're safe, and then uh, suddenly a zombie just busts through. Think we're good. Let's go ahead and grab the XP orbs and the string. Sure. Hmm. One of the fence pieces was here, I think. Okay. So we just need to reinstall that fence piece. There we go. Yeah, this uh this area is becoming a little unrecognizable with how uh, many enemies have assaulted it and how many times I've needed to reinforce it. Speaking of reinforcements, um, let's do that right now. So we just have a very narrow entrance and then we'll break that door down. I'll put it in the front here. The second door got obliterated by a creeper, but this should do. Yeah. That should do. Okay. Let's build the rest of this up. Alright. This should be uh, a lot more sturdy. I think. I'm going to grab a bunch of these single blocks and put them all in the block storage there. So over here under raw blocks, we'll just kind of shove all those dirt blocks in along with those. Grab the wheat because that isn't supposed to be there. You see about gemstones now. Where are the gem? There's the gems. Okay, cool. That should do it. Gym there. And everything else needs to be processed. Put away, even. So, let's go do that. Mm-hmm. You'd love for the Tamriel Rebuilt slash Project Tamriel team to make Black Marsh playable. In Morrowind, that would be very interesting, I think. Uh, yeah. Um, there we go. Brewing station. Better. Much better. What else? 
Ominous banner. No, I don't have to worry about that. Put this almost broken pickaxe away. What else? I've got the bread. I'm going to put the rice away because we don't need that much. Um, same thing for the seeds. Same thing for the stone. Um, I think we're good. I just need to put a rune away with the other runes. Hmm. A prequel on Oblivion? Yes. Uh, Narum's good. Yep. Don't look like I slept. I'm tired, yeah. But you know how it is. I'm gonna be awake one way or the other. So, why not take advantage of it and play a game that I enjoy? Minecraft's a very chill game for me. I don't have to necessarily be 100% awake for it. But no, uh... Narum's good. Enderil's good. Uh, can't say I've uh, played that much of Arctwind, which is the uh, real prequel. Um, let's see how the potatoes are going. 36 potatoes. Let's see, this... Uh, um, 60%. This is... Yeah, okay. So, the, the bread and potatoes are basically the same. Baked, baked potatoes. Um... But uh, the diversity, 80%, 80%, yeah. Hmm. Fair enough. Yeah, Arctwind is the prequel to, uh, um, to Narum. Hmm. I think we're good to go. I just wanted to see... What we could do as far as, uh... Oh, I hear monsters down there. Anyway, um, tomato. Do you remember... Does anyone remember what the button you hold to find out what, um... What an item's... Like, what items require this particular item? I've completely forgotten what the button was, and I've been trying to figure it out this whole time. I'm gonna favorite this pickaxe. Oops. There we go. Cool. Yeah. We're out of here. So from here, we warp ourselves over to the east tower yes and from here we can go back to the village and pick up some things because my uh I, I cleared out my inventory specifically for that we just got to get over there there's some guy shawl greens to pick up as well oops i did not mean to break that oh well guy shawl green seeds i should probably i oh no, I don't need to to grow them in my base. I was thinking about growing them in my base. I'm like, no, no, that's not worth it. I'm definitely getting a lot of farming EXP doing this. It's just, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. They buffed Argonians post-Daggerfall? Yes. And then absolutely, uh... Uh, they're not that bad in Oblivion, but in Skyrim they're awful. Um, that that but that's because all the races are awful in Skyrim. Unfortunate, but true. I'm gonna eat bread. Uh, yeah, those are just trees. I thought there was a way shrine over there. Wait. Okay, I need to see what that is over there. It's probably going to regret it. Oh, well. It's possible there's nothing over there. There isn't much distinction between the races in Skyrim. That's what I'm saying. Because it makes me sad. Okay. Well, I want to see what's over here. Looks like a broken pillar. Almost. I'm curious. 
a lot of fish there. If I cast my poison... Eh, eh, I'm not going to do that. Okay. Um... Yeah, it was just a broken archway. I thought maybe it was a pillar, but it's just a broken archway. We're back into the swamp again. Damn, this place is huge. Deep, deep caverns. Okay. Heading back over to the village. There's a container I put most of my stuff in back when I was fighting monsters. And I kind of want to deal with that. Is that a furnace? A furnace, a crafting table, and a torch. Sounds like something I'd do. Okay. Yep. What do you mean you don't want someone to regret having created a certain character, class, and or race? You don't want them to regret their character creation choices. I remember some of the more fun games gave you the ability to quote-unquote be reborn. You know, it would, it would be the idea that, oh, I, um, I regretted my character creation choices, so now I'm going to rebirth the character. And that way I get to keep all my story progress and stuff. I just get to, you know, change my, uh, my starting stuff. Mm hmm. But yeah, people were not too. I was called. Whoops, what's this? That is a brewing stand. I'm going to grab one of those. Yes. Bread. Bread and. Uh, what do you call it? Stones to repair. Those are good. Orb of imbalance. Unpredictably adds or removes a tier. From a random Aphex. Oh, crazy. Yeah, change up affixes on gear. That's fine. Uh, bow of consumption. We're going to break that down. Basically, whenever I see cool stuff like that, I'm like, I'm going to break it down. Invigoration potion restores 50%. Oops, I don't want the zombie meat. It's getting dark. I'm just going to go take a nap. Almost right away. Yep. It's morning. What's this? Con... Um... Uh, Centennial. What? I don't know what that challenge was. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna grab all the common potions and it's the stat soul. Stat souls are nice. But, um... Let's see what else we got. Treasure. Oh, some runes. Nos runes. Can't wait to figure out the whole rune word system. It's going to be fun. Onions. Can I get onion seeds? No. Just tomato seeds. Okay. Yeah, I really like class building in Elder Scrolls 2. It really feels like you're creating a complete character with strengths and weaknesses. You can be as uh, busted as you want. Or you can make things as hard as you want. Great. Alright. I think that'll just about do it. Celestial ore. Damn. I get to go look up everything. How much bread do you need? Too much. Too much bread is required. My goodness. Are you a femboy? No. But I do like to meme it. I, I, do, I do like the memes on occasion. All right. Let me see here. Ooh, what's this? That's a stone cutter. So what, you... Oh, I'm, I'm going to grab one of those. Put that in the base. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, the bounty board is right here. Okay, this one's just wool. Any wool 
times 12 would give me brown dye. I don't think so. Would you admit it if you were? <laughs> uh, meow? Yeah, something like that. But no, I'm uh, absolutely absurd. That's what I am. I'm a weirdo. Leave it at that. I need to figure out where the hell we're going. Right. There it is! That's the chest. We got it. Most rune, gemstones, hell yeah. We got all the things. Degenerate, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I, uh, I acknowledge that. I uh, am definitely not hiding the, the degeneracy. That's for sure. Okay. Yes, yes. Mm hmm. Uh, let's call it. Uh... Ah, ah, ah. Oof. Anyway. I think we got everything we needed there. What the hell? These tables are so strange, you can walk inside of them. I have no idea. Okay. We're almost done here. We're going to head back to home base as soon as we... Oh, an axe of vampirism? Really? Can this chop down trees? Because I want this to chop down trees with. That would be pretty funny. We're going to give it a try. Why not? It, it's, it seems very dumb. What's this? This is a lightning augment. Okay, fair enough. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put away most of this in my backpack. Yes. I think we're good. Uh, but yeah, we've been working pretty hard on this, uh, this character here. Uh, as you can see, perfectly normal. Uh, de definitely not a... Uh, a shit posty character whatsoever. Not not even a bit. Mm hmm. Okay. People saying a, a thingamabobber, eh? Mm hmm. Uh, let's see. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, let me let me hit the mute on that. Uh huh. Okay, fair fair enough. Thank you for the warning. Uh, let's go ahead and just ban. Let's see here. Um, easy peasy. Twenty four hours. Let's see, good. Easy peasy. Th thank you, um, Sarking, for uh, telling me about that. Okay. Good, good. Yep. Okay, jokey. Mm hmm. Chaos damage. Okay, I kind of want this one. This adds to chaos damage. That'd be nice. Oh, right. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Bacon. Okay. Hmm. Let me see here. Where was that? Um, we'll just go ahead and do that. Done. Um, okay. That's fixed, I think. Right, right. A dark aura, yes. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, this is a smoker. We already have one of those. Easy peasy. What else we got? Mm-hmm. Anyway, 
Moving along, moving along. Oh, another chest. Cool, we got the rest of those uncommon stones. Definitely want more of those. Potatoes, tomatoes. Nothing else we have to worry about. Mm-hmm. You said uh, chaos damage? Uh, actually, yes. Let me pull it up. Yeah, if we go to talents, you can see this is a perfectly normal talent tree. There's there's nothing special about it whatsoever. And so, um, yeah, going down this list here, um, we mostly did minion damage. Like, we gave ourselves a minion build. But uh, there is actually a chaos inoculation where you are immune to chaos damage and your health is set to 1. I, I can't find it right now, but I know the talent exists. Let me look up chaos. Uh, let's see. Chaos damage. Chaos damage over time. Um, let me see. This one is 95% reduced health plus 50% magic shield. Plus 75% uh, chaos resistance. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah, it's like chaos inoculation. But then you got more chaos damage down here. Physical damage, chaos damage over time. It's all good stuff. So, um... Mm, yep. Radio. Let me uh, do a thing here. Hold on, I'm I'm fixing a thing. Um, I was typing a thing. Um, <clears throat> there we go. Um, yep. Okay. Treasure chests. Yep. What's this? Orb of quality. Um, does not consume potential when used. Very good, very good. Uh, villager realistic AI emotions. They feel terror as you rip apart their houses. Almost like Link picking up pots and throwing them. Um, the soulless uh, NPCs just stare on. Yeah. Unfortunate. All right. It's a moon staff. Don't care about that. We'll break it down for common stones. That's where common stones come from. The, you break down gear that monsters drop. There's, yeah, there's still more. Why is there orb of infinity increases your gear? Ma uh, your gear level. Wow. Okay, fair enough. I'll, uh... I've gotten a fair amount of orbs. It's a DOS rune. Cool. What else? DOS rune, Eta rune. Some plate boots of the Titan we're going to melt down. More stones. This is crazy. Like, the, the sheer amount of loot we found in here is just bonkers. Uh, What else? Let me see here. Okay. You're finally awake. You just crossed the border. Okay. Stat soul. A voodoo hat. That's for, um, that's for shamans. Did you know that it's actually hoodoo and not voodoo? Okay. Let's go. I can't believe there are more. I keep thinking, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be done very soon. And then I am not done. 
Okay. Common stones. Deadly staff. Jeez, I'm gonna shove as much of this as I can into the um into the backpack here. Yes. Fair enough. I have almost fifty-eight bread here. <laughs> Various runes and other pieces. Um Yeah, actually We're gonna be fighting in a second. Yeah, we're actually gonna be fighting. Let's get out of here. We're going back to the uh, the Tower Waystone, yep. Okay. Should be fine. Radiant Quests. Um, there, the Bounty Board is over... Um, eh, it's around here somewhere. Point is, you, you go pick up a quest at the Bounty Board. If you, you want uh, to feel like you're accomplishing something. And you'll get rewarded. What you really want is for NPCs to talk to you and tell you uh, uh, you did a good job. Give you a pat on the ass. Uh, let me see here. Almost done. Attaboy, you did a good job. All right. Um, on a second. I am just summoning my zombies. Okay, my zombies have been mostly summoned. That should do. We need to get to that tower now. That's our goal. We gotta kill these guys. Yes. Minecraft Dungeon Controversy. They wanted to shut the game down. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. Had no idea. Sounds pretty fun, though. Uh, funny. Sorry. Not fun. Good. See my zombies just come in and wreck these guys. Whoops. That should do. Now, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, um, we got a uh, creeper to kill. Good. I killed a cow. What's going on over there? Run. Okay. Uh, buh, 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 buh. So, yeah. Like, I um, I kind of looked at Minecraft Diablo as it was, and I wasn't super interested. I understand other people are much more interested, and uh, I'm definitely not uh, not saying it's a bad game. I'm just kind of uh, I was just kind of shrugging and going, not for me, I think, and uh, yeah. So, zombie, we should be able to climb up and out here. First things first, I guess, kill a skeleton. Yep. Can we crush bone into bone meal? Is that a thing we can do? I can't remember. Hmm. There's Babette. Yep. First things first. Let's go back over to home base. Teleporto. Share waypoint in chat is glorious. Now, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, gear first. So, uh, put these gear items away. We will uh, break them down, sell them later. No problem. Gear soul. What else? Runes. We need to put runes away. Mm -hmm. Milling. Milling. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. First things first. We got runes. Yes. 
Cool. I'm wondering what kind of rune words we can make for our chest piece. That would be interesting. Let me uh, equip a rune and see what happens there. Yes. Mm-hmm. They ended support for a Minecraft RTS. I didn't know that there was a Minecraft RTS. Anyway, um, let me look at chest piece specifically. Yeah, runes. Those are were runes. I was looking for rune words. There it is, rune word. And I was looking at chest piece, chains of horror. Let's see, plus two, plus one to two to all skills, life steal, elemental resistance, damage received, magic find. Okay, chains of horror looks good. That's uh, Anno, Wur, Sinyun. I don't think I have those right now. Mm, let me let me see if there's any other chest pieces I might want. Fortitude is not what I want. I, I like how you can get wealthy pants. That's funny. Uh, Abyssal Depths is summon damage. Okay, yeah, that that's uh, Anno, Net, Moss. I'm pretty sure I don't have those runes. Uh, no, I have Moss. That's it. That's the only rune I have in that, that series. What a shame. Trying to make sure I don't have anything else there. Yeah. The Golden Pantaloons. You got it. You figured it out. Uh, the Baldur's Gate 2 reference. It's it's great how it like crosses over from Baldur's Gate 1 to 2 in that way. Very silly in my opinion. Okay. Let's go take a nap real quick. We wake up, it's morning. Just so that the monsters stop growling at me. Alright, uh, what else we got? I'm going to take that coal back, put the coal in this chest instead. Really need food chests, the like, soon. The orbs should be here. Yeah. We're going to need a chest just for orbs soon. There's no question about it. I've got, like, all kinds of augment gems and stuff around like this this orb oh that that's another orb holy crap okay let's grab everything from our backpack now yes okay you said create pig farm but what if we are the pig you didn't think about that now did you all right let's see stone cutter we're gonna put one of those uh down here Hell yeah. Stone cutter. Gonna set that in the corner there. Hell yeah. Um, moss. Nos. Okay, so yeah, we, we still have to put those down. Give me a sec. Um, runes. So, nos. Nos, moss. Are the like two important runes there. Jeez, we got like four moss runes as well. It's crazy. I'm looking at that spiritual ore going. What the hell are we doing with any of this? But no, it should be fine. Just uh, centennial trophy. Interesting. Uh, a brewing stand. We need to make. We need to put one of those up. Oh God, creeper! How the hell are these things getting in my base? It's terrifying. I understand they're coming in from the roof there. Yes. Okay. Still annoying. Okay, crossbow can get put away. Couple gear soles. And I need to place the brewing stand. Let's do it. I want to switch those out. Yeah, this is a special axe with powers. Yeah, brewing stand there. Cool. We're getting all these different crafting stations up front. It's kind of silly. I'm gonna take the stone out of here. Augments away. Put the bread up here. Okay. I'm almost there. Just so much junk. That needs to be reassigned. Actually, hold on. Speaking of reassignment. 
fill the hole. That's better. Now, now I really don't feel like I'm gonna fall down into the pit, the depths there, the pit. Not into the pit. It burns. Right. Okay, a couple augments to look at. Health regeneration, lightning. Hmm. I have enough jewel sockets where I should be able to kind of socket that into my character. Like if we go over to talents, I think. Let me uh, try that again. Talents. No, it isn't talents then. It would be skills. And then they'd be like right here. And that's my augment capability, I think. So if I do that, for example, then my augment amount, it will like kick me out, I think. Yeah, it says uh, you lack the augment capacity. That, that's fine. Uh, so where was it then? Was it in a different spot? It was classes? No. Wasn't classes either. Although I do have six skill points to spend. I could probably go and upgrade my zombies again. Kind of want to do that. You know what? Mm, let's see. I have two passive points. So I'm thinking I should increase summon damage. Let's do that. Yeah, so I increased summon damage with my passive points. More importantly, I'm at 24 right now. So Curse of Despair um, is nice. Let's see. Ex explode minions would be fun. I think we'll we'll abuse the crap out of that. But we'll we'll learn explode minions next level. We're saving our skill points. So um in the meantime, those augments need to be removed. Where else would my uh gym sockets go then? I, I, I see these little like slots around here. Intelligence, thank you. But um Jewels, there it is. Okay, so I do have room for that. Yeah, chaos damage, chaos resist. Okay, I know the kind of gems we can sock it in now. I was a little confused for a second. That confusion has passed. Uh huh. All right. These are the types I can choose from. So crit chance, cold resistance. That's sad that the gems that I've gotten are that bad. Okay. Um. Based on this, I think I'll just I'll I'll just slot in the uh I'll slot that in. Okay, fair enough. So we go over to jewels, slot that in, and now I have uh plus five fire resistance in one augment effect. That's that's okay. My augments are now one percent stronger. That doesn't mean a whole lot. It's just something that's nice to have, I guess. Um what the hell is this trophy? Let's find out. Oh. Augment in there. Okay. Oh, I see. Impressive. Okay, let's face it this way. Wait, what? Oh. Yes, he can sit on the torch. Talk about having hot feet. Okay. Um, yeah. I, I'm okay with that. That's just a little trophy. Don't know where I got it from, but hey, whatever. Okay, we're going to put those stones away. We should be A-OK -okay for the most part. I just need to make sure everything else is kind of dealt with. We've got some apples I need to put in the downstairs chests. Just to kind of get them out of my way. And that should do it. We've got some uncommon potions there. Oh, I was going to try bone. I was going to try grinding bone and see what happened. So let's put that in the grinder and see uh, what what will happen. Uh, the answer is you cannot grind bone. Okay, smoker, salvaging, gear, stone cutter. Uh, uh, that'd be pretty cool if you could put bone in there, but no. Um... I guess it just comes down to putting it inside the uh, station there and turning it into bone meal. Yep, there you go. Now I have a bunch of bone meal. Not great, but I'll accept it. Yep. Okay. That's the bone meal been put away. I think we're ready to go explore. So let's do this. 
let's head on back over to where we were over uh, here yes east tower and now i'll head down the zombies are taking damage who would have thought it's fine so first things first we should consider chopping down some trees for the sake of um what do you call it being able to build more chests and things of that nature but we should do that while we head off in this direction. I'm going to stop harvesting these Geishel Greens because they're taking up, like, tons of my inventory space whenever I try. Yeah, so instead I just want to chop down this tree here. Take some wood with me. That should do it. Cool. Mm-hmm. Let's see. You don't know what spinoff on Minecraft. Uh... That people, including children, would want. Minecraft 2 as a concept seems heretical. I'm sure eventually they will sell a Minecraft 2. It's probably going to happen. Not right now, not anytime soon, but I expect it in the fullness of time. As the uh, the search for more money continues, you know? So yeah, this Enchanted Axe can... Uh, deal pretty well that's uh funny good and the tree will decay and drop all its saplings good on well, minecraft the movie is happening that's neither here nor there There's uh, no avoiding that eventuality. I mean, once you saw Minecraft story mode, you saw the future. Just with uh, actual actors. Lol. Okay, the sun is starting to set. So I'm going to grab the uh, items I got. And... Uh, Head on back to the tower. The tower has a bed. So, yeah. We're pretty close. Mm-hmm. Skyrim Minecraft Edition. I'm sure that there will be an official, not just mod pack, but a full-on, uh, like, Mega Man X style one, for sure. Yep, we're almost there. The animals are probably going to get killed as I fight the zombies and creepus. Yep. All three of those bolts went into the creeper and killed it. Damn. See, that cow just got annihilated. There was no saving it. Okay, there's, there's a tower we can sleep the night in. And then we can continue exploring afterward. We, what we have to do is we have to climb this, then we have to jump on these boxes to continue climbing. Otherwise, the zombies could just climb up and hit us. Uh, it's very stupid. But, um, yeah, sleepy time. Cool. Uh, blood moon. The distance sounds... Uh, yep, uh, there was a blood moon going on, and we just skipped it. Lol. Um, I remember in the past you couldn't skip blood moons in, like, RL craft. I wouldn't be opposed to that, actually. I I didn't see the blood moon rising until it was too late. Otherwise, I would have uh, participated in it. But, uh, alas, we miss what we miss, so we're going to keep going this way. Yep. Telltale Games? Mm, Telltale Games just weren't as profitable as they wanted them to be. Um... Telltale always had a niche audience, and what ended up happening is the um, the people who were working on uh, Telltale, you know, they, or specifically the company, was like, okay, we're going to increase the budget, 
and then we're going to get larger return. And we're going to increase the budget and get a larger return. Well, eventually they hit their market cap because Telltale was not universally enjoyed by everybody. It was, you know, again, a niche audience. So when they eventually hit their niche cap, that was it. Oh, I found a cherry grove. How nice. Um, but yeah, once once they hit their niche cap, they weren't told, like none of the developers were told they hit their niche cap. They were, they were treated like, oh, your uh, things are going just, you know, as normal. Don't worry about it. That's, uh, there was, there's nothing wrong, you know? And, uh, then, then one day they were just told you don't have a job anymore. That's it. Yep. Yep. Oh, nice. We found a, uh, way shrine for the cherry grove. That's glorious. Okay. Nice. Yeah, this is, this is, we actually found a way shrine over here. That's great. Hmm. Oh, it's a beehive. Okay. I was wondering what was going on. We're going to keep going through the cherry grove right now. Yep, yep. But, um, no, no. The developers thought that everything was peachy keen. And then one day they were just told, you don't have a job anymore. And they, they were given no time to uh, prepare or anything. You know, they weren't told, hey, you know, this, uh, like, we might not have a next project or whatever. No, they they were just like, that. that's it. You're done. Okay. That's an abyss. Can't go down there right now. Is that clay? I think this is all clay. It's terracotta. Savannah Plateau. Interesting. It's an interesting location. Savannah Plateau. Don't know, don't know. Okay. What else? Mm-hmm. Let's keep on going. So the the savanna extends out past the river. Like uh, our home is over here, right next to the town we started at. We started this town. We set up our home here at the church. And uh, we've since been traveling. We found a goddess statue and uh, a tower along with a cherry grove. And uh, now we're in an interesting location, kind of some sort of a savanna biome. I kind of want to go down and check it out, even though it's uh, probably not a good idea. I mean, it's uh, we had the high ground after all. Okay. Looks so strange with this uh, texture here. Okay. Good enough. I'm going to have a peek. Uh, we got torches, yes. On. Mm hmm. Yep. But no, no. Uh, Telltale Games was a very interesting case because nobody was told that they were going to lose their jobs they just one day lost their jobs my iron pickaxe has reached level nine my iron pickaxe is on the verge of breaking i'm gonna go get it repaired it actually has um efficiency two which means it's uh probably not going to break very soon Hmm. Fuck. Yeah, I want to get back up there. Um. Hey there. I I just saw something freaking scary. Zombies, get out here! Zombies, get out here! Okay. Uh, I'm going to build my bridge. I'm I'm going to build my bridge. 
And then I'm probably going to fight whatever that is. Okay, my bridge is up. I can leave. What's the goal? Um, explore uh, a lot and fight a lot. And eventually, um, what do you call it? Uh, y y the main quest has you killing a dragon. Uh, genetic modification, worm from the void, dimension guardian, the other side, uh, loose in, untied loose ends. Let's see. Hold on a second. Yeah, so, so it's, um, like, you, you just have to go down your progression track. I've done the prologue. I have, I've actually completed these steps, um, through the main quest, but uh, the mastermind is what I have to do next, and I'm not ready to do that yet. So, uh, right now I'm just playing uh, Exploration. This is a cavern full of bad. I have to be extra careful. I'm going to eat before I go into battle. Cool. All right. I saw something down there. I can see it right now. Yeah, those are glow skeletons. Cool. We defeated them. Looks like they dropped uh, a soul. That's it. That's the only drop I got from that. Unfortunate. Well, it is what it is. Got some zinc. A pot. Oh, nice. I got four flesh. Ash. I got ash. Damn. Okay, my me. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. I just got blown up by a creeper. That's it. Blown up by a creeper. So, that was crazy. Now, unfortunately, as a death penalty... Uh, we don't lose our stuff, but we lose favor, right? And so I'm I'm at 419 favor, which is not great because I just lost 250 favor. And that's a stat that helps you in various ways. So, uh, yeah. There's some real momentum you get going until you die, and then it sets you back a little bit. So we're going back to our last death. It looks like we may uh, be underground when the combat happens, but yeah. That, uh... I should have resummoned. I should have summoned my skeletons as well. I didn't do that. I should have been illuminating the area so I could have seen around me. There's a lot of stuff I could have done that I didn't do. It's that simple. Uh, I could have probably also shot, you know, poison bolts, and and th they're tracking poison bolts, so they would have tracked the uh, the enemy. So uh, anyway, we're just gonna run alongside here. We went up through the grove last time, and that's all well and good. But I kind of want to check the area around the grove. Like there's a cave there, and that looks pretty cool. Um, I'm just taking note of that until later, you know. But uh. Yeah, it's a pretty cool looking place. So, um, we're going to have to go over the grove now to get to the other side, which is where uh, my, my last death was. We're also a little hungry, but that's no big deal. We can take care of that when we uh, eat some of our 57 bread. I hear that bee in the background. Sounds scary until I realize, no, it's not a motorcycle. It's chasing me. Okay. Uh, almost there. Okay. As soon as we find the entrance, we'll start summoning, re-summoning our zombies, I should say. But uh, we're very close now. Next, we want to dig directly down like an idiot. Let's eat some more bread to keep our stamina up. There we go. We can continue to run. So, from here we go down 
and then we figure out exactly where our last death was. Okay, looks like it's nowhere near the entrance, but we can kind of dig into the ground and get there pretty quick. What I would say, but then, you know, I, oh, we're in the normal savanna instead of the savanna plateau. Nice. Um, I don't see stuff like that in caves. So, um, all right, let's do this then. Let's see the blood moon rises. Oh boy. Well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even, I'm not, I'm not even going to do that. So, um, come on, uh, but, but should be a mining tunnel. Yes. Mining tunnel. Dig in. Mm-hmm. Cool. Nope. Uh, this ain't working. Okay. I built a mining tunnel down. There's a blood moon upstairs. I have to be careful. I'm going to start summoning my skeletons now. Yes. My death is back down and around. I can hear them. I can hear the grumbling creatures. The groans. Good. My my uh my zombies are handling it as they should. There's an enderman. Okay. I got an ender pearl off that. How nice. Crazy. All right, we're summoning our skeletons. Here they are. And we're going to summon some more uh, zombies. Just to kind of offset that. And we need torches in here. I need to be able to see wh what I'm doing. Yes. Okay. I can kind of... I saw past Tensei Creeper. That's, that's fine. Yep. Crazy. I think those are crystal... Yeah, those are crystal skeletons. No problem there. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay. There's a creeper. I killed it with my uh, point blank attack. Thankfully, I've got all this magic. Uh, okay, I need to really carefully just shove everything into the uh, backpack so that I can continue looting because there's just way too much stuff here. All right, we're going back now. We're heading back the way we came and looting all the things along the way. Okay. That is perfect. The blood moon is going on right now, so we have to be extra careful. But I do have a way out now. Oh, jeez. That was a commoner zombie. Okay, fair enough. I'm going up. Uh, mine this real quick. Yeah. That uh, tunnel damaged my pickaxe a smidgen. Not that big a deal, but uh, yeah, the blood moon's up. You can see the darkness. Well, we got everything. That's the important part. Oh, that's a super creeper. Look at that thing. That is a super creeper gonna blow up it was dragging me in it was dragging me in on its way to explode i just put a mutant creeper uh on my head yes i don't know how i don't know why but i got one on my head yep But yeah, as the super creeper dies, it starts to draw you in. It's very silly. Whoops. Okay, what's that? That is a skeleton riding on a spider. Fair enough. The spider is dead. The skeleton is dead. 
Man, the savanna under a blood moon looks pretty spooky. Okay. I'm going to summon my zombies. Uh, yeah, my skeletons are starting to shoot. That's fine. Crazy the amount of things we're fighting here. Good enough. I'm going to need to improve my poison bolt soon. My explode uh, minions ability is something I'm going to play around with for sure, but... Uh... It's definitely a little uh, confusing, the idea. Yeah, just, just bring your minions in, no problem. Okay, we're going across the way. We're going deeper into the savanna. And here we go. Okay, summoning my zombies. Two, three, four. Good enough. Oh, damn. The zombie was scary. Look, there's some houses in the distance there. Yep. Level 25. That's what I'm talking about. Blood Moon is fine. Is that a that's a that's a mega zombie? Okay, the mega zombie's down, but he's not out. He will respawn two or three times. There's his second life. Yep, that was his second life. Okay, cool. Here's his third life. Ow, that hurt. He took half my energy shield there. That was nuts. You're going to get back up again or you're going to poof out of existence? You're getting back up. Okay. Now he's dead. 17 EXP orbs. Nice. Okay. This is fine. Summoning my uh, skeletons again. No problem. How many souls have we picked up? Jeez, that's quite a few. Yeah, the Blood Moon's been very profitable as we've been hunting. Good. Almost got them. Hell yeah. So I'm going to queue more uh, zombies because I don't want them to run out in the middle of fighting. Crazy. I didn't expect to be fighting out in the middle of the savannah in the middle of the night. It should be freezing cold here. Thankfully, we don't have a temperature mod. Because those are a pain in the ass, to be honest. That is... Endermen. Here they come. Yep. Crazy. No eyes of Ender off those guys, sadly. Fair amount of money, though. We've been, uh... Yeah, we've been earning a fair amount of money off these guys, at least. Um... This is a little bonkers. Just a little. Summoning my skeletons again. Okay. Skeletons are absolutely murdering these guys. Good. Wonder how we're doing now. We are almost capped in terms of uh, inventory space, sadly. I'm trying to see if there's anything I can do about uh, putting things away. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, we're fine. Oh, interesting. Fifteen uh, slot cloth boots. Those are those are great, actually. Wow. Uh, not fifteen slot, but uh, level fifteen. Multi slot. Yeah, it's really fancy. Unfortunately, that mega zombie may not burn in time. He was only uncommon, though. Yeah, he he is only uncommon. Sorry, he's not gone yet. You gotta be careful. He's getting back up. Okay. More souls we're picking up. Would like to get a good drop off him if possible. I don't think it's gonna happen, though. He's got one more life in him. Yeah, he's he has lightning elements. The blood moon fades. Okay, we got him. That seventeen experience orbs. That's pretty funny. We need to eat food. We've been uh, dealing with this nonsense for a while now. Okay. What else? 
Hmm. What are those things in the distance? Oh, that's another town. Interesting. Let's go have a look. Curiosity, if nothing else. I'll mine those uh, coal veins really quick. Um, wait, hold on. Can I just uh, want to try, try this? Hold on. Uh, let's see here. Shapeless. Yes, shapeless. That's everything. Yep, level 12. Cool. I'll take it. My mining EXP is going up. I keep uh, ending up underneath this uh, platform here. I want to see what's up with that location there as well. The map is uh, pretty detailed. I'm, I know it's generated based on the game in real time, but it's still, it's, it's really fancy. That's all I'm trying to say. It's cool to have. It helps to have a map. Okay, so I'm gonna loop around a lot of squid. We don't need to kill a lot of squid. We're fine. Yeah, I'm still on Act One. That's the funny part. I've just been uh, kind of playing through the game, clearing quests as I go, and not really turning them in. Gravel Beach. These are uh, seals. And there's a seagull. Uncommon seagull. Imagine having a legendary seagull. It just breathes fire on you. That, that's my imagination working. I want to see what's in that tower over there. But otherwise, we're going to loop back around and check out the town soon. Exploration, question mark. All in all, it's uh, really fun generating a world and then just kind of seeing what's where. There's a treasure chest here, so that's good. I'm not going to open it at the moment, but... Uh, oh, I think it's a normal tower like the one we had before. Let's double check. Uh, there's no bed. Uh, there's a bed. Okay, we found a bed. That's, that's fine. Uh, and at the very top, there's another treasure chest, so... Um, no waypoint here, though I'm going to mark this tower as, uh, oh, hi, Mark. Um, yes, let me see what we do is, ba -ba 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 -ba. well, thank you much. Yes, the block game's, uh, pretty cool. Yep. Mm hmm. Did I make the red on purpose? Uh oh, the the this bed. No, no, I this this isn't mine. I my uh my base is over here at a church. We found a church, and we we created this uh, base behind it, kind of like a necropolis dealy. Um, we started here in this town. And uh, the 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 town didn't really cater to our needs, but the the church was on the top of a hill, and you can see like this is all the way down to the ocean. Like this is how how many layers of uh of height or uh, how many levels of height there are there. Why well, the book racks? Not right now. No. Uh. Anyway, we we've traveled over here specifically, and we found this uh, tower. We're gonna check out this town afterward. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay. Uh, I think it's just like a plain white bed. It's nothing special. Like you can do the uh bed, and there's there's like yeah, they they are all different colored beds, including pink. There's also like fancy beds, in uh, a limited selection of colors. Like if we wanted to do uh. Uh, warped fancy bed, crimson fancy bed, see? You need cushions and sheets for that. But no, uh, you just get the, the color wool you need, put some, uh, put some planks, and bam, you got yourself a bed. Yep. 
All right. We're going to mark this area. Hold on. It's going to be um, far, whoops, uh, far tower. Uh, yes. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Ba, ba, ba. No, we're um, th th this game is uh, very special. Where we're currently, as you can see, our talent tree is uh, pretty basic. Um, it, it's it's a very small talent tree. So what we did is we went up the uh, staff route through magic, right? And afterward, we got summon increased summoning damage. And then, um, yeah, Minion Frenzy, and then afterward we got The Summoner, where we do less damage ourselves, but our summons do more damage. That's where we went. After that, we looped around here to Mana Battery, and got a Jewel Socket next to Mana Battery. And Mana Battery just makes it so that, like, 35% a, a of damage we take is absorbed by Mana first before it hits health. So, uh, we don't have to worry so much about, you know, death. Um, we could, like, we can go down here and get some summon health, or, um, yeah, I'm just not entirely sure what I want to go for yet, so, uh, you love the new banner of the channel? I just wanted it to be accurate. This, uh, you said it looks like the PoE tree. Though This is called Craft to Exile 2. It's a sequel to, uh, the original Craft to Exile. Yes. Listen to the music. This is, uh, yes. Yeah, you, you can dual class. You can't multi-class. Uh, you can only do up to two classes. Anyway. Um, yeah, the old banner was just the Imperial City. And, uh, you know, uh, my face. But now it's, uh, what do you call it? A extra, extra special. Oh, boy. Let me uh, let me figure this out. So if I grab this, copy, 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 copy. I need I need to copy pasta this. Okay. So yeah. But yeah, it was just the Imperial City. It was super lazy. Um. No, I had a particular thing here okay if i go to announcements here we go okay cool uh so under announcements you can kind of see what i uh did with the banner so on a cell phone it like it crops at different levels right on a television it's going to show you the full iliac bay map on a computer it's going to just show like the character band and then on a cell phone, it's going to show you a reduced version of the character band, cutting off Salt Boy and Tamamo there. And it's just going to be like the these people. Like it's it's going to be uh you know, you look over here on like a cell phone, it just kind of shows you these characters. So that, that's kind of how YouTube's banner system is a little weird, uh, in how it's set up. But uh, basically, yeah, it's that's uh that's the three versions of it that are basically the same. They they have. They make you pick a gigantic banner, and then you can center it in a way that, uh, that you know, ends up translating to all three formats, basically. That's how it works. So, uh, it's decent. Let me see here. Okay, back to this. Let me, let me close my other windows. Uh, so, yeah, Wayward Realms uh, Kickstarter page is open. That's pretty cool. I'm happy about that. Um, let me see. Okay, so Far Tower is set up. Uh, we're going to... Ooh, what's this? Lesser multiple projectiles. So it reduces the projectile damage, but increases the projectile count. That sounds kind of fun. So I could... Um, I could have five poison bolts instead of just two, but then they do less damage. Of course, I could combine that with increased chance to poison and then not care about the actual damage of the poison bolts. Is this an enchanted hoe? Unbreaking and efficiency. 
Really? Okay, goodbye, wooden hoe. Hello, enchanted, uh... Yeah, this is... In it it's magical. That's pretty funny. We'll, we'll put this to use in the field soon. It'll be stupid. In the meantime, however, uh, before we go anywhere, we're going to go back to our base over here. Home base, yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is the this is the church we found initially. It's been unfortunately the front of it got remodeled after a creeper you know blasted a hole in the front of it. But uh, the point is that uh, we had the, we found this church initially. And then we started building in like the field behind it, and we created a big base. Uh, initially, we just created a courtyard, right? We walled it off. Then we dug underneath it and started building our quote unquote base down here. And this is where we uh, set ourselves up: is uh, we 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 gathered up all of the cobblestone in this area and used it to create the walls and ceiling of this place here. Um. And that's that's how we built ourselves a little, uh, just a little functional fortress here. Now I am going to build, uh, what do you call it? An area above it. Whoops, hold on. Okay, so if we do that and then we bring this over, the reason I'm doing that is because I want to build a door right up front because otherwise we're getting like creepers and shit that are uh, sneaking into our base. And I'm not a fan of that. So um, we're going to build a door like right here where this torch is. I'm going to grab that torch. I'm actually going to place uh, two torches, one over here, one over there. We don't need cobwebs anymore. Uh, it looks like a sword is what I need to break that. What a shame. Um, But yeah. Build one there. And then we just need a... Um, let's see. First things first. We take all the wood that we harvested. And planks. Planks. And then we take some planks and make a door. Uh, three doors are fine. Thank you. Uh, yes. Not sure where we're putting it. Fuck it. We're dropping everything. Okay, we need to uh, add multiple doors for various reasons. So, we uh, build a door here. And then we build a door here. And... That should do it more or less. I just want to make sure that there is... Because, yeah, um, a zombie miner dug through this. But note that a pickaxe does not dig at a door any faster so um they wouldn't be very good at uh, breaking through the front there that's better okay um i'm gonna kind of reverse this we do that dig that out and then we put it in front yeah there we go nice and flat and in case a creeper blows this area up we have a second door like an airlock there i think that's pretty important but uh, for now, let's go ahead and take all our uh, gear items that we've collected and put them in this gear chest, um, noting that there won't be a whole lot. These cloth boots, how's our current cloth boots? Let's find out. Our current cloth boots are 19 magic. Yeah, the, these cloth boots that I picked up are worse than my current ones, which isn't that big a deal. I'm going to break these down anyway. I'm going to sneeze as well. There we go. Okay. So. Potato out of there. We're just kind of putting things away as we see them. This stone axe isn't that important compared to the uh, miserable war axe of vampirism, which is kind of terrible. But we can use it as a normal axe, which is funny. And I, I like that a lot. It's level 16, as opposed to this, which is unleveled. It lacks a soul. I wonder if unsold items can be broken down. That'd be pretty cool if it could. In any case, raw blocks. Anything that's a raw block can get put in here. 
Same deal for the iron. I'm going to use this iron to repair the iron pickaxe real quick. Mm, maybe not yet. Uh, do we have any other? Yeah, we need to access our backpack. Cool. So from here, we've got a lot of bone. We're going to put all the bone in here and turn it into bone meal. Because I can. Oh, God, that's too much. What a shame. That is a seraphim plate chest piece. That's health and mana. Probably not going to be able to make use of that, to be honest. Hmm. Okay. First things first, then. Hmm. Seraphim chest piece over there. Spear soul over there. And now access the... Yes. We have almost everything. We're getting there. Bit by bit, all the items are being placed. Precise Dusk Blade of Vampirism. That's a crazy weapon. Look, it has life steal, attack speed, weapon damage, and accuracy on it. Too bad I'm going to melt it down because I, I use um, wands. But uh, hey, it's a kind of nice concept. If it were multiplayer, we'd be, you know, like giving it to our friends, you know. But that's not the case. Uh, do, 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 do. Ink sack. Weird stuff. Okay, everybody. I just realized that um, as lovely as this is, I've been playing for an hour and a half. Uh, sorry, for sorry for five and a half hours. And that's cool. I plan to play more. But I need to stretch my legs, walk around, and... Uh, see how things are doing on the sur in uh, you know in the surface world in in real life so i'll see y'all in like 5 10 minutes after i've uh, had an opportunity to stretch for a while and uh we'll be continuing over at that far tower location checking things out and later later today i plan on actually progressing that their uh main quest you know trying to figure out the the mastermind right um Realm unexplored, stuff like that, you know. But for now, see y'all in a few minutes.
All right. I am almost back. Moving along, moving along. Okay. Hit a button. There we go. This is where we left off. How's the night been? It's all right. We're uh, just getting started. It's only 6.30. And uh, happy birthday. I uh, hope everything turns out okay for you in the coming year. Because I'm being hunted by zombies. Okay. Uh, yeah, far towers over there are not ready. Yeah, hello. Yeah, that guy's strong. We got him now. Cool. And we'll take our money. Dive back in. No, thank you. We have to figure out the... We have to empty our inventory. There's no getting around that. We're just going to shove everything in the chests below. And then figure things out afterward. Because... Uh, <clears throat> Issues upon issues, yes. Potato. Cool, that's where we put the bone meal. Yeah, we're just gonna shove everything away. Um, Keep one stone pickaxe. We're gonna keep the wooden hoe because it's enchanted. Get rid of the stone hoe for now. God, we can repair this thing with... Uh, uh, what do you call it with, like, would it, I wonder if it's repaired with, like, logs of wood or just planks. I hope it's planks. It'd be hilarious if it were sticks, but that, that's not happening. Okay, I need to get this wand here. Put that away. Yeah. We're going to process most of this gear. It's not great gear. Oh. I just realized something. Got to, got to put one more item away. It's in my hot bar there. Cool. So we're going to go take a nap. Then we're going to head over to High Tower. Uh, far Tower, sorry. So nap first. Good morning. Now that it's morning, let's uh, get ourselves over to Far Tower. So it's uh, not going to show... Uh, all the stuff while I'm underground. If I go to the surface, it'll start showing things. Let's have a look over here real quick to look at the crops. The crops are basically done, so we should get uh, we should get harvesting first, and then you know do things afterward. You can see how the uh, hoe upgrades itself. Second position. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, it's saying second position set, and I'm like, what do you mean? I think it's uh, trying to uh, do some kind of extra function with the hoe, which is very silly. In any case, I just wanted to uh, <clears throat> see how this would work out. If we were to, you know, harvest and see what would happen if the hoe leveled up sufficiently. It says the wooden hoe has leveled to 22. And so I'm wondering, hey, this is an enchanted magical hoe. What's going to happen to it? Should be fine for the most part. It's, it's at 26 already. And it's not really degrading the condition of the hoe. All right, I think that's good for now. I don't want to pick up any more. I say as I immediately find two more that are acceptable to do. <laughs> right. We should be fine. Put away everything downstairs. We have 50 bread. That's not that big a deal, so... 
It says second position. I don't know what that means. Oh, well. Hmm. <clears throat> So we go upstairs, and we're going to process all the wheat into, uh, wait, hold on. That's nah, even better. Let's just grab these 64 baked potatoes. And then, I guess I don't have a chest up here for uh, wheat and bread. Kind of annoying. There's some wheat. And I think we're fine. This'll do. Yep. There's the bread. Um, yeah, that should do it. I think uh, we got everything we need for the moment. We're going to head on out and uh, teleport ourselves over to Far Tower. If we go up here and exit properly, we can actually see the landscape where Far Tower is. There we go. And from here, we're going to check some things out. Tom Poster's nice. I got to love how there's bone here. A true hit. Rusted sword. Nice. We'll put that in the corner here because I expect we'll be coming back to Far Tower on our way through. I just want to make sure everything is A-OK -okay here. Uh, multiple lesser projectile support gym would be nice. Oh, we're level 25. I didn't notice. This is great. So, now that we're level 25, let's go ahead and look at our class. And we can now invest in explode minions. Yep. There we go. Now we can make our minions detonate. That I'm sure that's not a big deal at all. Let's see. How do we access our second bar? Um, hmm. I need to go look. Uh, ba -ba -ba, controls. Swap. Shoulder. Swap tool based on current block slash entity. That's kind of incredible, actually. Uh, but no. Hmm. Should be hot bar. Load hot bar activator. Save hot bar activator. That ain't it either. I just summoned a zombie lol. Um Oh. It's uh caps lock. Caps lock changes between the two bars. Cool. Now that I know that, I can set this up. So class, it's not class, it's skills. Yeah, skills, and then we go over here to, uh, okay, this should be F, C, V, R. So what I wanna do is I wanna set this to C. Explode minions, yes. And uh, once I do that, we can all regret it forever. Yes. There we go. Okay, Explode Minions is ready. I can't wait to... Wait, that is Shizzled Stone Blocks. No one cares about that. Let's find a cave really quick. Is that a cave? Uh, that looks like a cave. Good. So, uh, more importantly, we summon a minion. And then, we detonate. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay. Summon the zombie, explode the zombie. This is fine. Okay. Still gathering more coal. Coal is good. <laughs> lovely, lovely. 
Uh, yeah, the the, uh, the loadout's pretty fun. It's called Craft to Exile. If you've ever played Path of Exile, you'd, you'd know about this skill tree. It's uh, pretty good, actually. Um, anyway, we've gone Summoner, so that, that's what we're running with. Come on. Torches. Torches. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this this goes nowhere. Damn. Okay, fair enough. Let's head on back over to the town we passed by earlier. No reason not to check it out. It'd be fun, I'm sure. Chickens. Okay. Squid. Poison bolt. The squid dies instantly to Poison Bolt, because it was never strong to begin with. Wait. A rhino? An un oh, God! It's after me. Yeah, it's, 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 it's after me. Hold on. Okay, we're summoning our skeletal archers. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that, was, that was definitely something. Wow. Um, got a fair amount of VXP off that. Oh, God. Another one. Another one. Oh, thank God. I detonated my minions. Yeah. My detonate minions worked. Uh, du -du -du -du. How long a perfect tutorial is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I hadn't thought about that. A, a perfect tutorial. I mean, tutorializing can be extremely short. Or uh, it can last for, you know, dozens of hours. Um... It really just comes down to what, uh, whoa, whoa, that's pretty funny. Yeah. Thinking, um, I'm going to switch summoned, uh, I'm, I'm going to switch my skills around real quick. I think uh, there's a, an easier way to handle this. So I, I do want to occasionally switch to, you know. Uh, another bar, but, uh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to skills. I'm going to set, I'm going to switch summon skeletons up with explode minions, and I'm going to set, switch explode minions up with uh, summon skeletons. So we should be able to do that. Yes. Good. Now we can detonate like that. Glorious. That is really cool. Okay. I'm gonna check this area out a little more. If nothing else, get a couple uh, nodes there. Yep. My pickaxe is on the verge of breaking. So, I think I'm actually gonna go get it repaired, and then come back. But, uh, yeah, Bruce Campbell's Evil Dead guy. I remember he was in a series on TV called uh, Burn Notice, and he he got fat for that role. Well, okay. Summon my zombies. They take a while to summon. I, I can summon six of them. The cool part is, is I can detonate them now whenever I want. That's uh, really fancy. But yeah, we'll go back to the tower. We'll take a nap in the bed, because it's getting late. And then we'll put things away in the local treasure chests. Speaking of, uh, we'll take everything from the bottom treasure chest, because there's no I'm ever going to mess with this one. Yep. That is a shield and a composter. Burn Notice was good in Season 1, but like most shows, it outlived its... Uh, value um like you can tell that whoever wrote it stopped writing it at one point and passed it off and uh it uh it isn't nearly as good after that point but it was a good show while it uh while it lasted horse armor everybody horse armor 
Can't believe that exists. In my Minecraft. Okay, we're gonna sleep here. I'm gonna shove everything I don't want for now in here. And then we'll come back for it later. Yes. But I just wanted to be ready. We're gonna have baked potatoes. Good. Okay, we are good to go. We're gonna head back to that city now, this time without getting distracted by a pit. No. No, I need to fix this. Do you have to pay five bucks to pick it up? I know, right? No, 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 no. Okay, so from Far Tower, I'm going to teleport back to my base. And there's, yeah, home base, teleport. Okay. Uh, from here, I gotta love the way the clouds are, like, passing through the inside of the ch church here. It's always been a funny thing. Okay, I need to repair my... Um, pickaxe and i'm pretty sure i got iron uh below so let me see here uh iron iron there's iron 55 iron doesn't matter point is we go over here uh to the anvil and then we put the pickaxe in along with iron. And it's a five level enchantment cost, which doesn't mean anything to me because I have 54 levels, you know, um, of enchantment. That's not an issue. And I need to actually see, do we have any wood up here? No, we do not. Okay. Unfortunate. What I wanted to do, I'm going to put the iron up here. What I wanted to do originally was put the, um, um, yeah, I wanted to have, like, iron and stuff up here. Have have some treasure chests, you know, like, right above the crafty stations. That's not going to work, though. All right. From here, we go back to the tower, and having fully repaired our pickaxe. And now we can go. Yep. No big deal. We're going to go back to that town we were looking at earlier. Sure, it'll be around here somewhere. Those are level 17 gazelle. Eh, okay. Being level 17 didn't really save it. Oh, well. I'm going to actually... Yeah, I was thinking about... I call it uh, marking that goddess, or uh, unmarking the goddess statue. Actually, you know what? I don't want it overlaid right now. So if we go over here and we disable the marker. Uh, same thing for the other towns. I don't need to know where every, uh, every waypoint is, only the important ones, specifically uh, East Tower, Home Base, and Far Tower. Those are the important ones. But everything else, I don't need to know like where it is at any time. I can always re-enable it later. Not that big a deal. It's a well. These buildings look really strange. Oh, indeed. What are you? You are a cartographer, meaning you will give me an empty map if I give you some iron coins. I don't think so. I think I'm just going to go ahead and nab the rune and stones and potions. And, uh, get, get out of here, yeah. So these are, these are like little huts. That's interesting. Cabbage seeds. I'll take the cabbage seeds. I don't need wheat seeds and I don't need tomato seeds. But the cabbage seeds are good. So yes, we're looting another village. How ridiculous. Uh, let's see, same thing, more cabbage. Oh, Orb of Infinity, that's nice. A uh, cruel hammer and some repair stones. Cool. No complaints here so far. This has all been pretty good. This little village. Is this an Ita rune? Nice. I'm looking for more runes to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, oh, there's two treasure chests here. Okay. Another Ita rune. 
Sorry, I'm trying to make a rune word that will increase the power of my uh, summons. And that includes their detonation damage. So, I kind of want to uh, finish going through this little uh, town here. I like how these are all tense. Orb of Infinity. A stat soul. What's this? A sapphire ring with cold resistance and sockets. That's a lot of sockets for a ring. Chase. Also got like 25 repair stones off this place so far. Solid snake. Orb of imbalance. No thanks. Hmm. Yep, yeah, more orbs. Not sure what to say about this at this point. It's kind of incredible. Got some celestial lore. Hmm. A fair amount of bread. It just loops around to the back. Hold on, I'm gonna go check the front tent because I feel like nope, that's another cartographer's table. A little confused there, okay. Don't know anything about that game, unfortunately. <clears throat> Remember Duck Game? Yes. Mm. No, the initial Atari game uh, Snake was uh, pretty good. Uh, lesser root, sure. Jeez, that is a lot. I don't need that other stuff. Yes, Snake. What's this? Crit? Physical? No thanks. Oh, there's a bounty board here. Uh, poisonous potatoes and composters. What the hell? Wheat and melon slices. Um, four tomatoes. I can do that right now. Can I get an iron shovel for my, uh... Yeah, yeah, apparently. Uh, I only play Monster Hunter World and only occasionally. Have never played any other Monster Hunters. Okay, we gotta get back to Far Tower. And then we got to teleport back to our base and get some... We have nine minutes to get tomatoes for this uh, for this job, so... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Once we get back to Far Tower, we're going to double-check that we if we need anything, we're going to grab some tomatoes. Grab a stack of tomatoes and take it back to there. Uh, they, they will give us a shovel for our efforts, I think, the, the, the bounty board will. So, uh, yeah, that's good, that's good. Yeah, Monster Hunter World's a really fun game. I especially like the Palicos. It makes uh, Solo not feel terrible. I know they, in, in Rise, they add the do the Doges, do they? Something like that. But I, I'm not really interested in uh, in another Monster Hunter game. I've already, you know, already played one of uh, Monster Hunter. What the hell? Hold on a second. This isn't right. Home base... I was just really zoomed out. I was a little confused there. Okay. That'll put me back. Um, okay. So, first things first. Uh, tomatoes are downstairs in one of the food sections. Also, runes. Runes. Put the runes away. Good. We've got plenty of runes. Uh, grab the the apples. I got, wait, where are the tomatoes? We're not... Oh, they're, they're, they're the tomatoes. I have, like, 64 of them. That's fine. Uh, so, if I understand this right, uh, just go over here, use that. That's an uncommon bounty. And it says... Uh, bountiful. Got it. Uh, tomato 4 to 4. Okay, fa fair enough. Let's uh, head on back over now. Far tower. Good. Teleport me. Okay. We got the bounty. We just have to go to the bounty board to turn it in. So, hopefully we don't run into any more rhinos. I'm going to go ahead and just in case summon a bunch of uh, zombies behind me. I can detonate them with R now. What's this? Mine? 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 Oh, apparently a duck attacked? Crazy. I have no clue. 
I'm gonna jump in the water. This is where the rhinos attacked me last time. I was a little confused. Gigantic blocky rhinoceros. Okay, so the bounty board should be up here. With any luck, everyone kind of ignores the zombies instead of freaks out and gets killed by them. Ah, ah. Okay, what's this? Uh, decree farming uncommon bounty. Hold on. Um, which one is it then? Bounty board. Mm, tomatoes. Tomatoes for apples? Sure. Let's do that. How do I turn in the bounty then? I'm gonna say, uh, let's go. Let me see. Bountiful, it's called. Okay. Uh, so it says bounty decree, bounty tiers, compatibility. Yes. Uh, help. Um, commands, how to modify bounties. Yeah. It doesn't matter a whole lot. I was looking for, you know, actual help using it. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Bounties will ask you for things. Right click on the board to redeem your rewards. That's what it said. It said right click to redeem your rewards. I don't know about that. It, it seems, uh, yeah. Mm hmm. Like, I have tomatoes. I should be able to turn these in. It, uh, I guess, gotta be holding the bounty. There we go, that's it. I had to be holding the bounty and right click it. Yeah. Cool. Is that everything? Is that all of them? Just those two. Uh, could have sworn I had a stone shovel one as well. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Sorry, that's driving me nuts. Um, I still have tomatoes left. I could have sworn it was a shovel. I required tomatoes, but uh, yeah, I don't see anything of the sort. Tomatoes, yeah, melon seeds. Uh, I guess melon seeds. I, I've not gotten access to melon seeds, though. That pumpkin pie is kind of nice, though. That's some food diversity right there. Uh, sapphire ring. Did I... Did I not pick up the bounty in time. Decree farming. Okay, so yeah, it's it's bountiful farming is what's going on right now. Makes sense. Pumpkin pie slice. Oh. Is the answer for that. Suspicious stew. Nope, nope. I think it just either expired or something because... Uh... Oh no, I got the iron shovel. I just wasn't paying attention when I got it. That's all. Ah, ah it's fine. Iron tools are the best I'm going to get right now, so I'm quite happy about that. What's this? As a bell in case the uh, place gets attacked? That's fine. Is there a big bad? Yes. Oh, way shrine. Nice. We can come back here whenever we want now. Yep. The, uh, the actual town has a way shrine in it. Yep. No problem. Which means I'd love to find some melon seeds so we can, you know, actually harvest melons. That'd be great. For now, though, I'll take the soul faster. 30% faster cast rate, Jim? I'm pretty sure that's uh, fast. Yeah, it's way faster than the one I was using. Wheat, tomato. I'll take the. I'll start taking tomato seeds. Number uh, one, cause uh, I think they should be. Yeah. Let me let me finish putting some stuff away here. Orbs, orbs are great. Okay. Uh, my iron shovel is good. Let me put the iron shovel in the corner here. Uh, keep the torches. The eggs don't matter a whole lot, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is good. I'm glad we managed to complete that bounty. We uh definitely got some good rewards there. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna drop some more tomato seeds. Cracked ruby is good. 
oceans of various types, repair stones, orb of imbalance. Yes. Mm hmm. Okay. You kind of wish New Vegas had a reason to pick dialogue skill checks that will probably fail. <laughs> they did record a lot of lines for that. It's true. I'm just thinking of uh, uh, how ridiculous some of those lines are as well. Low intelligence in uh, Bethesda games are kind of incredible. Uh, let's see. A moss rune. Good. I got a uh, another soul. This is great so far. I'm grabbing as many uh, seeds as I can for a couple things. What's this? Skill damage and mana regen. I think that runic amulet's better than mine. We'll find out in a moment. Cracked amethyst. A spiritual raw fish. Oh, there's some uh, spurters. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm good at that. Good enough, anyway. Let's pick those up. Spiritual ore. Trying to get everything but wheat seeds. Yep, there's more monsters. I'm gonna summon my minions. Damn right. I can detonate them. Yes. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna detonate my minion as soon as it hits a spider. Yep. <laughs> the detonate minion is amazing. Yes. <laughs> oh, I killed the creeper before I could uh, even detonate. Here we go. Boom! That is glorious. Okay, I'm gonna need uh, I'm just gonna need to have my minions out. There's no question about it. Uh, let's get my skeletons. My skeletons will help me, yeah. I need uh, experience points, lots of them. So, you know, the, the the battle is absolutely endless. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Warlock, and um, yeah, Necromancer is just kind of like a sub thing that you can do. Um, I don't think there's any other minion types other than undead. I know uh, shamans can summon totems, though. And totems are a big deal. Whoop. Those are kangaroos. Gotta be careful when the kangaroos congregate around your uh, settlement. Anything could happen. Let's uh, eat one of those pumpkin pies. We're gonna have a bit. We're gonna have a pumpkin pie piece, and then we're gonna have a potato. Good. Oh, it's a robot. That's a robot. It's, it's charging its laser. Oh, thank goodness, we got him. That was scary. It was uh, locked onto me with its laser attack. But yeah. Wait, a second waystone? Ah. Huh. So, Bjorkrisser and Chalceman, uh Mander are like two areas right next to each other that kind of bled together, I guess. That's kind of interesting. I mean, I'm not going to complain. I will gladly take the runes and the equipment and stuff. Energy on hit I don't need, but uh, let's go ahead and open up our backpack and try to process everything. Why not? Um, glimmering cloth. A lot of these things just need to be uh, processed for goods. Um, double check. Emeralds. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back soon. I mean, thankfully, we got a way shrine right here. It won't be a problem. But, uh... Oh! Cloth pa Pants of the Yeti! Yes! 
We were missing out on good cloth pants. We just got some. This is this is really good. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can see we were missing pants. So uh, there we go. We got uh, pants that increase my magic shield, mana, gear defense, uh, cold resistance. Yeah. They're not terrible. Um, let me see here. So many items, so little time. Yes. We actually have pants now. It took forever. Okay. Runes. Support gems. Crazy. We're going to have to go uh, check out some mines soon. We're going to do some delving. Um, because I'm looking at this whole situation going, wow. I'm, uh, my inventory is completely full. Like one inventory slot. Have to beware of the kangaroos. They cannot be trusted. The fact that this kangaroo isn't trying to beat the shit out of me is proof that this, uh, this game is fake. Yep. Uh, alright. Which is the best crime system? Daggerfall has a great court system. The problem is that uh, unless you install mods to fix it up, it only remembers the last crime you did, not all your crimes. So it can be an issue. All right. These are some souls. I think we're going to have to come back. We got way too many things. Items. Yes. Ah, oh, a zombie. It was just under the bridge the whole time. Uh, where's the way shrine? There's some dead monsters. I imagine the uh, kangaroos defeated them. Beware the wallaby. Okay. Uh, more importantly, from here. We go back to home base. And then... We need to deposit some things. A lot of things. No question about it. That's a lot of uh, rings and uh, other miscellaneous items. I'm going to have, actually have a look at the rings. Hold on. That's a cold resistance ring with sockets. I don't have the gems to make use of the sockets, so I'm just going to salvage the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The ring. Yep. This one is crit chance energy on hit. No, thanks. What else? Triton spear never using. Cast resistance energy on hit. Nope. Don't need energy. Health on kill, magic fine. Nope, don't need that either. Huh. What this? Reinforced plate pants? No thanks. Anything for this wooden sword. Okay, skill damage mana regen. Let's have a look at our actual amulet. Uh, our amulet is 7 skill damage, 25 mana regen. This one is 7 skill damage... 27 regen. So this is just objectively better than the other amulet I was using. That's fine. So we can melt this amulet down as well. The salvaging station. Though I do need to pick up items now. Yes. That's good. Should be fine. Set that down. Hmm. Good enough, I think, for those items anyway. Uh, we got a few more, but we're going to put things away first. Yes. Good. I, uh, 
I like Daggerfall's, um, what do you call it, uh, cro uh, court system concept the most. It's just, it needed more fine-tuning at the end of the day. Okay. We should be pretty good here. I'm going to put away most of this stuff. The, the, all these items I'm uh, kind of just stuffing into the chest I'll need to pick up afterward. Ah, uh, for now, though, it's just about uh, clearing out inventory space. Ah, ah, right. Souls. Jeez, that's like five sword souls. Those are ridiculous. Okay. Well, based on all of this, I'd say we just need to melt down a few other things. And then we should be good to go. Mm-hmm. Okay, first things first, salvaging station. I'll put the hammer, the bow, the uh, lacquered chest piece away. Iron knife, skein, and that should do it. Everything else should get processed properly. And, yep, last one. What do we get? What do we get? Iron knife. The iron knife is, uh, lacks a soul, so it can't be uh, salvaged. Got it. Okay, fair enough, I suppose. Let's see if there's anything else that needs to be uh, picked up or processed. We got some orbs we need to put away. So, Orb of Imbalance is one of the orbs. Yep. Cool. Infinity. And then Souls, of course. What else? Put that away. Most of this stuff doesn't matter at the moment, so we'll just uh, shove it all in and deal with it in the fullness of time. The tomato is good. Mm hmm. Put the tomatoes back away. We got an iron shovel, which means if we need to move some dirt around, we can move a lot of dirt very fast. But other than that, uh, our second pickaxe is there, and let's double check our backpack. Oof. Got it. Just shoving everything in for now. That wooden hoe having uh, magical powers is very silly. Uh, coal we don't need to worry about. I'm going to keep the uncommon potions for now. But, uh, we need to head on back, so. What time is it? But I saw something. Must have been my imagination. Mm-hmm. Will I probably be streaming in a couple hours? Probably. I was going to say, uh... Planning on a uh, nine or ten hour stream. We'll see though. Here are the monsters down there. The monsters are everywhere. <clears throat> okay, you know what? Just for shits and giggles, I want to hit bedrock before we go anywhere else. I'm not in a rush. I'm in the caves now. I'm gonna go ahead and. Create a mining tunnel. Mm hmm I mean, this isn't exactly the most exciting stream. This is very, uh, it's a chill Minecraft stream, so. You know. It is what it is what it is. We were fighting monsters down at the bottom, I believe. I'm gonna head down there and see what's going on. The very, very bottom. It's incredible the distance we had to go here. Uh, normal caves. 
Yes. That'll do it. And this is the deep caves. Okay. We're gonna summon our minions. Maybe I summoned one in a rock. We're in the deep caves right now. I'm gonna be grabbing lapis and other uh, fun little treasures using my iron pickaxe. And if I run across diamonds, I can actually mine them. But that's uh, what I decided to do down here. We'll be heading back to uh, the tower later. That's for sure. Is that that is diamonds? Yep. Oh jeez. That uh, zombie hit me pretty hard a couple times. You can see that crystal and zombie there? Yeah. I will get constantly assaulted while I'm down here trying to mine. But I got some diamonds, which is nice. Mm, yep. Let's do it. Get him with poison. Oh, I got some emeralds. What was that noise? What are these noises? Oh, jeez. That was a zombie with a grappling hook. Need to keep summoning. Creeper! Managed to avoid it, just barely. Yep. Good. Uh, deeper. Uh, I'm in the deep dark now. There are more. Okay. It spreads. What are these? Shulk sensors? Shulk screaker, screakers? Oh, damn. What is this? And why must it die? I can't destroy it? No, I can't destroy it. I was able... Okay, I was able to wreck it. Crazy. I'm getting EXP for breaking this stuff. Yeah, I'm earning EXP for destroying this. Ah, oh, crap. Crazy. What kind of uh, spawner is that? It's a creeper spawner. That's funny. Oh, well. You, you stay in there. You stay in your cage forever. No moss. Uh, oh, it just broke the spawner. That's funny. Um, let's see. Amethyst is nice. Hmm. Yeah, those creatures are frightening. Raw gold. I hear the creatures screeching at me in the darkness. There's a gold apple. Nice. That is a, a fun healing device. Um, I don't see anything else around here, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, summon more zombies. Okay. In the deep dark, there's some gold. Let's grab that gold. I wonder what I need gold for. I know I'll need it for something. I just don't know what yet. Further down into the deep dark. Okay. Let's see. Deep slate there. Mm hmm. That's more shock. Wow. So you can destroy that stuff. That's pretty cool. There's darkness. Still can't see very well. Hmm. Black slate. Nothing there. So this is a dead end. Okay. Fair enough. Jeez. What a cave. What a cave. Oh, hello. I need to go to the other side of it just in case I need to make a quick retreat. Cool. Um... 
Rather than a mining tunnel, how about a shapeless... Uh, yes. Good. Yep, we go back up. So, that, that weird creature in the deep dark was spreading. And I murdered it. Oh god, hello. That was a glow skeleton. Of course. Um, interesting. Mm hmm I only have craft to exile. I have I've made no changes to it. Unlike RL craft where I made tons of changes to it. Okay. Redstone. I wonder what I'm going to use redstone for. I mean, the fact that I'm getting tons of EXP doing it, so why not? But, uh, you know. Tis what it is. Okay. Good. Don't see anything so far. That's yeah, just a dead end. What's this? Lichen. It's glowing lichen, but it's a lie. I have seen no glow from it. Good. Uh, yeah, let's get our uh, our zombies back. They're they're disappearing, so I need to summon six of them. They are my defense in this terrible, terrible place. Good. But yeah. Mining EXP is A-OK. -okay. Look at that. Deep darkness. At least the skeleton won't uh, survive. I see more monsters. And I hit the back. Yeah, there, there's all kinds of monsters. Like that spider wants to jump down after me. It's an uncommon arachnid. Don't really care about that. Zinc ore. A pot to break. Another pot to break. It's just feeling more and more like terraria when I have uh, pots that I'm breaking at the lower level. Um... Yeah, this doesn't feel good right here. So, um, let's go back. Yep, I say as I immediately go mine some gold. Okay. Lapis, yes. Going back. No problem. This a wall. Okay. No. Th yeah, this should be it. Should be. Whatever this, this stuff is, though, this skulk is quite terrifying. Yep. Oh, geez, there are entire blocks made out of it. Yeah, it's spreading. You get EXP for killing it. Crazy. Yep. Looks like these are, these are, yeah, it, it's, the achievement was it spreads. And uh, this reminds me of the corruption from Terraria. I'm impressed. The blight, yes. There's a lot of it down here, too. That's why I'm kind of worried. I need uh, zombies. Yes. 
Ага. Okay. Trying to destroy these, uh, these skulk senses. Okay, you know what? I need my minions now. Oh, what the haste buff? Uh, I've got one of those at home. Uh oh. But yeah. Okay. I gotta get out of here, though. This is, uh, quite terrifying. Especially the whole, uh, lava here. This, this isn't, uh, battle class EXP, though. It's just enchanting level EXP. Yeah. Okay. Back this way. Bats. This is the way. Wait, what? Uh, hold on a second. Get out here, skeletons. What is that? What is that? What was that creature? Aw. Oh. Nothing over here. Terrifying. That's where the chests were. Monster behind me. Take its money. Five copper coins and four iron coins. Damn right. There's bats. Hmm. I actually do need the iron. My axe has been promoted to uncommon. Really? Like my... Iron pickaxe is gaining powers. Oh yeah, yeah, it has. Hmm. It's only got efficiency. It doesn't have uh, like durability or speed or anything like that. Okay. Pick up the iron. We keep going. Let's keep going up. This is a cool cave and all. I like it very much, but I also kind of want to survive. So, yeah, now. There we go. Okay, one, two, and three. Sealed. Got. I'll be back, just you wait and see. But for now, um... Yeah, exploring the depths was uh, pretty fancy. I'm gonna put everything away. I'm gonna go back to Far Tower and try checking it out. Uh, check out that area, I mean. Yep. Du -du -du. Follow the blight back to its source. Nice. The Those mechanics didn't exist back when I played this before. All new to me. That's uh, pretty fancy if you can uh, track it back to its source and kill its little sensors and stuff. Real fancy. Can't wait to see it completely spread through the caves while I neglect it for the next couple hours. But uh, for now, I'm going to go do a few other things. Yep. Going back up. Okay. Almost there. Okay. This'll do. Uh, we should put the soul away. Uh, do we have any runes? Yeah, we got runes to put away. 
For rune words, of course. But no, there should be a little corner here where I can put away some gemstones. Actual, factual diamonds. Ah, geez, that's a totem soul. I was really hoping it would be like, you know, a, a tome or something. Totems are okay. Just not for my class. That's all. Glow dust. Don't care about that. Put the raw gold away. And then we just shove the rest of this in different sections. Yep. Okay. Where did I put the lapis? There's the lapis. Okay. Um, anything else I need before I go? I've got a, a like a backup stone pickaxe. I've got an iron shovel. Um, I guess the wooden hoe I have somewhere with special powers. Yeah. And go grab the wooden hoe. Should be if we go over here to gear. Um go hmm. sworn we had it in a special spot. Oh well. If I can't find it, I can't find it. I'll try again later. For now though, our inventory is nice and clear, so I'm gonna go ahead and I guess that's a sword. Yeah, I don't care about that. D -d -d Minecraft. It's called uh, Craft to Exile. Uh, so, we are playing as a warlock. Specifically, Necromancer. So, we, what, we, what we do is we summon uh, zombies. Specifically, six of them. And uh, they fight for us. And in the event we get sick of them fighting for us, we can detonate them. Yes. Good. Um, but we also use poison bolts, poison spray, you know. Uh, uh, chaos damage. So, um, we're currently level 25. And can they be used to mine? No. Uh, they can, they will destroy spawners and things like that, but, uh, you know. So you can see our skill tree here. And, uh, what we've done is we've gone over up the path of the staff. We got our minion damage. We got a jewel socket. Extra minion frenzy, where the minions have less health, but that's fine because they do more damage. And then uh, Summoner, where we do less damage ourselves, but our minions do more, and we can have double the minions, basically. Uh, in addition to that, we also got Mana Battery, where our mana... Um, like, 35% of our damage is absorbed by mana first, before health. So, uh, that's where we're at right now. Oh, oh Okay. So from there, I was thinking about grabbing some more minion health because explosion affects that, but I don't know. Like, I don't know yet. I have two points that I can spend, and I don't know exactly where I want to spend them, so. Um, yeah. Let me see here. I think it was... Uh, how, did, how did I spell that? Uh, minion... Yeah. Uh, s summon damage, was in it? Yeah. Summon. There we go. So if I wanted to increase the summoning damage, I can do it at these nodes here. So, um... This is actually Path of Exile skill tree, because this is called Craft to Exile. And it's based off of Final Fantasy XIV's Sphere Grid. Now, let's see. This would increase total damage. And then that would increase summon damage some more. And then there's more. There's total damage, total damage. Uh, intelligence, strength, dexterity. And then if I were to go over here. Yeah, it's the hammer. But from there it would be strength leading over to more summon damage. I don't know if I want that those summon damage nodes though. Kind of. Uh, let me see here. Moving along. We're going over here. Yeah. I mean, summon damage could be over there. Let's see, what's this? Oh, 50% of your heal strength to skill damage. Yeah, the, these uh, nodes are kind of crazy. Um, 
quite happy where we've landed so far, but I'm saving two points until later because, um, yeah, I just got to focus. Okay. I like how I'm in the cloud layer. It's very stupid. Yeah, we're good. Let's let's head over to the other tower. So, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. You look over here. Whoops. This is home base. The starting village we were at was over here, and our current uh, thing we're checking out is uh, Kalsamir there. Yeah. Cool. So this is the uh, waystone we uh, activated earlier. We're checking things out while we're here. Hmm. Those kangaroos are dangerous. Do not trust them. Okay. Let's uh, figure out what we got next. Fish? No. There's a treasure chest here. Cool. Uh, that is a mind cage. Oh, it's um, it's a uh, heavy armor. I I don't need that. But I will gladly take the uh, the emeralds, you bet. I think we're basically done here. Mm-hmm. Does this include other mods in it? It's a, it's a pack. I mean, it's, it's a mod pack. I know that much. But um, most of them are designed and or tweaked to work together. Oh, we got a dose rune. Perfect. We're gonna be making rune words. Uh, da, 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 da. Can multi-classing for D and D in general work? Um, the, you can only dual class in this, uh, unless you mean uh, like I don't know about Baldur's Gate specifically. Like I, it's been years and years since I have played Baldur's Gate before my current run. But, um, uh, do I like tactical RPGs? Typically, no. However, I will put up with any gameplay I don't like in order to get more Disgaea, because Disgaea is just that good. Um, all right, we're going to go to this next, uh, house over here. So it's going to be further to the east, I think. Yeah, we're going to go, uh, hard to the east and explore. Okay. This guy is a tactical RPG. But it's also uh, a comedy. Yes. Okay. The premise of Disgaea is that the main character is Laharl, the son of the uh, overlord of the netherworld. His father, basically the devil, choked on a pretzel and died while Laharl was taking like a seven-year nap. And because he was taking a seven-year nap, civil war broke out because they all assumed he was dead uh, over who was going to rule. And so he has to rein in the kingdoms and... Uh, uh, of the netherworld and basically secure his place as o o overlord since, his, again, his father choked on a pretzel and died. Um, undefeatable in combat, but, you know. Um, it, it's, it's a comedy uh, story. This guy at two is different. Has, has a completely different story, but I'd say outside of the first one, the Disgaea that really um, struck me as the most uh, strange was where you played as a vampire. And this vampire cannot tell lies. He, he must keep his word, always. And so he was running an academy for these like penguin demons called Prennies. And so he promised all of the penguins that when they graduate, they would each receive one sardine. And then, then the Netherworld Senate um, declared that they were going to exterminate all the Prennies, just, just uh, genocide them, right? And so he, uh, they having just graduated, get, uh, get picked up before he can give them one sardine. And so he has to go to war against the Netherworld. 
in order to defeat the villain's plans so that he can free the Prinnies and each give them one sardine because he has to stay true to his oath. And so when the villain's kingdom is crumbling around him and he, he asks why, it's because he didn't let the vampire give them each one sardine. Yes. Ahem. <clears throat> Anyway, let me uh, see here. Oh, this is a cool looking place. A little archery. Uh... All right, that, that's a different looking crafting bench. Yeah, it's a maple crafting table. Haven't seen one of those. But yeah, point is, it's a series of strategy RPG games, and uh, I'm not too keen on strategy RPGs. So, uh, uh, hello, sir, Mr. Gatekeeper. The gate, the bed is occupied. The gatekeeper will not awaken. Oh, what's this? A blue journal. I just need to give him a book. That's it. Zeal lighter. What the hell? A gatekeeper. Oh, I can give him a book from his own treasure chest. That feels incredibly stupid. That, that feels... Very stupid. Oh, a Sen rune. Nice. Another rune type. Not complaining about that. Excuse me, sir. I'd like... I'd like to give you a book. Thank you. A blue journal. An adventurer's guide. Blue skies. Blue journal tab has been added to your inventory. Quests. Huh. Blue Jolly Cooperation. That's multiplayer. I don't need to worry about that. Um <clears throat> I haven't done any of my uh, act 1 stuff, so I should probably consider that, you know, the main quest has the mastermind. I should probably do that. For now, though, for now, looks like we're going out and exploration, question mark. What's this? Intelligence, fire resistance, accuracy. That's a pretty good amulet that I don't need. It's kind of cool. Empty maps. Moonstone shards. What's up with the moonstone shards? But whatever. We're going to have to fight. I'm summoning my zombies. Guarantee you, we have to fight. See, that lizard man there wanted to kill me, but thankfully my zombies already took care of him. That's how it works. I'm looking directly at the Endermen. See, if you look the Endermen in the eyes, they get very angry with you. And then they dropped an Eye of Ender, which is exactly what we need. Someday we'll find a stronghold. Someday. Whoop. Go. For now, we're just uh, slaying all our enemies. Cloth chest. Oh, I did get a cloth chest. Neat. That's really neat. What was that? Okay. Got him. Hmm. There's some more skeletons out here. We're only at 52% of our current level, unfortunately. There's a creeper. They die pretty quick. They don't have... A, like, creepers don't have a whole lot of health. So. There we go. Explosion. It's funny. But yeah, as you can see, there, there are more and more minions on the horizon. Or enemies on the horizon, I should say, as I... Uh, and go attack them uh, as I run across the fields. The game just wants to generate them en masse, which is fine. I do not mind because EXP for kills. Co combat experience. That Eye of Ender. Uh, sorry, the, the Ender Pearl. What, what do we need to combine the Ender Pearl with to make an Eye of Ender? I've forgotten already because, you know... Trying to do something useful would uh, 
confuse me, obviously. Whoop. Enemies just promptly died. There is a palace over there we could check out. Yep. Crazy. Uh, okay, before we do anything else... Yep, another uh, ender pearl. Hmm. Oh, well. Let's keep going. Are those uh, kangaroos? Do not trust the kangaroos. Whatever you do. Good. They did. Yeah, we're heading over there. To that palace. Don't know how we're going to get up there. Hot Shrubland. Shru shrubberies. Who would have thunk it? Here we go. Creeper's dead. Creeper drops gunpowder. It makes me wonder, what could you use gunpowder for in this game? Yeah, none of the drowned are after me, which is fine. Intermediate weak to water. That's funny. But they die before they reach me, so it's not that big a deal. Now that, uh, on the other hand, is very interesting. The, uh, uh what, what do you call it over here? The lava is very interesting. I, w I may want to get a bucket of that. You know why? Bucket of lava means uh, we can make obsidian. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Okay. Grabbing uh, coal. That is precisely what I wanted. I haven't seen my pickaxe level up recently. Let's see. It is at 1128. 1182. Okay, so yeah, it is definitely earning experience. That's not that big a deal. I need to drop a torch here to replace that spirit lantern I shattered by accident. Get out of here, egg. Oh, the lantern just dropped on the ground. Crazy. Uh, get out of here, string. There we go. Maybe I'll find a broken nether portal? Maybe. But really just, uh... Building a nether portal in your base, and then watching as the monsters bleed out. It, you know, and, uh... Like, building a containment room for the portal is really fun. All right, let's see what's in here. Crazy, there's actual coal inside of this building. That is a block of coal. How much coal is in a block of coal? And why does it break instantly? Mm-hmm. Fireworks. Fireworks? Oh, well. Yeah, I definitely don't need the block of coal, but I will I will take the little uh, coal units that are around here, that's for sure. Block of coal, get out of here. It's pretty funny. What? What? The blue moon sets. You aren't lucky anymore. Oh, well. Let's see. I would like... Oh god, what was that? Ghosts? Ghosts? Oh god. What is happening? Ghosts? Wait, what? You hear them digging? I heard digging. Just now. 
Disturbances in the air. Quest complete. What is this? Oh, Jace. The darkness is spreading. Okay. Hold on a second. I need to access my uh, backpack and put some stuff away. All right. We should be fine so far. I see. What's this? Treasure chest there. Gold, iron, some carrots, bread, coal. Crazy. What's this? Redstone repeater. Didn't seem to be doing anything. Didn't seem to be repeating. Okay. There's a bed here. A cyan bed. Oh. Huh. Yeah, those ghosts are pretty scary. I was hearing that digging going on. It was frightening me. I'll take all that. Vodka! Strength, nausea, and resistance. Oh, well, I mean... Uh, why would vodka make you nauseous? I mean, unless whoever made this is a wimp. Uh, what's this? That is a blast furnace. Fair enough. Boundless tome. That is magic shield. Cool. It has a socket in it. Let's see here. Mm-hmm. Redstone is wires, yes. But uh, it wasn't connected to anything, so I was like, why, 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 why? Boundless tome. Hmm. Thirty-seven. This is uh, forty. It's not that improved. Do oh, there's more. It leads up somewhere. How, how do we get up there? It's in the closet. Nothing. There's nothing in the closet. Hmm. There it is. There's the path. What's this? Apple? Can I has the apple? Yes. I can has the apple. Oh god. That hurt a lot. Okay. I got a debuff, darkness and hunger. I'm gonna eat a baked potato. I need to summon minions up here. Yep. More coal. I'll take it. What's in there? Interesting. There's a lot of coal in here. I assume to power their blast furnaces. The cake? So delicious and moist. Now that's a dodge uh, chest piece. What a shame. The ice bucket challenge. Obsidian. We've got, we found two obsidian pieces. This is good. What's this? Trap door, slabs, staircase. I don't care about any of that. These points of data make a beautiful line. And we're out of beta. We're releasing on time. Yes. Um, drinking milk. That's yeah, not going to happen right now. We don't have access to the milk. Where do we get to the center? Really? Oh, hello. Cake. Wait, cakes don't stack? Crazy. 
Mushroom stew, on the other hand. Like, we've just found a lot of food. Okay. Let's go ahead and try putting things away. See what sticks. Uh, yeah, that's about it, I suppose. Should be okay. Put that uh, white wool somewhere else. Cake away. Cake is a block, yes. But I mean, so is cobblestone. Okay. Whew. Damn. Well, that's a pain in the ass. Okay, I got in. I expect to see more ghosts. A bale with signs. Why, why? There's gotta be more. I refuse. Oh, hot spring, how nice. It's not healing me or anything, but uh, it's pretty cool. Reminds me of healing water in uh, Starbound. Yep. Mm -hmm. Good. Oops. Okay. You get crushed. It's over here. Nothing. Just hey. Hey. Okay. Here. A bedroom. That's nice. It's not nighttime and it's not thunderstorm, so. Screw you. That's a toilet. Yep, that's a toilet, all right. Did you know that Twitch, uh has been banning anything, like, relating to toilets. Like, uh, if you have an emote where a character's sitting on a toilet, even if they're not naked or whatever, uh, Twitch just decides unilaterally to just delete all, all these people's emotes because uh, it features a toilet and therefore is uh, no good. Okay. Melon slices pants. Oh, those are dodge rating pants. What a shame. Okay. Not quite what I was looking for. What's this? Le leather chest piece. Damn. Well, that ain't gonna work for me. I can keep the mushroom stew, but I'm gonna put the vodka away. As nice as that is, I can actually dismantle that chest piece. Good. I'm breaking this down so I can go up and out. Otherwise, I can't go anywhere. Why are you destroying this place? It is necessary. It is all necessary. Okay. Um, damn. I'm looking at the uh, madness of this place. Okay. I'm up on a higher level, but not at the top yet. So what I have to do is jump up there. Up there. Good. And now I will reach the roof. Will I get anything up here? No. It was a waste of time and vandalism. Just getting up to the top here. But it was fun. Plus, I managed to see a lot. Like, I can see some uh, ruins in the ocean over there. Um, yeah, this is a big ocean. Holy crap. Hmm. 
Look at the zoom button there. That you you were talking about a nether portal? I think we found one. Crazy. Um Yeah, I think it's over there. Okay, let's eat. Um only pie. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah, I can drop down here and not do get too much crunch. I need to go find a bed. There's a bed. Sleep until morning. Excellent. Yeah, this, this place was just full of ghosts. It was crazy. Yeah. Well, hello, skeleton. Good, good, good. Fill the nether portal in with sand. What? Uh, I've got two pieces of... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, I have two pieces of obsidian already. So I believe I can set this up. I like these soul lanterns. Can I, like, stack them? Ah, uh, jeez. I dropped it off. Shame. Shame. I'm gonna go down. I guess not. Oh, it's wood! That explains everything. Okay, what I need to do now is command uh, mining tunnel. Yes. Let's do it. Just want to see how far down it goes. The answer is not very. Got it. Yeah, it just dead ends here. What a shame. I'm, I'm contemplating what we got. Nah, we're out of here. I'm not uh, harvesting anything more here. I just need to get out. How do I get out? There should be a room... There it is. Cool. That is the exit. So, we kind of follow this around. Let me do this first. Uh, nope. There is nothing here. It's, it's just raw chicken. Get get out. Um, cake in there. Yes. You have more raw chicken. Congratulations. No, I just want the... I want a spirit lantern. I want to see if I can stack this spirit lantern with the other one. The answer is yes. So I want, like, two or three spirit lanterns, because they're cool. But more importantly, I want to see what's out there. In the X-Files sort of way, I guess. All right, I don't want... I'm thinking about just deconstructing this nether portal and taking it to my, uh... A lukewarm motion, how nice. Uh, I'm thinking of deconstructing this nether portal and taking it to my... Oh, there's a dolphin. That's pretty cool. Uh, are, are you hostile, by chance? I'm thinking about President Ackerman. Uh, the, uh... The guy who... No, we can't fix the nether portal with this. It's not ready. I'm going to deconstruct this and take it with me. Wait, wait, what What are these? This is crying obsidian? Does Does crying obsidian work with regular... Uh, this requires a diamond pickaxe, doesn't it? I don't think I can deconstruct this, can I? No. I need a better pickaxe. Fuck. Why does it damage my... Um, Water, why does it damage my energy shield? That's so strange. Uh -oh. Let's go have a look inside this box. Hell yeah, obsidian. Uh, golden sword, carrots. Okay, you know what? Uh, ahem. Let's do this. Can we land on this without dying? Oh god, we're getting sucked down into the magma. That was bonkers. Okay. 
Well, based on all of this, I say we mark this position as uh, uh, bro uh, broken portal, right? We'll just, uh, yeah, there we go. So that's the broken portal. And now we're getting out of here. Interesting, there's a uh, land across the ocean, but uh, I'm going to start heading on back now. I'll be back for all that obsidian and good loot in that treasure chest for sure, but uh, for now, we got to focus. We're going to head over to Far Tower, deposit our stuff there, and then come back. I just marked the location to make it easier. Radio. That's what's down here. Nothing. Okay. Almost there. Okay. Good enough. Yeah, those areas are nice, but uh, which one's closer? Far Tower is way closer. Cool. Let's actually do this. Let's untrack these these two towns. Yep. That's better. That makes things far easier to keep an eye on because I have East Tower. Uh, we should change that. Uh, hold on. Change that... Uh, Edit, change it from a U to an E. There we go. Cool, so it's East Tower, Home Base, Far Tower, and Broken Portal. Neat. There's an underwater cave there. Makes me wonder what I'd need to achieve water breathing. I assume it's something far beyond my material uh, capacity at the moment. But, uh... It'd be interesting to check out. Kangaroos over here. What a fun little savanna area. Mm-hmm. Silk touch pick for crying obsidian. I yeah, I don't plan on mining uh any of that right now. My goal is rather to um yeah, what do you call it? Uh, pick up all the contents of that chest. Also, you may be a little ways behind in uh, the video. There's a live button you can hit to kind of skip to present. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Whoops. Uh, Enchanted Helm or Water Breathing. Uh, Enchanted Helm sounds fun. We'll get around to that one of these years. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to grab everything I can. Um, yeah, just a sec. Uh, okay. I was able to put away one of the spirit lanterns, but what I actually want is this physical to chaos... Um, yeah, poison chance is nice. I don't know about that. Let's see. Proje lesser projectiles is also good. Well, either way, we're going to head back to the mine. Uh, yeah, we're going to head back to, sorry, to home base and put away some of this stuff. So first things first. Uh, items, yes. Weapons, armors. Basically, all the stuff that we tried to get that didn't do anything for us. Health armor, you know. Then, that's, yeah. That's dodge rating as well. Oh, and a book. Oops. Mm -hmm. An herb that will make potions. Nice. <clears throat> okay, orbs. I need to go down here. And now... Called... Um, 
Looking for a thing. Gold, we'll pick that up. More importantly, yeah, the carrots capped out at 64. But like most other stacks. Not all other stacks, but most other stacks. And golden apple with a golden apple. Hmm. Give me a sec here. That's what I thought. Amethyst shards, cracked topaz. Yeah, we've got five obsidian. What is it? Uh, two, four, six, eight. You need like eight obsidian to make a portal, right? Pretty sure it was like eight obsidian. Mm-hmm. Yes, I, I don't have enough chests yet. That's actually true. I know you might be joking, but that's actually true. Um... Glistering melon slice. Eight the me Wait, do we need to combine the melons to make a melon block, I think? Like a golden melon or something? We do take all these melon slices and be like, hey, let's make a big uh, melon block. And uh, that didn't work. Huh. What, what was it? To, like the, the glistering melon slices are for alchemy, aren't they? Grumble, grumble. Um... I need to take the Orb of Imbalance. Bring the Orb of Imbalance over here. There we go. Hmm. Potions, eh? Potions. Crazy. Is that what the uh, Alchemy Stein is for? Or is it the Brewing Stand? Or both. I have no clue. Okay. Got another rune. Yep. We're getting there. There's a lot of runes to choose from. More importantly, though. Hmm. The stone. The alchemy stand comes from the nether or from towns. I was one because I mean I've got I've got the alchemy station and I've got the brewing stand. That's why I was wondering. Like which one are we gonna be using and for what and why? Ah, uh, uh, right. <clears throat> Before we go out there and finish harvesting, I need to put things away. Yes. Mm-hmm. Brewing stands from the Fit Base game. So the Alchemy Station is something even further beyond. Well, that's exciting. Okay. Um. Jeez. I need to keep these Ender Pearls. They're important. So they need the standard gems over here. Next to the diamonds and stuff. Because the Ender Pearls become like the Eyes of Ender later. I remember that much. And that'll be part of our amazing journey. Let's see. Spirit lanterns. We're going to put some out front. There we go. That's cool. Wait. Oh, no. I could have put them up like that. Excuse me, Mr. Zombies. Please stop it. Yeah, that petrifying zombie ain't gonna reach me, that's for sure. Now, as I was saying before I got horribly distracted. Uh that's better. Now. Um oh I had a spirit lantern in here to begin with. That's funny. Uh I have Ender there, another soul lantern. The soul lanterns, yes. Good. Those lanterns ward off pig men. So in other words, I should put a couple in front of the nether portal I end up creating later. That's what I should do. Okay.
In the meantime... Yes. You give them gold. Damn it. I didn't mean to do that. And to put it like right here. There we go. And as for that one that I put on the ground, I want that inside. And over here. Good. So, what was I doing? Madness. That's that's what I was doing. I was I was being insane. Okay. Rotten flesh, get out. Wait, can we put rotten flesh in the composting station? No. No, we can't. Damn. I thought rotten flesh would go perfect in the composting station. What, what a strange deal that is. Feed, feed the rotten flesh to wolves? I see. I see. Well, in the meantime, I'm just gonna put everything away here. Having those uh, loot sources. What are we at? Damn it, I didn't mean to drink that. Hmm. Yeah, we're fine. Check the... Yeah, we're almost done. I'll figure this out later. Yes, t taming wolves. I remember that. But no, I have to figure out where I put my... Um, wooden hoe. I'm certain I put it somewhere around. Definitely not a fishing rod. I'll end up organizing these chests later a little more than I have. Okay, so iron. We need to get an iron ingot. Over here at the, uh, not upgrade, it should be, yeah, here. And we take the pickaxe and that, bam, done. Cool. So... Got a shovel, but that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a, um, hold on, we, we, we grab these. They need to be put somewhere else anyway. Yep. So, I know I have a wooden hoe that is enchanted. And so I'm kind of looking for it. Hmm. Oh, you know what? You mentioned a hopper. I was just thinking. I'd like to build a hopper for the composter. Yeah, so that just requires a treasure chest and some ingots. Okay, cool. Let's do that right now. So... Uh, do, 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 do. Just need a treasure chest now. Where's the the wood's probably downstairs, or non-existent? That's a a good place for wood is non-existence. Okay. So what I'm going to do here specifically is first make a treasure chest, then put the treasure chest in the middle, and it should be what something like that. There we go. Hopper. Cool. So, what we do... Yeah, I don't care about the auto-sorting so much as I would like to... Um, I, I need to put a chest above it now. And... Um, that This is what I want to use the hopper for specifically. Is... Um, wheat... Want want to put wheat seeds in the hopper and get them processed that way. We'll see if it works. Well, I found a stone hoe, but I'm looking for a wooden one hidden around somewhere. 
Hmm. Ah, Medkit, thank you uh, for subscribing there. That's awesome. Okie dokie, 46 months. Oof. Let me, uh, look here. I'm checking every chest now. There it is. Found it. Found the wooden hoe. Yep. Mm hmm. Dig straight down. Yes. And, and use water to prevent a fall. True. What is the second position nonsense when I'm using the uh, the hoe? I don't understand. Feels very odd. Anyway. What we're doing at present is we're just uh, doing a quick little farm. You said, no, I, 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 I need to know what that second position is. Yes. Uh, they use the hoe for debug? Oh, that's weird. Hello, Mr. Zombie. How you doing? Stop destroying my crops. Mm -hmm. See, I just want to use the hoe to... I just want to level up the hoe by doing this. You see what I'm saying? Whoops. Uh, goodbye. Good. Poison bolts. And only the wooden hoe because junk. That's funny because uh, I have an enchanted wooden hoe, which is uh, level 32 at present. It's very funny. Yep. Yeah, level 33. Mm hmm. Okay. Here we go. I don't know which mod is the the one with the settings. LOL. In any case, my wooden hoe is now level 36. I don't even know what that uh, means, but it's uh, providing bounty. And that's the important thing. Okay, I don't really need the other items at the moment. I'm just going to let them sit on their, uh, uh, sit where they are. Hold on a second. Actually, uh, where'd the zombie come down and crush it? Mm-hmm. A beehive and, uh, nice. How do I get the beehive without, uh, breaking it and or completely, totally pissing off the, uh, uh, what do you call them? Yeah, it's, it's not working. I can't use this. Busted. Lol. Whoop. Oh, surprised I didn't break that. Okay. Mm hmm. How would you compare the building experience to Power World? N not at all. They're very different. Power World is closer to, like, No Man's Sky, but No Man's Sky is way better. And this is a voxel based game. Uh. It's definitely freer, though. You don't have to worry about uh, having your stuff deleted because you were slightly out of bounds. That is a problem with... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, oh, shit, the chest is at the... Just going to have to break through that. There we go. Cool. Uh, um, I want to see if that works. Yeah, it's working. It's feeding them into the hopper. So yeah, it's 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 feeding the uh, seeds into the composting bin, I think. Um, maybe, possibly. Don't know. Mm -hmm. Tame the queen with flowers. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, don't the villagers deserve it? It's not like they're human like you or I. They're villagers. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's producing anything. I don't know. I think it's busted. Oh, that's, that's really strange. 17, 18, 19, 20. So it's, it's building this up, and then it's 
Okay, so it's draining from the chest, putting them in here. And from here, it's not doing anything. So how do we make it use the composter? Yes. That's, um, I'm, I'm very confused. Yes. Uh, no, it's, it's, uh, it's just sitting in the composter right now. See? All the seeds have gone from the chest into the compo, into the hopper. And the hopper's just sitting over the composter not doing anything. Yeah. Uh, it's connected to the wall and not the chest. <laughs> That's so fucking dumb. Uh, it is connected to the chest. It's not just not connected to the uh, to the composter. That is uh, very dumb. Okay, so what I need to do is take all the seeds, chop the chest up. What? What happened to the chest? I destroyed it. No, it ended up in the hopper. That's funny. Okay, so. That is very, very dumb. Uh, let's do this then. Okay. So, here in this spot, we drop a composter. Whoops. Or we drop a block because we're extra dumb. Um, composter. And then we put a hopper on top of it. And then we put a treasure chest on uh, top of that. Hmm. Hold on. I gotta go up to the top and reposition. Rumble, grumble. I'm in the clouds. That should be fine. I know how to do this. I have to back pos I said uh hold shift then place. I mean uh Oh. That's weird. No. LOL. <laughs> I have to be on top. It's fine. I have to be on top. And then do it. Yep. Okay. Mechanics? I haven't messed with those in years. There you go. Okay. So it is uh, is draining the seeds into the hopper. And the hopper should be putting them in here. Yes. So I have to, I still have to click it myself afterward, but that eliminates a huge chunk of the process. Yeah, that's fine. That's way better than having to uh, do the whole process manually. Even that little bit of uh, save time is great. Okay. Good news, everybody. Six chests. Yes. Let's do it. A farmer villager will auto harvest. Yeah, but I I, I don't want to build in a village. Thanks. How do we get the contracts to force them to serve us? All right. <clears throat> One two. That'll be uh, food. So this will be food. Like um. Roots and other things, yeah. Um, this will be food, and this will be potions. <coughs> so consumables, food, potions, gear. Okay, that's that's fine. That's still way better. Nice. You said if you use a rope, you can kidnap a villager and drag it back to your house, tie a rope to a post. That is, that is awful. It's like Conan Exiles all over again. 
But at least I don't have to do that one part manually, and I'm quite happy about that. That actually, uh, that actually pleases me quite a bit. Uh, so, iron would go in here. Oh, oh, yeah, over here on this side, yeah. Iron goes over there. Raw block goes over there. And, um, what should I put in this corner? Mm-hmm. You have a Steve on your wall? Yes. He's uh, getting burnt by the torch while he's trying to loot a treasure chest. It's a uh, trophy for uh, achievements done by me. Okay. Uh, more importantly, we need to travel. We need to travel. Let's uh, put the tools away. As it's going to be for tools, so put those away there. Keep the extra one just in case, yes. Hmm. I think I'd rather find a mod that would facilitate what uh, you'd want to do rather than uh, kidnapping villagers and being uh, a terrible... Uh, Evil person to them. Yes. Alright, that's fire skill damage. Just debating if there's anything else we need to do here. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Diamonds. You bet. Zombies. We set we send the, the zombies in and then we detonate them. That is important. Yes. Mm-hmm. I don't know anything about realms, but I do know back in the day, uh, there used to be a really cool server that was uh, three teams. It was, and it was three different kingdoms that were at war, and you would pick a kingdom, and then you'd do quests in uh, your kingdom of choice until you were ready to uh, uh, go to war. And the idea is that uh, during times of war, the protections for areas got turned off so the opposing faction could blow up your shit. And, uh, it, um, it was pretty cool. It had a magic system like this, but you had to learn spells by doing quests and stuff. Ahem. <clears throat> yep. It's nighttime, isn't it? Of course it is. Who shot at me? No one shot at me. Okay, we're good. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, we just go to sleep here. Wake up. It's morning. Time to go explore. So what we do first is we travel over to uh, the broken portal directly and pick up the shit. That's uh, that's our first goal. So uh, I'd like to not drown. Thanks. Um, yeah, our goal is to get that uh, the get all that stuff. That's our first goal. Then we're going to go back to Far Tower and check out some other things. Um, I guess we got everything we needed from Far Tower. And this, this portal is not going to work for us. So, I'm actually going to disable its uh, waypoint in just a moment. When we get out of the ocean. Because the ocean's fun, don't you know? Uh, yes. No! I want to mine that ore without drowning, so. What I need to do is... Um, 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 already drowned a little bit. <laughs> but no. Um, trying to remember the button combination. Should be like that, and then... Shapeless. Yes. Cool. All right, I got I got the my tool set to shapeless. Oh boy. That's exciting. And with any luck, 
I don't think we can mine it. Come on. Do it. I'm drowning. We did it. We succeeded. You can uh, drown, uh, drain water with sponges and make underwater bases. Cool. That is really neat. I'm going up because I'm about to drown again. I survived. Okay. I did it. Harvest kelp for what? Later, uh, uh, later potion making, I assume. Yeah. <clears throat> well, we, we know it's near the broken portal. We can always come back for it later. Speaking of, we're going to disable the uh, waypoint on the broken portal. Because it is no longer relevant. We've got all the loot from there. Including these glimmering pants. Uh, it's not as good as our current pants. Actually, not nearly as good as our current pants. These are terrible. I'll go dismantle them and get some uh, magic stones. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, it's good to know that uh, the broken portal is in a kelp for... Oh god, look at that whale. That is a big whale. Mm hmm. Hmm. Tint glass using kelp. What? Uh, don't know anything about that. Elephants. Yeah, elephants and whales. A whale of a tail. Those gazelle aren't going to fight me, so we're going north. There's uh, something up to the north. If wishes were fishes, we'd all be happy cats. What? This way. No, not that way. We should be fine. Let me hit a button here. It's, uh, there's some things I need to look at real quick. Um, right. Let me see here. Okay. No, nothing over there. And let me, let me poke at a couple more things. We should be good. Okay. Mm -hmm. There is non-blocky uh, glass. Okay, cool. Yep. Go get to eat it. Uh, dry it, make fuel. Underwater farm. Uh, nice. Uh, probably will never be using pistons to automate things. That is uh, very unlikely. The... Uh, uh, what do you call it? My, my limit is using the hopper to uh, make the thing because it's super tedious and not at all fun. M most of the game I would consider fun. But uh, loading uh, seeds in the hopper, less so. Uh, hello, sir. Y you have a blue journal. Uh, this animal needs to be used once. I've already uh, used it. I've already unlocked that secret. Okay, cool. Potions and potatoes. Isn't that a, uh, yeah, potions and potatoes. Isn't that like a tabletop game? Uh, here we go. Grab all that. What kind? Spiritual raw salmon. Nice. What's this? Amulet of the Drake. Energy on hit. Strength. No, we don't need that. What are you doing? You went, eh. Oh, shit. There's marauders. Crazy. Oh, crap. That, that, that hurt. I gotta go. Marauder! Damn right. Where are the rest? Damn. Good work. What happened? What are you doing? Oh, crap. Cool. We killed the marauders. No problem. What's in here? Over here. Yeah. Uh, Black wool. Don't need it. I'll take the potatoes, though. 
puppus pu puffer fish that's a quest a quest of puffer fish uh marauders adam oh there's a golem in a cage crazy that's a smoker let's pick that up whoa Got him. More marauders. Crazy. Is this our outpost? It's like their headquarters, ain't it? I'm, I'm looking at that like that's their face. Okay. Yeah. Well, I've been getting a fair amount of emeralds off their corpses, at least. Let's uh, let the golem out and see what he does. Uh... There. You're free, Gollum. You're free. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, there are people who... Uh, there's a one guy who programmed, like, all the Pokemon into... Uh, uh, po Pokemon Red into Redstone. And I thought, wow, this is terrible. I hate it. Uh, it's really amazing. Okay. Level up. Damn right. Dolms can be made by the player. That's fancy. Uh, yep. These guys. Go, zombie. All right. He's already dead. What a shame. But no, no, it's 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 super interesting that you can play Pokemon inside of uh, inside of Minecraft. There's a spider. Good. Uh, we got too much stuff. We need to start shoving things in our backpack. Good enough. Uh, oh, that's a flint and steel. Doesn't that light, light fires just in random places? Pretty sure flint and steel just lights fires. I have vague memories of this stuff. Me uh, those are pumpkins. My farming increased to 26. I get, I get a huge chunk of farming EXP for doing that. That's pretty cool. More marauders? Do they just spawn around here? During the day? That's nuts. Let the other guy go. Oh, he died. My zombie survived. Got it. Yeah, I think this whole area just spawns these guys. Marauders, I mean. I'm going up here. Treasure! What's this? Onion crate. Oh. It is nothing. It is just a uh, block. Can you plant an onion like you plant carrots? Because that'd be pretty cool. An enchanted book. Uh, arrows deal like fire arrows. Got it. Goat horn. Don't care about that. Hmm. Yeah, dark oak logs. Crazy. Mm-hmm. Make a forest fire. <clears throat> nice. I was going to say, I know that uh, you use, like, you set a fire in order to open a nether portal. Epic stone. Cool. That's a nice repair item. I don't need arrows. Get out. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Door Fortress is, um, my main issue with Door Fortress was the verticality, and it's, uh, I've seen other people using the Steam version, it's way easier to see up and down than it is in the, uh, original free version. Personally, like, kudos to him, uh, for, like, making a professional version out of his, you know, original free product. I think that's awesome. 
don't get me wrong, like, he's not taking away the free thing. You can still have the free thing, but now he's working on it, you know, like, on an enhanced version of it with extra features, and I think that's awesome. I'm just not ready to play it yet. Um, like, I wasn't ready until Adventure Mode got ported over, basically. Damn. Well, if you want to kill Marauders, apparently they just spawn on mass around here. I'm going to go borrow that guy's bed so I can sleep here before everything goes sideways. At least the golem's free to kill uh, marauders as they spawn at their little base next to this guy's house. Why would you have your base next to a marauder? Yeah. Do, 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 do. When you first played on a server, people burned down the forest. That's funny. I can't believe like, I have to go around this. Do that. And I can sleep. Cool. Morning! And, uh, what's this? Emeralds. The uh, Gemerald? Yes. Okay. Let's eat some more pumpkin pie and then open this door. Wait. I said eat the pumpkin pie. Cool. I'm liking this. Let's get out while we have the opportunity. Yeah, this tree sucks. Okay. Let's figure out where we are right now. So, this is our base. This is the east tower in the middle. And this is far tower, and now we're exploring this. I want to check out the southern area here. Like, I want to I see what's in, the, in this region here. So, we're going south. Eventually, I'm going to have to start actually looking at my quests because I know I've uh, done a good chunk of them and at some point today, I'd like to make some progress in them. But, uh, you know, that's neither here nor there. I got time. I got, got tons of time. In the event that uh, my stream runs out, because I can only stream for like 12 hours at a time, uh, I will, if I still feel like playing... Uh, and, and the timer runs out, I will uh, just end the stream and make a new stream. Because, uh, you know, I'm feeling good and I'm enjoying myself. Okay. Of course, that can change to complete exhaustion really quickly. So, you know, I'm just going to play it by ear, so to speak. Speaking of playing things by ear, I'd like some wood. So I'm going to chop down this tree. Yep. Good. I've been... Uh, I've been what, what's that in the sky? That is a big old eagle. It's not a hippogriff like uh, the last playthrough, the RL Craft one. Yep. Oops. There we go. Flowers of the Sylvana. Interesting. I just keep accomplishing things. It's great. That's just me. One giant pile of accomplishment. Okay. Me. Yep. Nice. Yeah, it's it's really funny to see all of the um, things you can do, like what, all, all the personal histories and stuff that get generated in uh, Dwarf Fortress. A little absurd, the sheer level of uh, depth that the different characters can go through. Uh, lighter. Still want to know what's up with that lighter. Is that like a super flint and steel, or does it do something different? Oh, well. Doesn't matter a whole lot. Um, let me see here. A precision spear. Celestial produce. I don't need that bread. I guess I'll eat the bread now. But, uh, yeah. That's just wool, right? Yeah, it's just wool. Okay. Let's 
Let's see. Yep, everything. I, I knew all those items could be put away. Cool. So what we need to do is eat a loaf of bread. Yes. Where's the bread? There it is. Get out, flower. Good. Hello, Mr. Gatekeeper. Uh, let's see. This is all black wool, but I need the uh, different potion types. Lesser essence. What's this? Ventium ingot. A little hot uh, rod red. Yes. Ventium. What madness is this? Celestial meat. Hmm. Celestial fish. Hmm. Empty map there. Yeah, these uncommon potions are nice. I need to be able to harvest more of those if possible. Let me see. Hmm. More, so yeah, more uncommon potions. There it is. Cool. Don't think there's anything else out here. Cool, so let's have a look at the map. I want to continue south on to this little uh, peninsula. Oops, whatever it is down there. The crunch is not too bad. But yeah, the kind of personal histories that get generated for each NPC is kind of amazing. And um, it's especially interesting if you're playing adventure mode. Because, you know, you have a personal history, your family has a personal history, all the NPCs you interact with have personal histories. And it kind of, it's just super interesting as a result. Okay. This is a pretty cool place. Mm hmm. Flower forest. Yeah, there's flowers here. They're right. You're right to call it the flower forest. Hold on, let me let me try this. Let me try jumping in. Yes. Diving in while running is so good. Okay. Sunflower Plains. Is that a lighthouse? I think that's a lighthouse over there. There's also a small house over here. But it's all sunflowers. Huh. Let's figure out what's in this direction first. Ignore the cow. That looks like a dungeon entrance to me. Or just a burnt down house, I guess. Uh, wow. Carrots. Smashing success. I destroyed an urn in an abandoned house. Achievements plenty. All right, there is a village over there. But more importantly, there should be a lighthouse in this direction. And I'm curious about it. There are a number of bees here. Looks like the lighthouse is across a uh, river. Oh, hello. Uh, that is a good source of lava. I'm thinking, yeah, let's let's do this. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Lava. Yeah. Okay, cool. We're gonna we're gonna come back here and pour some water in because there's water right next to this. We can just take the bucket back and forth. And uh, make some obsidian. Yes. And that way we can make ourselves a hell portal. Did you know that in RL Craft, Doom enemies are in hell? Uh, in the nether? It's true. Like, you'll fight imps and caco demons and stuff. Yep. But uh, they also have a tendency to spawn around the um whatchamacallit um they have a tendency to spawn around the um 
nether portal. So you can end up with doom enemies encroaching on the normal world. And it's absolutely absurd, and I love it. These are uh, farming EXP, yes. Hmm. There we go, yep. Every one of those is 302. Good. What can you do with melons? Any, uh, sorry, not melons. Um, pumpkins, anyway, other than make a jack-o'-lantern. Because jack-o'-lanterns are funny. Put a, uh candle underneath and they glow. I get that. I totally understand that. But do they have any practical applications aside from becoming big glowy blocks? Uh, let's see. Sea pickles. Sea lanterns. There's some treasure chests here. Cool. Is there a bed? There is a bed. And a waystone. Nice. We can use that to travel. That is um, unnamed, apparently. Hmm. Cool. Uh, bu 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 bu. It's, uh, yeah. So what we need to do is change the name, edit the waypoint. It's now um, uh, light. Uh, house, yes. L not lava, lighthouse. And then you give it a uh, aqua color, yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. They keep away the drowned. Nice. I've seen the drowned a uh, handful of them. I thought, oh, hey, these are modded enemies. But if they aren't, that's uh, pretty fancy. Yep. Okay, well. Let's go ahead and warp ourselves back to town. Home base. Yes. And now we need to see about... Um, yeah, we're going to put some bread in here along with the onions. Actually, hold on. Let's see if we can plant some onions. I want to see how that works. I'm curious enough. I'm also going to disturb the hopper because I can't. There we go. Oh, yeah, we can plant the onions. Nice. Okay, so yeah, we're... Oh, the blood moon rises. Nice. Just in time. Can't wait. Oh, is that it? That's all the seeds, apparently. Nice. Okay. Give me my shovel back, you bastards. I guess it's a golden shovel. It seems to not... Uh, money mending? Uh, repairs the item using money in your wallet. That's awful. Yeah, the golden shovel can go uh, to hell. I'm going to shove that in one of these uh, uh, slots there. Money mending. How lovely. Do you have money? Not anymore. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. Let me grab some stuff real quick. Okay. Teen emeralds, yes. Gemeralds. I think we're going out to fight now. There's no way I can avoid it. It's going to happen. So let's just drop all this stuff in here for now. And we go off to war. It's the blood moon. Can't help it. Mm hmm. Okay, first things first summon uh, minions. There's an Enderman. Yep. Very good. As it should be. There's the, the the giant creeper. Look at that giant creeper. That thing is terrifying. Yep. As it dies, it will start drawing everybody in. And then explode. 
Beware the musician. Oh boy, here we go. He, he's dead. Okay, the blood moon is certainly uh, risen, isn't it? I need to eat. And then I need to check out that ultra creeper to see if it's still there. I'm scared. I think I took care of it. Yeah, it blew up. It, it, it destroyed a huge chunk of the hill in the process, but the Ultra Creeper blew up, so this is fine. Elemental enemies, sure. What else we got? Money. I like how more severe this hill gets as we go on. Like, the, the hill just uh, gets eaten away to the point at which it's this gigantic... Um, what, what do you call it? Uh, it, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's this? Uh, yeah, we're fine. I got a pair of pants and a soul. A gear soul. But no. Should be fine. Okay. Some EXP orbs. An evil lizard man. That is a skeleton of frost. He was special. He died like all his special friends. Okay. Got it. Army of minions. This should be fine. Okay. That's, uh... No, we should be A-OK. -okay. We're just, uh, fighting through the blood moon. Very important. Nice. Enderpearls. I know enderpearls turn into eyes of ender somehow. I just don't remember the details, to be honest. It's been a long, long time. Most of my gameplay, the majority of my Minecraft gameplay... Oh god, it's a super zombie. Uh, I was going to say, the majority of my Minecraft gameplay was done before the end was added. Back during the quote-unquote adventure update. You know, when uh, when Notch promised us that there'd be dungeons. Yep. Mm-hmm. Blaze powder? I... So what, you get blaze rods from blazes and then you turn them into blaze powder? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I see. Yep, they certainly like to teleport a lot. Let's see what else we got around here. The Dark Knight. Okay. No, thank you. Stop exploding, Creeper. Okay. Us can be used as fuel. Uh, fuel for what? Fuel sounds so generic. Oh, jeez. Okay. That was a fly. We're doing well enough, I think. Furnaces. Oh, okay. Like uh, sticks or uh, coal. Okay. Fair enough. So I assume it's just the uh, the sticks are cold that last almost forever. 
That would make a lot of sense, I suppose. At least last longer. Someone's blown up the forest. And I am a-okay with it. We're battling here. We've chosen to defeat our enemies here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Trying our best. Need to summon more. Dig out of here. Good. What else we got? Hide lied? What? No, it's a different game. Damn. Lots of enemies on the horizon here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Excuse me, Mr. Uh, copyright Demon. How you doing? Okay. Damn, damn, damn. I just got murdered. Yes. I thought the tree would protect me. It did not. What a shame. So, good news, everybody. We are quite dead. Um, cannot rest because the current lunar event prevents it. So, the last time I tried to, uh, to sleep, you know, because of the blood moon, uh, that was a dirty freaking lie. Like, it, it, it wasn't supposed to be able to do that. Yeah. The last time I uh, managed to sleep in a blood moon... The, the the game was uh yeah the game was lying to me whoop uh huh my bad i uh hadn't opened that chest there okay we gotta go over to our old last death mm hmm he said uh common creeper minion holy crap okay Let's go. We're running. We're going to be picking up all those EXP orbs and other things. And uh, generally just kind of approaching where we died. Yep. Last death. What's th What are these? The flowers. No thanks. Okay. That is a necklace. Neat. Let's go ahead and put some more stuff away. Just said the game will say, hey, you can pick these, these souls up. Yes. Money. Money is important. What else? I think we got everything of uh, major note. Mm hmm. I see. Parrots. Of course. I picked everything up. This should be fine. Yeah, I don't see anything else around, so I'm going to assume that was everything. It already removed the last death from my map. So let's go get a bucket and start uh, getting uh, lava over here uh, or uh, obsidian made out of that lava flow. I think that might be fine. Yep, yep. We just need to grab a piece of lava, set it up over the water, and watch as the water gets turned into obsidian. And then repeat the process. Uh, yep. Okay. Catch the Ender Dragon in a Pokeball. Uh, there is a mod that lets you do that. Yep. Yep. Can't do that here, though. Hmm. Uncooked rice. Surely. Surely you can do better than that. Okay. Let's figure out what we're doing. You can get its egg. Nice. Mm-hmm. He said, uh, Minecraft fans hate the creator of the game. Lol. 
Well, yes, obviously. Uh, the The issue is he sold it, and uh, now it's slowly being turned into something that is unrecognizable. Plus, you know, they're selling stuff on the Minecraft marketplace, which is already a sin. Hmm. Okay. Let me see what else we got here. Uh -huh. Yes. He made money. More importantly though, I uh I was holding uh what I was holding against him was actually the um uh what do you call it um the fact that he promised us dungeons in the adventure update and we didn't get dungeons until strongholds much later his version of a dungeon was a single room with a spawner in the middle thanks all right um <clears throat> let me see here Give me a sec. I'm looking at a thing. Mm-hmm. Ahem. <clears throat> mm. Ah. Runes, of course. Mm-hmm. AI voice for modded playthroughs, you say? Um, there's a legal agreement on 11 labs for voices, but I imagine it means nothing since tons of people make voices. Yes. I like, I, I don't know. I, I have no idea. There's probably going to be trouble. Uh, like I, I've said this before, but the future is, um, is theft and problems. That's, that's, that's the future of, um, what do, you, what do you call it? Of uh, AI voice generation. The future is theft and problems. Guaranteed. AI... Uh, you have to understand that AI is unethical as fuck. It's data laundering. Now, you'll notice that I use it in my Marwin playthroughs. Does that mean I don't think it's unethical? Absolutely not. My playthroughs are unethical as fuck. I'm a hypocrite. What about it? All right. Let's go this way. Du -du 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 -du. You can use your own voice just fine, and it won't. It doesn't matter. But when you use other people's voices, technically you're you're, you're stealing. And um, you know, that's just. Uh, Something you're going to have to make peace with if you want to use it. Hmm. A staff soul. Yeah. I uh, processed all those souls over here. I'm going to put some steel in here. That's fine. I need a chest just for runes. Like, down here. Hmm. Yeah. We're going to convert that wood right now. Uh, this one. Yeah. Bam. Wood. Uh, balance the grid. Ah, yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, five of them. That's fine. That was, uh, all I need is two. This is where we're going to put the runes. We're going to put them uh, next to gyms. Yep. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yep. Radio. What's next? Put the bones away. Yes. Bone meal. I'm going to take those uh, bridge logs and figure this out. Okay, first things first, we need to grab everything from our backpack. 
What's the these pants are terrible. Mm, dose rune. Right. There's the runes. Dose rune. Got it. Paragon MOBA from Epic Games. I don't know anything about that. Sorry. Potions. It's a common invigoration potion. I'm assuming invigoration potion restores your... Um, what do you call it? Your energy. That's my guess. Okay. We need to start uh, figuring out the uh, sheer amount of junk I have here. Let me see. Access that. Good. Tools. We'll put the flint and steel in here. Oh, yeah. Along with the gold sword. I think that and... Uh, the gold chest piece can go in this one, maybe. That should be fine. What else? Microsoft Sam is the most ethical AI voice. Well, because it's usable for anything. And they, as far as I know, encourage you to use Microsoft Sam in commercial products, right? They uh they want they want you to use their iconic voice for uh everything so that you are locked into the Windows ecosystem. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me see. Okay. I need a yeah, this one's gonna be the rune chest over there. Mm-hmm. Look at you, hacker. Yes. Absolutely. Let me uh, see here. What was it? I'm looking at the different options. Give me a sec. Closing things. Uh, um. oh, so we went to a point. We have one motto on the team in terms of combat, and that's when you press a button, something awesome has to happen. So button awesome, connected now, in Dragon Age 2. There you go. Uh, I'm gonna close that real quick. Yeah, just just close that completely. I don't recognize like two thirds of these thumbnails. I reckon I recognize "Return to Oblivion." That's an awesome song, and I recognize "Dagoth Wave." That's Angelica Tosh doing uh, "Clothing in Skyrim." Okay, Angelica Tosh always looks a little disheveled to me. Uh, I don't know if that's her intention or if there's an oopsie, but. Uh, uh she's um she, she makes good content regardless of how uh, uh, uh again uh how she looks like she hasn't slept in a week um she's uh, a really good channel i uh, i appreciate her content um let me see here do, do, do. no i need to Damn, I need to pick those, yeah, put those gems back. I'm looking at my inventory going, there's too much stuff, but my backpack's empty, and that's the important thing. I'm very happy about that part. Okay, first things first. I need to figure out the gym situation, so the cast speed gym there. Yes. Mm-hmm. Smelt the stone. Oh, no, 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 yeah, cobblestone to make stone. Yeah, I've d I've done that. Yes, I've definitely done that before. Okay, I need to put this. Yeah, what the hell is this? Plus one life steal. That's crazy. But anyway, uh, what else? Oh yeah, chipped azurite. Good stuff. You can combine three chipped azurite to make a bigger azurite. Pretty sure. Let's go do that. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you smelt the cobblestone, you get a... Um, what do you call it? You get regular stone. I've made an entire fortress out of regular stone before. 
I'm not going to do that here, but uh, yeah. There we go. Chip Dazzer right. Bam. Yep, yep. I don't know about that part. I don't know what else it makes. These are augments. Jeez, I have 100 remaining augment capacity? If I have that much augment capacity, then I should probably see about doing increased chaos damage. And... Um, I guess this would be... Um, health regen, magic, more chaos damage. You can only have one of these. I'm pretty, yeah, you can only have one of these. I'm almost certain of it. Mana regen, energy regen. Hmm. Yeah, I think, um, I think we'll go with the magic shield augment. And we'll, we'll have a look there. Okay. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that right now. I'm busy trying to figure this out. So, first things first, we go to augments. Uh, it should be here. Yeah, talents. And then, it's not talents either. Jeez, I have four talent points at this juncture. What the hell am I going to do with it? The answer is chaos damage. Chaos uh, how much how much chaos damage can you do? Ch chaos penetration damage. Uh, over time penetration damage. That's pretty cool. Is it right next to maximum summons? Okay, suddenly I understand what I must do. Yes, I understand completely now. Okay, summon. Yeah, cause it's right there. I'm thinking. I'm not doing golems, no. But I uh, would like more summon damage. So, I'm thinking it's... What are these? Intelligence, jewel socket. That is another jewel socket if I want to grab it. Um, pretty sure I already did. Yeah, I already did. So that would be... What, one, two... Uh, three, four... And then it would get me over to summon damage and an additional summon. I think so. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for that. I'm, I'm going to go for that. And that, that will get me, uh, like, not only summon damage and summon health, but it would also get me chaos damage there. Yeah, chaos damage, chaos damage, chaos damage, chaos penetration, and more chaos damage. So I could get, I could basically double dip there. I could either go one, two over this way and get intelligence, intelligence. This is Curse Master. This is Curses. This is Cold Skill. Cold Penetration. I mean, uh, being able to get uh, more damage to cursed enemies is kind of nice. Contemplating how I want to deal with this. Uh, augment Capacity would be nice, I suppose. Hmm. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, plus 10 Augment Capacity right there. Uh, augment Effect. Hmm. Those are all curse durations there. Hmm. 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 Bell life steal is also really nice. You know what? I'm gonna run it across this way, just in case. Because running it up here, because it's either one two, it's sorry one two or one two, and I think running it across here will give me a uh, curse master if I want it later. So one two, and then. Three, four. And now, um, I can start working up into summon damage and get an extra summon. That'll be a seventh uh, zombie. Why not? But I can also go pick up some other stuff while I'm at it. In the meantime, however, that's not what I was... Oh, God, look at that. They're digging in. The bastards are trying to dig in here. Yeah. Damn. That's crazy. They managed to dig into my uh, base. Remember I was building this wall and I stopped right here? 
Madness. Oh, that's crazy. That's my base. Yeah, they were digging in. Oh, no, that's a wizard. Go, zombies. Attack. There he is. You drinking potions? Sipping. Sipping that, uh, that tea of damnation. All right. Seriously, though. We're going to have to build uh, something a little more sturdy pretty soon. Uh, specifically, more wall. You can see how uh, they can now get in. Thankfully, I can sleep right here and turn it to day. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have to put some cobble down there. That's crazy. Okay, let's build a uh, reverse... Yep. All right. Same deal here. Holy crap. Yeah, they were digging inside. There's my chests and everything. Yeah, this is scary. Oh, spider. There's a spider on the roof. Okay. Let's see about putting runes in this chest over here. That's where we're going to start doing. And the rest of it, we're just going to shove the runes in wherever they can... Or the other items in where they can go. Yes. <clears throat> no problem. Yeah, having the enemies break down the doors are kind of scary. J just a little scary, you know? Okay. Yep, everything goes. <clears throat> Alright, what am I doing next? I, yeah. Oh yeah, I was going to put in those, I was going to slot in those items, so. Uh, skills. And then, yes. So, Decree of Chaos Damage. Magic Shield. <clears throat> now we need to find uh, possibly a Summon Damage Gem. That would be best. I don't know if we can find such a thing, but it'd be nice if we could. I'm going to take all the runes and I'm going to put them in the upstairs. Where they belong... Okay. That'll do. We are slowly putting runes in their proper places. But more importantly, if we look at our skills there. We have 20 points left. I guess the chaos damage is fine. I was hoping for a summon damage gem. You know. Um, <clears throat> I don't see one that uh, can do that, unfortunately. Oh, well. Let's get going. First things first. It's a brand new day. Let's head on over to that lava flow. Where's our bucket? We need to find the bucket. I know I have it around here somewhere. No bucket here. Mm. I like Terraria's uh, soundtrack. Way more than I like Minecraft's, to be honest. Okay. Hmm. Gotta go down this way. Bucket! We got it. We're gonna be... We're gonna make some obsidian. Yes. We're gonna put lava in a bucket, because that will have no negative effects whatsoever. There's definitely... Ahem. I said I like. I didn't say it was better or worse. When it comes to taste and music, uh, anyone who says one type of music is objectively better than another, 
they are uh, talking about personal taste, and they're trying to apply it to, uh, you know, um, something that is almost inherently subjective. Okay, looks like we should have some obsidian, yes? Is that is that the obsidian? Uh, hope so. Let's find out. Yep. Hmm. Didn't that make obsidian? I could have sworn that it was lava plus um lava plus water. What's going on? Hmm. Water needs to go into lava. That is terrible. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. So, in other words, we take water and we dump it on top like that. And that turns the one thing. Okay. Cool. So, that makes sense. Yeah. And that's the obsidian. Which I don't think I can mine with this pick. No. No, that would break it. Okay, so I need a diamond pickaxe, don't I? Well, boy. That shouldn't be too hard. Let's uh, warp back over to our home and go get some diamonds. Yes. Mm-hmm. Pretty sure I got three diamonds to knock around. Two diamonds here, and I'm pretty sure there's some in the basement. Hmm. <clears throat> Moon in there. there. Hold on. Give me those emeralds. And those eyes of ender. Or ender pearl, I mean. Emeralds, thanks. Ender pearls, yes. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, still need to pick that up. Should be over here. Yes, four diamonds. I knew it. I knew I had enough. I have six. I could make two pickaxes. I just need one, though. God damn it. I'm going to need to spend a diamond every time I want to repair a diamond pickaxe. That's bonkers. It makes sense, but it's bonkers. Okay, let's grab the coal, the gold, the bars, the emeralds. Yes. Uh, what are my thought on Souls-like games? I'm not the biggest fan of Souls-like games, but Elden Ring was a game I played through twice vanilla and three times modded. That's like five playthroughs. So I obviously like it. Um, how do I put this? Uh, Dark Souls was, um, mm, let me see here. Um, like, uh, Dark Souls 1 was a really good game. I'd say I kind of prefer Demon Souls, but for weird reasons. Um, but people have a tendency to overestimate, like, sorry, underestimate how much of an RPG those games are in terms of, like, actual systems, right? You know, you do not have to be the two-handed, um, like, bonkening character who, who perfectly dodge rolls everything. You can do a, um, you know, a great shield build or a magic build and completely subvert what people consider to be Dark Souls gameplay. You know, the, the Dance Dance Revolution mechanic in most fights. The only uh, change comes in, like, DLC bosses where they get stupidly hard compared to the vanilla game. But, um... <clears throat> okay, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna time him out. He's, uh... He's, he's broken. I, I, I don't know why. I don't know why he's broken, but he's broken. Okay. So, moving along. Um, 
Yeah, we can put the gems in there. Yeah, Ice of Ender. Jeez, I have 58 emeralds so far. Um, what I'm trying to say is, like, people have a very rigid view of what makes, like, Souls games functionally their combat. Um, like, in Dark Souls, you can change, um, so much of the game that you can repair, uh, pick to repair each other. Well, barely. Like, assuming both bars are almost empty, then, uh, you barely repair anything at all. So, it's actually kind of a waste. Uh, let's see here. You're basically spending three diamonds to, uh, to repair, um, like a tiny, tiny bit of the bar, not even a full amount. Speaking of which, where the hell did I put those diamonds? There they are. Bam. I need sticks. Where did I put the sticks? I have lots of sticks somewhere. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, yeah. So. All I'm saying is that Souls games are way easier. And do not require uh, what um, Souls games are famous for. Which is... To, to be the uh, very best dodge roller there ever was and uh, have perfect timing and all that shit. They, like, with uh, with proper character builds, gear, and shit, you can, you can play however you want. There, there's, there's a huge amount of freedom in, uh, in Dark Souls and Elden Ring. But, um, let me see here. You can use the anvil to repair enchant diamonds, provided you put a, one diamond in here. Yeah. Yeah, provided you stuff a diamond in there. That, that's it. That's what I was saying earlier. Is you gotta spend a diamond to make it work. Okay. Diamond pickaxe. We got it. Surprise, there's no achievement for that. Ah, ah. Okay, really quick before we do anything else, we're going to hop back over to lava and uh, try it out. No. Yeah. Should be over here. Good, good, good. That should do it. That takes forever. Okay. So. Uh, you've gone from helpful hints to uh, backseat gaming, and I'm going to tell you to fuck right off. Uh, there you go. Anyway. Um... Let's see here. Do, do, do. Yeah, we just kind of move that over there. Anyway, you thought uh, that got permit? Nah, I gave him five minutes to think about his behavior. Helpful hints are great. I like helpful hints, and I like it when I ask for, like, advice. People give it, and that's awesome. But then there are people who get uh, a little too enthusiastic and want to tell you um, uh, how to play. Whoops, I may have broke... I broke it good. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. So... Let's do that. I'm trying to put lava in here. It's great. Hmm. We got an obsidian. I was being stupid. And, uh... Hey, Drowned. How you doing? Can the Drowned come out of the water? They don't seem to very much. You get to the cloud district very often. Um, yeah. Whoops. So it has to be on the uh, the core block. Yeah. 
That makes sense. And then I need to use the diamond pickaxe. Hello, Mr. Drowned. How you doing? Okay. But yeah, there's a... Uh... Oh. Let me see here. Good, good. We got it. Lava can't cut uh, steel. Oh, no. Hmm. Let's see here. I guess we'll just turn the whole thing into obsidian. Fuck it. We'll do it live. There we go. We did it. We made obsidian. We have a, a few spots there. We'll, we'll dig this one out and uh, grab it. Yes. Good. Wow, I couldn't even have that. That's sad. Uh, well. Um. Yep. Oh, no, I it counted. Good. A little confused there for a second. But, yeah. I need about... Eight. Um. Yeah, I was gonna say, I need eight total. I'm pretty sure I have two already. So I just need four. Because, yeah. Something like that. I'm pretty sure it's eight blocks total. You don't actually need to have a complete... Um... What do you call it? Um, you don't need to make a complete box. You only need to have... Uh, some, like... You only need to have the immediate blocks surrounding it. So, uh, two at the top, two on each side. Whoop. Two at the bottom. Yep. In any case, this is why we gathered up the things we did. We should be fine. Yep. Okay. We're almost there. Just a little bit more. I'm gonna grab this one and then I'm gonna have a look. Okay. Uh, we are. Oh, we have eleven obsidian blocks. Okay, fair enough. So we can just make a full circle for funsies, or make multiple uh, portals. What happens if you make a bed in the Nether? And then you sleep in it. You explode. I remember that for no particular reason. See, so yeah, I've got twelve. I can I can make a full box. That's awesome. Wait, what did I just kill? Whoops! Little zombie. Killed the little zombie. Should be fine. I think we're okay. Let's go to sleep in the lighthouse there and fight the drowned guys. Are you a hostile person or a friendly person? You are a witch. Hello. That was crazy. Yep. Don't know why you did that. But you did. Okay. Armor unemployed? What? Hello. Oh god, they're witches. You're a dirty liar. Did, did that witch transform another person into a witch? Or was it, uh... The, uh... Or was it a disguise? In which case, that's really terrible. Right? Like, I saw an armor unemployed, and suddenly lights shined around him, and he transformed, and just, uh, suddenly there was a witch there. Very strange. Okay. Well, anyway. I need to summon more minions. 
Go minions. Yes. Why is there drowned there? Very strange. Good. Not enough resources. Okay. We're fighting through the terrible night. The, oh, if only the sun would come. Uh, what are we doing? Whoop. This way. Yep. Good. My minions are doing a great job so far. We're collecting a fair amount of uh, copper tabs and things like that. No problem. Maybe a lot of bacon. Oh, e Enderman. Crazy. Yep. They are so angry. Okay. Well, let's go. We're getting out of here. Skeleton man. More spiders. Oh, hello. Those are creepers. Wasn't expecting creepers. The sun is rising. The sun is rising. Which means on the third day, we're gonna be encountering something completely different. Those uh, bat creatures from the sky. So I'm pretty sure it's been three days since we've slept, so uh, maybe it hasn't. Well, anyway, we're going to the lighthouse really quick. I'm gonna grab some things, fill up our inventory, come back to the base. Then we're gonna stuff the obsidian in a chest and we're gonna see what kind of quests we need to do. The uh, big deal. Yes. Oops. Yeah, it's not nighttime. There's a lot of sand in there. Okay. Ink glow sacks. Oh, a cracked opal. That's nice. Go to the top. Emeralds. Very important. Totem damage. That's a nice gem. What's this? More totem damage. That's very, very silly. Okay. We can turn off and on the lighthouse. That's very, very funny. Yeah, I don't see anything here, so we're gonna warp ourselves over. Mm-hmm. I haven't encountered phantoms since uh, I started sleeping more regularly. Originally, I wasn't sleeping at night. I was fighting at night, and so I encountered phantoms all the time. But I haven't encountered them since I started sleeping, so... Yeah, you, you may be thinking about maybe a later version of Minecraft. This is not current, if that's what you're wondering. Alright. Gotta figure this out. Good. String of plenty. Raw beef. Mm. Iron doors would probably help with the blood moon. The problem is they dig through the walls. Like, they may not destroy the doors per se, but uh, remember I had to seal this section open when they uh, started digging through the cobblestone? So the answer is to make an iron fortress. <laughs> They probably couldn't break the iron walls with their uh, bare hands, but you can see how that might be a little bit uh, problematic. Just a, just a teeny tiny bit. As far as like gathering goes. Wait, where did I put the souls? I put them, first of all, yeah. Put those gems in there. Then the souls over there. Sword souls. But no. 
seriously. Let's go check our quest journal. It'll be fun. So our uh, the the training arc is uh, like Act One. We haven't done any of the, this so. Uh, scouting reports rise in illager activity. Kill them. Hey, look, I did that. Isn't that great? Give me a gate pearl. Thank you. Okay, quest complete. Uh, the gateways to eternity. So, disturbances in the air. You found a zombie gateway. Got it. So, we should, uh... We should try uh, using the pearl to summon zombies to fight. Oh, wait. We already, we already killed them. So, give me a witch gateway instead. Yep. Got the talent point. Got the experience already. So, that's, that's fine. Uh, next up is... The types of... Uh, this is a lost page. Okay. So. Uh, they're just saying, hey... Uh, go get other types of weapons, please. Um, and then you can wield two-handed weapons. Not that I'm going to do that. Gear improvement, which is, uh, hey, um, the level of the gear determines power, rarity, uh, uncommon, rare, uh, epic, legendary, mythic, and unique. Got it. So you use these currencies to do that. And, uh, oh, a quiver. Quiver's kind of nice. What's this? A sharpening stone? Upgrades the item. Yeah, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Um, yep, yep. Gear improvement, and then you can just claim these items. Yep, and that's done. Favor! Favor is a system that rewards players for living. Every minute you generate a certain amount of favor. Favor is earned and passively caps at 250, but you can go to an upper limit of 1,000 by killing mobs and opening chests. At 250 plus favor, you will have 5% bonus to loot drops and legendary and mythic... Uh, Loot and mobs can start dropping and spawning. Uh, note that there are level requirements for that happening. Epic is 10, Legendary is 25, Mythic is 50. Be careful, though. Dying will cause you to lose 125 favor. It's actually 250 favor. Yeah. But I read it. I'll take the Orb of Infinity. Thanks. Okay. Uh, Ulta Miner, Efficiency, EXP. That's, that's fine. Oh, what's this? EXP Block. XP blocks are blocks that can be crafted in place. They let you store vanilla experience in the block. Cool. So, in other words, your uh, your enchanting levels, you can store those. That's pretty cool. So, how do we do that? Mm, shift right click. We'll add all your current experience. That's, that's good. So, let's just make an experience block and... Uh, shove it in the corner here. Now, let's see. How do we do that? EXP. Experience seafood. Oh, wow. Those are some. Explorer's compass. There's pottery shard. Hmm. Experience pump upgrade. Wow. Wow. Pumps experience between the tank and the player. What? That is hilarious. The tank. Nugget of experience. Block of experience. There we go. What do you, what, so we need nuggets of experience. That require... So a block of experience and nuggets... Aw. Oh. That's interesting. So, nuggets of experience make a block of experience, and vice versa. Hmm. Okay. Uh, bottle of enchanting. Experience itself. I like how I can't click on experience at all. I, I don't know what they're supposed to be going on about when it comes to that. Oh, my. Hmm. Yeah, it says XP, not experience. Okay, that explains everything. Yep, that's it right there. It just requires an emerald. And some cages. I, I, iron cages. I'm not doing that right now. 
but I understand it. So that's the important thing. Eat your damn food. Sorry. What was I saying? Ah, yes. Uh, more quests. Of course. It's not the one I was looking at because that one I'm not doing right now. Um, glow in the darkness, the underground. Got it. So, luminescent creatures called glow skeletons. Uh, ten gold coins. Nice. That's worth it. Uh, the hunt. Uh, let's see. It's time you hunt one of them. Kill one of every vanilla hostile monster. I don't know if I can do that. Hidden traitors, goblins, and kobolds. I see. So I need an emerald coin. In other words, I have two of those, technically, so... Um, I have to bring them the coin. Okay, fair enough. The Lost Pages, which are in the campaign quest line. There are various quests that have a different background shape. Indicate what kind of quest it is. So... Rounded corner is main quest. Circle is a side quest. Diamond is a mini boss. Octagon is a shop. Hexagon is an achievement. Lost pages have paper icon. Get a slice of cake, damn it. Cool. What's this? Uh, scourge. Why are the skeletons glowing in the first place? Uh, find a hermit abyss walker in the depths. I see. He has a 5% chance of dropping an Ode rune. And you get all kinds of stuff there. Hell. Even a talent point. But more importantly... Um, go back to the beginning here. Uh, yes. Kill three witches. Get a chemical X potion. Crazy. Yep. Uh, the scouts came back with another report. Large zombies. It's the work of witches. Find a witch. Yes, take her suspicious items. Got it. Mm-hmm. Let me see here. That's the chemical X. Hilarious. I have too much stuff. There we go. Good, good. Let's put those away. This gate pearl we never ended up using because we killed the uh, killed the witches in the overworld instead. Very funny. Quivers are nice. Like, if you're planning on using... Um, hold on. Let me see if I can wear a quiver or if it's something that will... Uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me drag this down. Mm-hmm. And... Belt. Okay, so I can I can wear a quiver after all. That's fine. Steve opening a chest. No, no, it's a centennial trophy, apparently. I got it while I was looting. Yep. Okay, more uh, more augment stones. That's fine. A zombie gateway. Cool X. What else? Gold, gold coin's nice, but really it should be... It should be going in my wallet. Yeah. My wallet is an item I'm wearing that uh, can handle those things. Sugar. Seagrass. Hooray. We are A-OK. -okay. So. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yes, the skill trees are fun. All, like, the Path of Exile skill trees are, are great. Like, the talents. I'm, uh, at present... Like, I've, I've already got my uh, minion boost where I get plus three additional summons. What I want to do is I want to go over here, get this intelligence node, go for summon damage, summon damage, summon damage, and then finally extra summon. I'm going to have more summons. Yeah. That's what I want. Okay, more importantly... We need to put most of the... Okay, where's the cracked opal go? Could be in that chest over there, yeah. Cracked opal. I'm looking at this. Okay, yeah, it looks like that's crit damage on weapons. So, um... Hmm. 
Well, you'll have to talk to the developers of, uh, what do you call it? Craft to Exile. And encourage them to include said mod in their mod pack. Because, uh, I probably won't be changing this, uh, loadout at all throughout the playthrough. Gonna be entirely whatever they, uh, filled it with. Ahem. <clears throat> all right. That hoodoo hat, we're gonna put that away up here in the corner. We need to start melting things down. There's no question about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab, wait, hold on. Um, I'm gonna equip myself again. And then I'm gonna grab these items specifically. I'm gonna put them in the, uh, what do you call it? Um, smithing table there, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, skitter bots are good. I agree. Um, hmm. That's the gear crafting state. Salvaging, yeah, we want to salvage. I have too much junk on me at the moment, so I need it all to get melted down. Yeah, heal strength. No thanks. Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. That meow. We go this way. Yes. Mm-hmm. My overall sound is quiet. Yeah, just about. Should be normal, for the most part. I can uh, move the microphone slightly closer, but I don't want it to redline. So I'm going to be super quiet. Okay. Um, Jeez. I'm just looking at the sheer number of, uh, the sheer amount of junk we've uh, gathered so far. I should eat that fish. That's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna eat that fish, but no, we gotta we gotta focus. We're almost done here. I uh, I need to look at my quests again. Whoops! I uh, commanded my skeleton or uh, my zombies to explode. There were no zombies summoned, so it's fine. Just like wait, I ordered them to blow up. So what you can do is you can summon, and then you can be like goodbye. It's a pretty effective technique. If you want to make explosions happen. Anyway. Uh, we also have, of course, Poison Bolt and Poison Field. Good stuff. But, uh... Pfft. Yes, exactly. You explode them and turn them... Like that. Well, there's no corpse left after you make them blow up, so... It's fine, really. Alright, so, backpack works, but... How do we, uh make it go to quiver instead let's i'm curious about that hold on uh options controls q quiver quiver is not bound so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go shift b instead and that's done yeah so if i do b it's backpack if i do shift b it's quiver um it's really strange okay Anyway, anyway, uh, quests, 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 quests. There we go. Okay, next up is an experiment gone wrong. Uh, let's see, the witch has been brewing up Chemical X. See what it does. Try tossing it onto a regular skeleton. Uh, you kill a mutant skeleton. I, those appear on Blood Moon, so. Uh, let's see, I get to do damage over time support, energy on hit, crit chance. Let's go with damage over time. And then, uh, yeah. So, interesting. It's, is it nighttime yet? I assume it's nighttime. Yeah, it's nighttime. So, if we had a regular skeleton, we could, like, splash the chemical X on it and turn it into a mutant skeleton. It'd be really funny. I'm just gonna go uh, nap really quick, because I'm not ready to fight. There are monsters nearby. Why are there monsters nearby? Yeah, I don't understand. What? What? How, how are there monsters nearby? That's it. I, I, I have a technique that I plan on using to um, get out of this. What I do is I place my bed underground where I'm further away from them. And in theory, 
we get to not fight. That's right. The monsters are still around. They're going to start burning any second now. There's a spider. Spiders don't burn. Yep. There's a, a zombie. Another zombie. There should be a... Yep. I was going to say. A couple more monsters out there. No big deal. Just some experience orb and some rotten meat. I don't care about any of that. Yeah, this church here is what we uh, built our base next to. Anyway. Uh, back over to the reward table. Yes. So. Uh, yep. Let's see. This is the explorer's compass. Uh, allows you to locate structures. Interesting. Nature's compass and explorer's compass. Ah, oh. so those those are interesting items. Warping around, warp stones. Yes, I've I've already, I've already uh, got the ability to warp, so it's no big deal. Uh, this one's pillaging. Pill uh, oh, sorry, paraglider, paragliding. Oh God, we can we can paraglide. Oh my my my, we get a heart container for that. Where how do I get a paraglider? I don't understand. Let's let's find out. Let's let's figure out how to get a paraglider. Hold on. Paraglider. It just requires a DQ leaf and wooden rods. No. Uh leather and wooden rods. How do we make wooden rods? Uh how? Uh, they they require sticks. Okay. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. I want a paraglider. I need to fly around like it's Breath of the Wild. But where's my leather? Hold on. I may not have any. I have four leather. I don't think that's enough. Um. No, it's enough. We just need uh, some sticks now. Yep. That's it. Just, uh. Yep. Wait. Is, is that what I think it is? So. Uh, wooden rods. Okay. So, wooden rod is, how do we forge it? Hmm. D yeah, dusk stick, lunar stick, it's just, just a regular stick. So what, what, what do you, what do I, how do I do that? How do I turn a stick? I got the stick right here. So the question is if we were to uh, uh, do that, and that should be yeah, right there. It'd be five sticks. Wooden rod might be an equivalent of a stick. I say, I say. So in other words, uh, one, two. Whoops. One, two, three, and then uh, was it was it the other way around? Damn, this is driving me nuts. Yeah, yeah, there it is. So. Let's try, uh, let's try and see what happens. Oh, yeah, paraglider, bam. Okay. <clears throat> Half a flight. Okay. Nice. So, as far as getting a paraglider slotted in, um, let me see here. Does it ta occupy your backpack slot or your belt slot? God damn it. Hmm. I'm confused. It doesn't sit here. It's got to occupy a different slot. Somewhere I just don't know. Uh, not the body slot. Um, ba -ba -ba. Damn it. It's going to drive me nuts. If it's a shield slot, nope. Hmm. Chest? Not that chest, though. It's got to be like this chest. No. It isn't it. Hmm. You can use it on your hot bar. Oh, yeah. 
That works. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it, it works. Okay. Sounds good to me. <clears throat> okay, dokie. Now, how do I climb like Breath of the Wild? That that pretty much uh, finishes it off then. Okay, let's move the paraglider over to the last slot. And then put the meat in here, yeah. That should do it. Hmm. So the real answer is to, uh, whoops, is to do that. Let me see. Hmm. Out of pure curiosity, I'll try slotting in there. No, it's cosmetic head. That's head. Uh, body. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. I thought it was right there. And it said no. Whoops. That's a charm at the bottom. Okay. Fire enough. Um, wait, where's my wallet? My wallet should be equipped as well. Down here. Cool. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is, this is pretty good then. Hold on. let's. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try this, and then I'm just going to teleport back to base afterward. Here we go. Oops. That, that, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. That just made me go crunch. There we go. That's nice. Yep. Perfect. This is normal. Yes. Normal. We're going to a village. <laughs> yeah, yes, indeed. No, no, no issues here. Okay. Hmm. It doesn't just stop when I right click or left click. So I have to actually land first. You could gl I can glide into caves. That's exactly what I was looking at. Was this idea that like there are uh, there are times when I want to go down into like a cave section. Now I can just glide there. That's uh, pretty awesome. All right, we're just gonna like snap back over there because that was stupid. Um. That yeah, that was pretty nice. Okay, let's uh, see what we got here. Okay, we did the uh, paragliding, and we get a heart container, of course. Um, yep, it uh, increases your health by uh, up to a hundred, like by two, up to a hundred times. Yes, so that's that's fine. Let's uh, use that heart container. There we go. Two extra health. Now, more importantly. Let's see what's next. What's this? Potions from the alchemy profession can provide you benefits. Uh, let's see. Alternatively, if you're not into these professions, you can buy them from traders. Brew uncommon potion using spiritual meat, uncommon stone, wheat, tomato, copper coin. Okay, so there's a reason to have tomatoes. And it still costs you money regardless. But, uh, yeah, if we were to brew potions... I'm, I'm not doing that right now, but spiritual meat. So we just uh, kill animals, get spiritual meat, yes. That is uh, pretty much it, yep. Okay. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. What's this? Investigation. You've confirmed the witches were brewing potions with Chemical X in the overworld. However, there must be something uh, they've collected been brewing. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, scout out what they're up to. Uh, find pillagers and vanilla pillager outposts. 
Uh, I already did that. I, I killed the pillagers. So I finished that step already. Which means the mastermind... Wait, what's this? Uh, spread prevention. Got it. So we can kill uh, provokers, marauders, and bashers. And then we get a loot chest that contains gear. Rare gear specifically if we wanted to. Mm-hmm. And what's this? This is the advisor. So kill an illusioner. So if we did go kill some illagers, uh, we would probably get access to this stuff. Yeah. Um, right. Time to bring the fight to them. I've already done that before. So let's let's look at the uh, the mastermind then. Ra raiding party. Advisors, sorcerers. Yeah. The mastermind. Here we go. Mm -hmm. So we have to kill an evoker somewhere. Uh, track down the evoker. Uh, they can be found in woodland mansions. Um, gateway of the raiders. They've always spawned at level 15. The evoker has resistance and owed runes. Two talent points for doing that as well as a crown. And some rewards. Yeah, so if I want to go to chapter two, I'm going to have to do that. Yep. Okay, so let's... Let's leave here as soon as I finish uh, equipping my stuff. Um, yeah, so we put on... Wait, what's this ring? That's skill damage and magic find. Yeah, equip that immediately. Thank you. More importantly, glimmering ponce. Uh, yes, equip the ponce. Um, interesting. Uh, click that, drag it up. So body, uh, looks like there's no way to hide the pants item. Like if I wanted to toggle the visibility off. Um, I got, I can equip the pants there, but it's going to be on your character no matter what, which is unfortunate. Uh, there we go. But yeah, those, those are important gear pieces. I just wish I could toggle their visibility like I can the backpack. What a shame. Um, I was going to say, what's with that other ring not slotting in? There we go. Unless it's... No, it's slotted in, all right. Hmm. I have no idea, then. Very strange. Oh, well. Let's put away... The extra items, I suppose. More importantly... We need to go find the pillagers. So, we're gonna go... To the top. Actually, it's nighttime. We're gonna go sleep... Then we're going to come out and do this real quick. So, take a nap. Good morning, it says. Very good. Uh, before we do anything else, let's have a look at what we uh, cooked. Where did I put those? Okay. I don't need the copper... Sorry, the, the, the uh, diamond axe right now. So, I'm going to... Leave that in my inventory. Put the bow up here for now. Sticks, fish, doesn't matter. What I actually want is the, uh, the uh, yeah, the stone hoe. As much as I wanted uh, to use the wooden one because it was amazing, the wooden one is kind of busted it, using debug code or whatever. Uh, these are, yes, onions. Very good. So point is, rather than eating the onions ourselves, we're going to plant them. That's good. Now we're going to do the same thing with these. Tomahatos. No problem. We need more tomahatos total. So it should be fine. We just need to... I guess I don't have seeds for these right now. What a shame. Oh well. Um, let me see. The lettuce is important. We can probably just grow a whole thing of lettuce on, on this side. Because we have the seeds for it. Yeah, the, the lettuce seeds kind of just are very accessible. There we go. And now we'll fill the rest of this with tomato. 
That should be fine. Carrots, potatoes, all kinds of things. So before we do anything else, let's eat. So we're not hungry forevermore. Good. Now, potatoes. No big deal. Just uh, something that needed to happen. We'll put those in the food section. But uh, we're actually eating baked potatoes right now. That's uh, our main food source. It's very silly. But, uh, yeah. Cabbage and carrots. We'll end up putting the food away soon, but no big deal. Plenty of carrots. Okay, that should do it over there. That's rice. Oh, my. Oh, nice. The uh, stone, uh, stone hoe has been upgraded to rare which means it has a higher resource drop chance. That's pretty good. It's funny how you don't need to repair it when you're uh, using it to harvest. Very silly. Anyway, the rice will grow up pretty well without us having to do basically anything. We're earning a fair amount of farming experience, so, you know, I'm quite happy about this. Good. Now we go over here and repeat the process. Farming! Uh, my The stone hoe is now at 44. More importantly, my farming skill has increased uh, significantly. Hmm. Let's see, I could plant some cabbage. That'd be funny. But no, 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 we're gonna keep this up. Yep. That did not properly get uh, placed. What a shame. Yeah. No problem. Okay. Stone Ho is now level 47. Incredible. Yeah, that'll be enough food to see me through whatever I need to do for the foreseeable future. Cool. It opens up. I will need other types of food sooner rather than later, but uh, we'll go to... Um, we'll go uh, somewhere else for that. Damn, like my om almost my entire inventory is full of food. That's great. Let's put the food uh, here. Uh, yeah, we don't need to worry about the paraglider. Damn it. I didn't mean to toss it there. Perfect. That's all the food we needed, and we'll take all the seeds and stuff them in the hopper. Yep. Wait, not these seeds. The Yeah, actually, cabbage seeds as well. Yeah, fuck it. Cabbage seeds. Yep. That's great. Okay. Knowledge of TVs. Barely. I, I'm afraid I'm not an expert. You'll definitely want to talk to someone else about that. But, um... What do you call it? Uh, I want to say about seven years ago, I had knowledge on TVs. Woefully out of date. Is, is how I would uh, phrase it. Yeah. Uh, I said nice cave. That's the idea. It's right connected to the church. We just, uh, we built this right on the back of the church. This little necropolis. And we got a lower level here. And then we got a smaller lower level here. And it just goes all the way down into the, uh, the d darkness below. Where the uh, monsters are scary. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, first things first. We gotta go put a couple gems away. Uh, gems are in this one, aren't they? Yeah, there we go. Check my backpack. Backpack's good. Is there anything else we need to do right now? I think the answer is no. I think the answer is we're ready to go. We're ready to travel. We, we farmed quite well. 
Hmm. Oh, yeah, we're going to check out. I think it was the Illagers we wanted to fight. So, how close is it to nightfall? No, it's it's midday. It's fine. Mm -hmm. So, we go over here. The Illagers should be, like, up in this corner here. And the closest place we have to getting there is uh, probably... Um, yeah, we're actually going to disable those waypoints since we don't need lava anymore. But, uh, yeah, the lighthouse as well. And so, it's yeah, it's, it's uh, Far Tower. That is where we're going. Bam. So, in Far Tower, we're going to proceed to go over. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me look at this real quick. Should be a treasure chest up here. I knew it. Give me a sec. I'm taking everything and bringing it back to base because... This is going to annoy the hell out of me if I don't do that. Yeah. These are all, like, good treasure items that I... I did not fully loot the tower. And I'm going to be annoyed. Uh, horse armor. Jeez. Uh, that's, that's scary. Yeah. <laughs> horse armor. Uh, yes, yes. Okay. That is all the loot. So now we can uh, really quick. Um, oops. Good. Just gonna say, put everything away. Yeah, we're gonna travel from Far Tower as soon as we finish uh, dealing with some shenanigans. This one is a level 16 staff, which is added cold damage. Nope, that's not for us. Um, Seraphim boots. Okay. Chiseled stone brick. Nice. We're gonna go ahead and put one of those right here. Yep. It's chiseled. It's fancy. That's all it needs to be. It just needs to be fancy. But no, no. Uh, wheat goes in there. Uh, raw iron. I think we'll cook the iron. Come to think of it, put the coal here, iron there, and it's cooking. Same exact process to cook iron. It's very, very silly. Um, I'm actually going to put these in this chest. Is that position? Oh, boy. Is there anything else we need? Uh, gems. Gems go in this uh, chest over here. There it is. Gym crystals. Yes. Put away the rest of it. Mm -hmm. A lot of people get obsessed with uh, what I call it, RuneScape. I um, I have never played it. Not really inclined to at the moment. I understand why people would be. Anyway, let me uh, see here. More gems, yes. Put lapis in there as well. And then, the, yeah, more, more support gems. Raw copper goes in here. And the rest of it, we're just going to dump into my, um, oh, nice, a cooked pork chop. We'll eat that soon. There's only two of it, so we'll finish that off sooner rather than later. Okay. Uh, the hoppers got placed. Should be fine. Got it. Let's go. It was fun because it was free, you said? Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. So, we are ready to go. Ahem. <clears throat> We are going to sleep right now to advance it today, and then we're going to go to the tower. And yep, cool. Yep, we're going to the tower. So, mm hmm. Hmm. Gotta love how Mr. Mackey is considered a URL by the, uh, 
uh, by the bot. That's funny. All right. Uh, far Tower. Yeah. We're going to Far Tower. And we're going to use that. We're going to go over and try to knock over a pillager's base. That's our, one of our current missions. Is to go deal with uh, a pillager. Yep. Lol. Yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So... Um... It's not that it's pay to win. It's that you have to pay a subscription fee to be able to play it. And, uh, you know, it, it was a good waste of time for a lot of people back in the day. Before it became uh, uh, very, very business oriented. Which is funny because, like, they are trying to get people interested in their uh, in RuneScape 3, at least they have been for years, and uh, they kind of gave up on that, and they've been trying to turn RuneScape Classics slowly into RuneScape 3 by altering it bit by bit. Anyone who's played RuneScape for a long, long time kind of knows that's true, whether they want to admit it or not. I don't have to, like, I've, I've never played it, but I've seen enough uh, about it to know that's the case. They were basically a, a little, uh, they were a little irritated that people weren't, um, ahem, playing their latest, yes. Anyway, we gotta go. We gotta go southeast and then up and over. Kind of want to just go through the water. I'm gonna try. Wait, that's where the portal was. Oh, suddenly it makes sense. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. You said they're not shifting old school RuneScape over to it. They're going the opposite direction. Uh, when it comes to design. I mean, in terms of, like, monetization and shit, um, everything I've seen points to the uh, idea that uh, they're very, very salty that, uh, you know, people weren't playing uh, RuneScape 3. That's interesting. So, uh, what are they doing with the design, then? Um... Because, uh, that contradicts what I've, uh, seen. We need to eat. Mm-hmm. Did the company is one of the mo worst managed companies you've seen? That's funny. There's bays here. Okay, let's, uh... Whoa. There's my summon zombie. Why is he here now? Crazy. It's crazy that you can get farming EXP this quickly. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, this is my axe. I need to repair it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Bears! Bears! I detonated the zombie. That's right. Incredible original content. Hmm. I see. Okay. Fair enough then. You said uh, RuneScape Three is more casual with every update. Oh, okay. What about the monetization, though? That's uh, more what I was talking about. Looks like there's a whole cluster of monsters here. Don't know what's going on in this section. Uh, this area's got to be full of monsters. Um, 
What is this? This tree. Yes. Mm hmm. What is this? It's a big flower. There's some terracotta here. Oh, jeez. What is down there? I can't see it. And of course I don't have torches. I have nine sticks. If I can get some coal, I can make torches. Interesting. That area, like this is a giant tree with some sort of uh, bee content. Oh, nice. Wait, no, I didn't want to kill that. I wanted to kill the skeleton. Mm hmm. Okay. Everyone's going to have a different opinion about what makes uh, an MMO the best for them. Okay. <clears throat> Shapeless. We should be fine. Is that a mushroom biome? What the hell? That is an underground mushroom biome with skeletons. I don't I don't want to fight that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Mm All your real life friends play RuneScape, but you falling out of it? Ah, uh, okay. I, um, uh, yeah, let me see. They removed the wilderness in RuneScape 3? Huh. That's, uh, that sounds like something major to remove that you probably wouldn't do unless there was something very wrong with it or they were incredibly stupid. Okay. Moo? Milk. Okay. We milked a cow. Incredible. Mm -hmm. Did they remove it 10 years ago? Added it back. Made it PvP optional. Added new content there instead. Interesting. Mm-hmm. People were complaining about being led into the wilderness by PvP scammers. I mean, isn't that a rite of passage in, like, every MMO that has, uh, PvP areas, though? Like, um... In fact, a Japanese cartoon... Um, dot hack made that like one of their principal things was uh, the, the main character Haseo um, like trusted these random people and they went and they killed them right off the bat and uh, that was like the whole uh, that was the cr like the start of his character arc and why he ended up uh, focusing so much on uh, PvP content. Okay, cool. We found an area next to the Illager Stronghold. We uh, A waystone. We can teleport here whenever we want. Yep. Yeah, right. And you said um, it's run by a skeleton crew? I believe that. But, yeah. I heard there were some uh, pretty major problems with it. <clears throat> we are uh, playing uh, Craft to Exile. It's uh, Path of Exile, but Minecraft. So, um, you yeah, know, you end up with uh, Path of Exile level decision-making processes. So, boy, 
Don't don't you don't you wanna don't don't you wanna be able to navigate the skill tree and pick the proper talents to have the optimal character? It's 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 good stuff, really. Yes. Ah, uh, illagers. Wait, my zombies went over and killed them. Of course they did. But um, yeah, this is supposed to be one of their strongholds, so I was hoping. Well, damn. Quite what I was looking for. Okay. Let me say here. Oh, I got a tome off them. How nice. What's in the tome? Oh, it's a magic, uh, 46 magic shield? That's pretty nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, um... I'm really in the midst of enjoying Final Fantasy XIV. So I don't see myself hopping off that train anytime soon. I really don't. I'm uh, slightly very obsessed with it at the moment. Okay. Could have sworn there are pillagers spawning here. Oh, there he is. Okay. That's a dead pillager. Uh, cracked ruby. Nice. And an ominous banner. Can I uh, can I equip the ominous banner? I, I, is it possible to have like a banner equipped? Nope, 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 nope. I tried all of the slots. It does like the banner does not fit here. So the real question is, mm, what's the uh? Um, is it R? R, requirements. Okay, so. This banner, um, requires a stick and some wool. But what about the ominous banner? That's what I wanted to know. Hmm. There's some more zombies. I don't see any more pillagers around here. Yeah, I see some dead guys. Zombies. But, uh... Yeah, my zombies are going out and killing spiders. Oh, there's a pillager. Huh. My goodness. Well, I mean, Path of Exile 2 looks like it's actually going to be harder than Path of Exile 1. It looks like they are fo they are changing the way the game works to make it kind of more focused on, um, you know, action as uh, specifically player input action as opposed to uh, player skill combination. They're also doing things like making it so that bosses regenerate their health between attempts. So, uh, you know, you don't end up with, you, you know... There are a lot of, uh, I wouldn't say that it's necessarily better. I'd say that it's different. And I think I'm going to enjoy it a lot, but I think other people are going to be a little put off by the differences. And that's why if they do decide to keep, uh, you know, classic running, um, then, uh, that'd be a good thing. Okay. Damn spiders. See, I don't see any pillagers whatsoever. As far as I like camp compounds go. Muter, what the hell is that? It bites? What is that? I don't understand. Like, why does it bite? What, 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 what bites? What are they talking about? Anyway, I'll put some stuff away so I can... Grab some fish. Good. We're out of here. 
Hmm. There's lots of fish to gather. Not what I was looking for, though. We should probably cook these fish and call it a day. Ah, ah that's fine. Mm hmm. Yep. He said uh, hardcore PoE changers, uh, players. I've never, uh, well, I, I take it back. I've, uh, I played, uh, hardcore a little bit, a tiny bit. I just leveled up. That's great. Um, but yeah, I, I, I played hardcore a tiny bit and, um, like, I kind of hit a point now where if I have to restart because I died, well, I, I'm, I'm going to be going and playing other games instead. That's, that's just the reality of it. Like, I, I am not a uh, dedicated player. I am a uh, seasonal player at best. As in every three or four leagues, I hop on and commit to that league, and then I move on to the next thing. And, uh, you know, then I come back three or four leagues later... I mean, I have done a whole ton of things, but, uh, yeah, you said, uh, if you played the game for long, uh, that long permadeath mode is the only way for it to be fun. I don't know. I, I enjoy the progression of, uh, of the standard game. I just don't do it all the time, you know? That was a zombie riding an evil chocobo. It was crazy. Now it's a zombie riding a spider. This is madness. Yep. Crazy. What are we doing? We aren't over encumbered yet. Whoa. Yes. Dead people everywhere. There's pillagers. But they're just standard pillagers. They're not the uh, kind I'm looking for, the invokers and whatnot. So I, I've got they've got to be somewhere else. Yeah. Hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, you want to play for trading? Yeah, and you don't want to die due to lag, yes. That is funny, but yes. I have the standard 2, 2B near Automata hideout. You know that one. So obviously I pay Path of Exile for all the right reasons. Damn it, I didn't mean to kill him. Aw, indeed. Okay. We got an Enderman. Enderman! Got him. What's this sign say? This is the settlement, right? He's basically saying, hey, there's a settlement that many blocks off in that direction. Ah, uh, uh, not doing that. Okay. Let's go explore some new areas. We gotta go find pillagers somewhere. Uh, Stellar Blade, uh, uh, Girl Butt Game is made by the artist that did, uh, Blade and Soul. Uh, other people actually said that it, it, it shares some staff from, uh, Goddess of Victory Nikkei, you know, the, the, the mobile game where you, where the girl shoots the gun and her, uh, her butt is displayed to the camera. The, 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 uh, the gotcha mobile game. Yeah. Yep, yep. Do, 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 do. Quite silly. Okay. Let's go kill some fish. Okay. Yeah, we're getting nothing out of this. It's really funny. We're getting achievements for catching fish. Is that how you catch fish? No, that that is that is not fishing. 
It's not fishing at all. Yep. But uh, here we are. Okay. Mm-hmm. Anyway. I don't actually have any problems with Bayonetta or... Um, what do you call it? Uh, Near Automata and such. But... Um, I just wanted to know if the game was good. And nobody get, can give me a, a proper answer. Some people said it's like, uh, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, what is that damn game? Um, not Hell Divers. It's other other thing. Uh, Dark Dark Siders. Yeah, it's it's like Dark Siders uh, three. Apparently, that's what people told me. And I was like, really? Doesn't look like it. But, um, yeah, that's what people told me. Basically, nobody's actively, um, n nobody can play it right now because it's just a demo, so. there, It's all just guesswork, you know? <clears throat> Okay. Let's go. I guess we just got to keep exploring some more until we find... I mean, there's a city over there. There's a, a, like a Cherry Grove town down there. I guess we should head back toward... Uh, like go down to the southern area. I don't want to go out in one direction forever. If I can avoid it. Whoop. How many fish have you caught? A lukewarm ocean. If there's a lukewarm ocean, that means it's getting... Um, it's uh, currents from uh, like the equator instead of a uh, polar area. That's why the, like in California, their beaches are freezing cold and you go to um, Florida and their, their beaches uh, are warm because the, the water is coming from a different source and carries that temperature with it. Okay, so I don't even have to do anything. It just automatically, tr like the, uh, the glider automatically triggers if you have the glider in your active slot. Like, I can just jump, and it'll auto-glide like that. Kind of interesting. Okay. Yeah, exactly. You're asking, was, was Darksiders 3 good? That's a very good question. I don't have an answer for you on that one, because I've never played it. I enjoyed one a lot, and I don't remember three very much, despite I'm pretty sure having played it. But not having a memory of a thing isn't a good or a bad sign for me. It just means that uh, it's been a long time, and um, nothing really... Uh, it's not that nothing caught my attention, it's that nothing... Uh, was persistent in my memory for, for a minute. In other words, I didn't... Uh, I didn't think about it a whole lot after playing it, which happens from time to time. There's a castle up there. That's crazy. You know, I'll play something, really enjoy it, and then I won't think about it for a while, and I'll forget about it. That's just normal. Hmm. I saw, I saw some tin down there. Is that, it's like, is that surface diamonds? It's like, no, that's azurine. No. Okay, this is such a weird place. Like, the way it's a layered city and there's a castle on top. I mean, we can probably nab a whole ton of useful items from this town. It's just I'd rather find a waypoint. Hmm. 
Okay, interesting rug. That is a crafty bench. That is a stove. That is supposed to be a clock. Doesn't look right. That is a... That's supposed to be a big bed, but it's actually white carpet and red carpet. That's really funny. Yeah. How do you create non-functional things that look like functional things? Congratulations, video game. You created a worthless house for me. I don't know. Bake more potatoes, kiddo. That is... An oak beehive. Huh. That is funny. Up, up, and away. Is Lego trying their best to make a comeback? Uh, gear soul helmet. Cool. Grabbing more potions. Give me the spiritual fish. Um, yes. Spiritual fish. Those are necessary. Oh, an Ita rune. How nice. Those are great. Orb of imbalance. I'll take it. What was the uh, Fortnite uh, Minecraft thing? Was that an official partnership with Lego or was that their own thing? Okay. Well, as long as a man didn't fall in the li uh, river near Lego City, we should all be fine. Uh, what's this? Oh, wow. Gear Soul. That's an item frame. We can put anything in there. A Mos Rune, of course. Lesser Puffer. No, it's fine. Dungeons and Dragons set. That's That's comedy right there. Yeah, that is uh, very funny. Anyway. Right about 10 hours. Isn't too bad. Gotta figure this out. Oh, another treasure chest. How nice. Uh, raid? What do you mean, raid? Uh, it says raid. What does that mean? I'll take that jewel, I guess. Huh. Yeah, when I enter this area, it says raid. Is this town being raided? Hmm, it's only up there. It's only up at the top. There's no way to get there. Hmm. Where is it? It says there's a raid. I'm confused. People are walking back and forth, jumping up and down. But that doesn't mean anything. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I need to get down there. To the other side. I can see a ray, an, a, a single NPC. Two of them now. Okay, so they're, they're over here. <clears throat> yes, I'm, I'm on my way. Is that the bay? Was that, was that the target? Was it, was it uh, because, because, because? Um, <clears throat> I don't see it. Yep. Yeah. With waves of mob spawns. Okay. I see some baits here. 
That's nothing. But those were doors. They're, they're not doors. Hmm. I just, I just got hit by something. What did I get hit by? He's hiding there. Mr. Leather Worker. I don't need leather, I need cloth. Wait. Oh, shit. Okay, that's that's a bigger deal than I thought it'd be. Damn. I'm an architect? What? Eat the damn carp. Okay. They dug out the bottom of that house. Huh. Damn. That was a, uh, something special. Okay. Apparently. Oh, there's the pillagers. What a place for them to be. The harvest moon. It's a damn shame. The raid is almost gone now. I found and eliminated one of the uh, chief suspects there. This book is awful. Get out. Mm hmm. Okay. So, where are the rest of them? They obviously weren't up at the top. There's a watchtower over there. I should probably go... There are several watchtowers. Is this just Edoras? You know, uh, for, for those uh, less cultured, is this Whiterun? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Eh. Unemployed. Let me see here. Starfield worth playing? I enjoyed it. Um, but it's like, it's not worth playing for the story. Not really. It's got good, um, whatchamacallit. Um, uh, what do you call it? It's got, it's got decently fun game mechanics for me. The problem is, like, that's all very subjective, right? So I tell you, it's fun for me, and then people are like, it's the most boring shit ever. Like, I wasn't the most boring shit ever, but I like open-world exploration games, so, you know. There's always this the ever-present issue of personal taste. I just recommend uh, either doing the... Um, doing the games pass to try to like quote unquote rent it or better yet just um uh or you know buy it on steam and then refund it before two hours are up if you really just don't like it you know are the factions any good they're forgettable very very forgettable um uh, well oh, hold on Like, are their quest lines any fun? They were fun for me. But, like, are the factions themselves interesting? Not really. Like, there, there's a cowboy faction, for example, but they're, they're, it's very surface level. Like, there, there is absolutely nothing uh, compelling about them after you've uh, done their quest line, you know? Was it kind of fun to play Space, Space Cowboy a little bit? Yeah. But, uh, um, you know, that's because I thought their quest lines were kind of decent. Um, yeah, I haven't found any of the pillagers. I was. Crap, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. Hey, pillager. Okay, two raiders remaining. I survived. Uh-huh. 
Do the factions affect the endings? It's, uh, think Fallout 3. You know the way, uh, there, or, or Fallout New Vegas, the way there's a little title card at the end that goes, Oh, the, the thing, um, I think the people did the thing, and it had an impact on this person's life as witnessed here. And then you, you can see them doing it, you know? Right, that's it. So. But. Boop. Oh, it's a big skeleton. Hello, Mr. Big Skeleton. Uh, I'd like to summon my zombies. And my detonate them. Boom. Whoop. Hello. We got a um, big skeleton defeated. I have no shields. I'm actually out of shield right now. That's kind of scary. Get out of here, white wool. Mm. Oh, God. Okay. More importantly, I do not need the pumpkins. I don't need the chickens. I don't need any of this. So, the raid's gone. No, there's one raider left. One raider left? Yes. I'm gonna go ahead uh, and put a bunch of stuff away in here. Keep these uh, two good items out, but like the fish and the fruit and the feathers. Those can all go. Yes. Okay, let me grab the stuff that was on the ground here. Yep. That's good. We grabbed all the stuff, so. Uh, you played Starfield. Uh, meet the game as a space pirate. Lol. Yes. Correct. Any thoughts on the Cowboy Bebop anime? It's very interesting. Cowboy Bebop is actually not um, not very popular in Japan. I, I liked it personally. But it is, like, not very popular. So Japanese people, like, wonder why Americans make so many memes and references to Cowboy Bebop. They're like... Uh, they, they don't understand why uh, oh, why uh, people outside of Japan even give a shit about it at all, you know? It's it's really funny. But, uh, no, it, it's good. Cowboy Bebop is fun. I think that it's a little silly at times. Where it's essentially a bunch of, uh, what do you call it, uh, a bunch of people, like, uh, sorry, a group of people kind of being, um, oh god, it's happening, make it die, the creeper's dead, good, oh god, I'm hit by something, make it stop, make it stop, drink the milk, I drink the milk, I am safe, but these rose bushes, they are full of thorns. It turns out if you go through rose bushes, they're going to hurt you. They're going to make you sad. Yep. Okay, we got we got this uh, Enderman to kill. If you look directly at him. Yep. They get very angry at you. For looking at them. Yes. They are supposed to be horror creatures. Huh. I'm looking around and I don't see that last bandit. There's supposed to be one raider left in the village somewhere. And uh, I haven't seen hide nor hair of him. Mm-hmm. You remember liked Faye? Well, yeah, she's a broken lady. That's like, she's trying desperately to put together um, uh, you know her life and understand things and at the end of the at the end of the series it's handed to her which i feel is uh kind of cheating you know like it, it just like a cassette was mailed to her and i didn't appreciate that at all i felt like it it really cut out the chance for personal growth that they could have had 
Like, I, I, Cowboy Bebop is definitely flawed, but I enjoyed it. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, I need to figure out how to... Um, let me see here. It's not, it's not the controls. It's something else. Dimension. Cave mode. Map switch. There's got to be a button I can hold to kind of uh, toggle NPC names. I know it was there somewhere. I, I've seen it before. Um, I'm just being very silly about remembering what which uh, toggle it was. Hmm. Not alt. It's not control. It's not shift. Uh, tab. Oh, it's it's tab. Okay. So, unemployed sheep. There's still one raider left, okay? So it's somewhere in here. Creeper, zombie, skeleton. It should be a raider of some kind. Some pillager. I'm just, uh, you know, unable to find him because that would be, you know, it'd be useful to be able to find him. So, mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Butcher, butcher, unemployed, zombie. Skeleton, angry creeper. Might be up there. Might be up on the northern end. Yeah. I should harvest more pumpkins. Uh huh. Okay. Nope. I do not see it. Oh, hello. I'll take that iron ore, thanks. I'll watch that iron ore fall to its to, to the ground. Thanks. Hmm. Okay, good news, everybody. I know the Harvest Moon set, but, uh... Like, it still says there's one raider left, and I think the game's a dirty liar. Hmm. I'm gonna fly over here and see what happens. Zombie fell from a high place. What a shame. Okay. Nope. I like how I can see all the way to the edge. Oh, it's up there. It's up there. I see it. It's to the it's to the north. It's right over there. Yep. It's up this way. Yeah. Pillager. I just flew over it. It's in this building. Yep. The zombies are here. Um, he should be in this building. Yeah. He should be in here. Upstairs. Got him! We did it! Wait. That was just a wave? Never heard of Cube World. Hate to say. I need to finish putting things away. There we go. That's better. That's much better. Stack everything up. Get rid of it. I need, uh, coal. Good. So, there are more pillagers, I take it. Hey, does anyone remember Dream World? 
<laughs> well, and, and uh, like, uh, I think Callum Upton went and made Nightmare World, which was a uh, a perfect version of the game. Um. Bye. Yep. That was a scam, yes. It was great because, uh... He, like, the guy who was making it had no idea how to make games. All he could do is buy asset packs and, uh, sloppily implement them. Alright. So we have to find the other raiders. Um, let's see. Pillagers this way. Got it. God, I, I don't think I could do this without the map. I'm just saying. It helps to have a map. Uh, you, sir, who are you? Commoner Alchemist. Crazy. And that guy up there? Doesn't look like it. Swift Alchemist. That's an uncommon Swift Alchemist. Uh-huh. Okay. The VR Bitcoin Island, you say? Yeah, I don't know about that guy. I'm just going to kill everybody. All the villagers. All the raiders. Everybody. Okay. Yep. Good enough. We should be there. Witch! Bull! Bull! Damn. Crazy. Arr. Sounds like me. Okay. Who else is around? The raid is filling up again. Who is it? Where is it? Zombie. Unemployed. Creeper. Yeah, the raid is still filling up. So this is very strange. Hmm. Zombie, zombie. The zombies aren't the cause of the raid, though. So it's kind of interesting to be like, okay, well, where are the raid targets? Um... Unemployed, zombie, skeleton chicken, experience orb, emerald. What a shame I missed those things. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, let's let's go ahead and uh, head on down, shall we? There we go. Okay. I see the I see them right there. There they are. All they're all down there. Yeah, I just need to. That, yep, that's all of them. We just got to get down there. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, God, I can't see. I've been affected by the curse. By Dracula's curse. Uh, what? Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Good thing he made noises to indicate who he was. I certainly wouldn't have known. World of Illusion. That's an achievement I just got. Welcome to die. Good. I may have blown up all my minions in order to detonate these guys. Okay. Oh damn, that hurt. My health is low. Like extremely, extremely low. 
The fact that guy has shields and everything, that's uh, pretty amazing, actually. I find it very impressive. There's a bandit inside that house. Damn. Someone's uh, slurping some juice. Mr. Illusionist. I don't know where the rest of them are. I know my health has regenerated nicely, though. Is that... That's just a diamond pickaxe. The game just said, hey... You want a diamond pickaxe? I'm like, okay, fine. Uh, that, that is A-OK. -okay. Uh, now I would like to drink some, uh, some sippy cup juice here. Let's, uh, have some of that. Yes. Uh, where is the bandit? He's inside here, isn't he? Yep, I see him with his shields. I just have to find the entrance. There it is. Okay, two raiders are remaining. Where are they? Uh, creeper. Zombie, zombie. Couldn't be the zombies. C could not be the zombies. Uh, let's look anyway. Fuck it. Um, no. If there are two raiders remaining, I, I don't know. Yeah, they're my, fr they're my friendly zombies. That means somewhere unemployed, unemployed, uh, Marauder down here. Okay. About face to the edge. Damn right. Give me your emeralds. Your, your chaosing gemeralds. Yes. There is one raider remaining. Somewhere around here. There, yeah, those are my zombies. The illusionary dust, I'd like to get my hands on some more of that, if possible. So I'm gonna dive down there, yeah. But, um... Yeah, what could it be? There's a spider, a skeleton, creeper. I'm wondering if they're not, like, over here. Like, on the other side of town gonna be annoying if they are i don't think they have what it takes to get to the top but i would like to kill this skeleton creeper it did okay creeper unemployed leather worker yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. we just we just got to keep going i think up and around we got we gotta just climb the tower Where is this? There's some EXP orbs and some magical gems. Yes, I'll take those. It kind of leads up and into this guy's house, which I'm going to use pumpkins to climb because I feel like pumpkins are the, uh, the premier method of travel by adventurers. Okay. Yes. Good enough. Um, now, from here, weaponsmith, leather worker, got to be down here somewhere. I'm looking for him. I'm hunting him down. There's only one raider left. Nyamo. What? Not even. Hmm. From here, this is the other entrance. Chicken, sheep. Yeah, there's no one down at the bottom. It's got to be to the north. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my glider out. And I'm going... Your nose bleed. I, I, that has happened to me. It has definitely happened to me uh, a fair few times. Okay, I don't think it's to the north. I'm going to, like, zoom over to the north real quick. Have a look. No, I don't I don't see a marauder over there. I think that it may be, like, on the outer, uh, the outskirts of it. So, um, it could be anywhere. Is it crazy and fun? 
Yes. But I mean, uh, when you look at your talent tree and you figure out the options that you have, like, uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go over here. I need to travel up, and I'm going to pick plus two, uh, sorry, uh, m plus one intelligence. Yes. There you go. Uh, this isn't really a mod list so much as it's a uh, craft to exile. Yes. Unemployed, 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 peasant. There's squids down there. No, it's, it's got it's got to be somewhere in this area. So, we'll go check it out. Mm-hmm. Nothing. I'm going to make one more around about the city, and then I'm going to give up. Actually, this is too far out. There aren't any... There are no spawns out here. It's like, the raid is only happening over here, specifically. So, we got to make a roundabout and look for them. Hmm. Let me see here. I need to eat something. Give me a sec. Bam. Good. This is where I was before, where I fought most of them. So I'm going to check the outskirts in this area and see if it, uh... Like, if the raid is happening out here. Because if it is, that would go well to explain why I couldn't find it. Mm-hmm. So that Daggerfall have an unrealistic lack of the homeless? What are you talking about? There are people outside who, like, live outside. They're, like, beggars and shit. Who are, uh, just kind of out there. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Unrealistic, though? Couldn't say. Couldn't say. Uh, chicken, dog, raccoon, chicken, chicken, donkey. At least from what I saw, they were homeless. But, uh, there are also people that tend to loiter in taverns a lot. I don't know. <clears throat> bup, 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 bup. Okay. I may have to give up on this raid if they really just don't appear. Because uh, it's nighttime and the monsters are going to start coming out. And I can't just sit on the map menu looking for them. Like, I look over here. And chicken. Zo yeah, there's, there's zombies inside of the base there. Mm hmm. No, none in the city of Daggerfall? Okay, fair enough. But I mean, King Lysandus' ghosts kill everybody, right? I, I mean... Vengeance! And that that's it for you. Okay. I'm gonna sleep here to force the monsters to go away. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna go over this way. One. I'm. I'm gonna, actually. I'm gonna go up. Uh, and in. Otherwise, like I'm gonna climb to the ramparts, jump off, and give up. Cause uh, I've seen no evidence. That's some pretty cool magma bricks, though. Hmm. Zombie, unemployed, armor smith. Nope. I don't... Oh, wait. A witch. Down south. I see it. I see it. It's this way. I, I know where it is. It is this way. So we go around. Okay. I see a witch. The only humanoid enemy that I see around here. So, it's got to be... Is it inside the house? Creeper, creeper, zombie witch. It's, it's this way. Is it underneath? Is it like a cave section? Like right underneath us? Huh. Zombie witch. Look inside the house real quick. 
Oh, a mistake. That it might be inside the house. Be crazy if it is. It's down here below. In the deep below. Let's try this. What is that? That's just a grass block. Okay. Uh, zombie, zombie. The witch is over this way. Through here and to the left. Uh, give me my shovel, you bastards. Where's my shovel? Do not have it. I must have put it away by accident. Because, yeah. The witch is, like, right behind me. I don't think it's down here in this section. Hmm. Ah, oh, I was right. Mr. Zombie! Okay, so there are multiple zombies. I think the witch is in the middle here. Yeah. Or not. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Hmm. The witch is now over this way. Like up and around. Above us. I think it is actually up on top of the cliff. And not underneath. Oh, hello. I got him. The witch is defeated. Did we... Is the witch not the raider? Really? Okay, then. I'm giving up. So I don't see where the raider could possibly be. Like, I see some unemployed people. Weaponsmith. Yeah, those are all normal guys, right? Unemployed. Leather worker. Okay, fair enough. We got a lot of good loot. I'm glad we did this. But, uh... Yes. Yep, yep. Okay. Mm, they... They didn't just let you build a house anywhere. Um, You were the last raider all along. I mean, I'll, I'll let you in on a little secret. Like, if we, uh, um, what would you call it? Um, you know, we, we, we've got, uh, yes. Yeah, yes, we were. Oh, jeez. Okay. You know what? This area is terrible. I hate it already. Um, I need to go back. Where's the nearest waystone? Up there. Ha! 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 Uh, that's funny. We're going to this little village in the corner there. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to that place. I'm hoping the tower has, say, uh, a waystone. I mean, I can just teleport freely, assuming neither of those towers have a waystone, but... Yeah, you know... I'd, I'd like to, for the most part, stick to, like, mapping out locations. There's a chocobo, by the way. There it is. Way. It's a common chocobo. There he is! Oh, God! Pillager man, pillager man. Get out here, zombies. Pillagers. This is a pillager fortress. That's what this is. I thought, oh boy, I'm going to get a waystone. It's going to be lovely. Uh, Kalasamar. Cal okay. Uh, let's climb this. Yeah. Uh, right. Oh God! That was a uh, gate master, and I may have killed him by accident. There's there's pillagers here. I mean, 
Come on, why is the gatekeeper working with the pillagers? The answer is he probably isn't, but uh, he was there, and it was annoying. So he ended up dying. It's unfortunate, but true. Okay. Oh, there are a fair number of pillagers we've been... Oh, there's a big one. Got him. You're next. Who else? Okay, those are just chickens. For a second, I thought I saw a black chocobo. And I thought, oh god, is there a red chocobo in this game? That was my original thought. Only people who've uh, played enough Baja will know the truth. Okay, good news, everybody. I'm going to need to uh, put some junk away here. No big deal. I'll have to come back through and deal with things. But, uh, uh, what do you call it? I, I did the uh, the shenanigan here. Uh, can you ride the chocobos? I think you gotta get like a saddle for them or something. Uh, but yeah, I was gonna pull open a thing here. Hold on. So um, I currently have um, oops. There we go. Uh. My current uh, adventurer plate says, um, <clears throat> it says, uh, do you get to the bother, uh, the Bajan Southern Front very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Um, you know, perfectly normal stuff. No, it took years, but I earned my way to the top. Uh, there you are! Bastard! Got him. They're all dropping hammers and stuff. Like, these guys are, uh, loot pinatas, I guess. But, uh,. I don't see any pillars. I'm gonna go check out the other area up north. Cause, uh, well actually I take it back. This this area goes further up than I think, thought, I suspect anyway. I think I missed the uh, the top there. Yeah, I missed the, the area. Whoa, hello. Who's shooting at me? You. Give me your gemeralds. No, just a treasure chest. I mean, it's a good treasure chest. Oh. Oh, jeez. They do not like their loot being taken. I think that's everybody. Nope. Village Dur of Evasion. How is he still alive? Well, he's evading. Yep. Okay. Let's go back in. Let's have a look up there. Probably gonna get attacked on all sides by pillagers as I head up here. But that's neither here nor there. I love those palladium chunks. What are these? Tripwire hooks. Interesting. I'll take the iron ingot. Yep, they hate me. They really want me dead, but there are no pillars here. So... It just seems like a whole ton of pillagers. If I go over here to quests... Looks like I have actually killed a pillager already. Yep. I got a uh, slime gateway. Crazy. Yeah, I killed one of the Inquisitioners. That's pretty nice. So, yep, right there. Got a, got a reward coffer and everything. That's good stuff. Um, I should put more points into intelligence. There we go. Uh, let's 
see here. Nope. Still, uh... Yeah, summon damage, summon damage, summon damage, and then maximum summons. That's what we're going for. Yep. So, just a perfectly normal talent tree. Uh, hello, hello. Okay. Let me see. Yep. But, yeah. Whoop. I need, I need zombies. Go zombies. Go zombies. Good. More. We good? We got them all? Okay. You assume the Romans would whine about it? Uh, actually, the um, uh, they had uh, a, a social service known as the Grain Dole. And... Um, Basically, it's what kept all the homeless alive in Rome. Because, like, there'd be mass starvation without the grain dole. It, 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 was, it was like they were handing out food in Rome. Yeah. I hear something out there. Well, I don't care. Get rid of the wheat seeds. Hmm. Yes. Good. I hear something out there. I'm going to go in that house and sleep because it's getting dark. And I don't want to end up in a bad spot. Oh, God. There are monsters nearby. Why? You! Okay. We are able to sleep. Good. Good morning. Mm-hmm. So... We're going to run away from these guys considering they... Uh, I'm not finding who I'm looking for. <clears throat> Common Crow. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving along. Trying to see what's up here. Aha! We got it. We got a waystone. Awesome. That is a name waystone. So it's um uh, let's go. Edit waypoint. Uh way uh, towers uh north of pillage. Good. That should do it. Let's go ahead and uh that's TP. Tower north of pillage. Good. Now we can go back to our base, which is like over here. Do, do, do. Good. And uh, yeah, we're in the meadow. That's the region. Meadow. More importantly, we really need to start putting stuff away. We are uh, over encumbered with cool items like freeze duration, freeze chance. And a bunch of runes. Good. Um, ore goes in this chest. Sorry. Uh, else. Yes. Do it. Souls. Souls. There should be a gemstone. That slots in. Yeah, it's lightning resistance. Don't care too much about these, like, passive gems. But, uh. Okay, let's go over here real quick. Should be the salvaging station. You can see how all these items need to be salvaged. Uh, yes. Here. There. Okay. Ominous banner. We can't salvage that, can we? Well, I put it in there anyway. These uh, hammers, on the other hand, absolutely. Crossbow is doesn't have a soul. Damn. No, well, this one does. So, yep. This is just an enchanted crossbow of unbreaking. Terrible. That's awful. Um. 
Yeah, same thing with the shields. I was hoping these would have souls and could be properly done, but no. They're all bad. Okay. Let's watch that disappear. And my salvaging skill is now 16. Excellent. As it should be. Now and forever. I hear monsters down in the depths that want to kill me. I assume they're, like, in that area. This this area is the connector to the caves. Okay. Let's grab... Should, yeah, souls can go in there. Open those. That should just about do it. I just need to put everything away that won't go away for the moment. Let's open this cache. I want to see what's inside. Yeah. Cracked emeralds. Cracked garnets, topaz. Okay, so it's uh, different gems for the gem slots. Got it. I've got one of those. So... Be over here. Yeah, there we go. That's better. All right, let's get everything out of our uh, backpack because we got more stuff in the backpack. Oh. Hmm. Then we got to go back over to where we were. Nobody owns this book. What? Uh, okay. Yeah. This is a pain no matter how you swing it. Okay. Um, plants, gemstones. Yeah, these are augment gems. That's fine. Is that a cracked ruby? Cracked ruby. Okay. Everything else can just go in the chests downstairs. We'll figure things out as we go. What do you mean we're hungry again? Food. Now, this is just celestial produce. Right. Let's just put everything away for now. Yes. And that should be everything from our backpack, except the diamond pickaxe, which... This one has silk touch. Allows fragile blocks to be gathered. Oh, shoot. Okay, never mind. That was the good diamond pickaxe we got. So let's put the other diamond pickaxe in the tool section. Yeah, I mean, getting that uh, special obsidian is going to be nice. So first thing, let's put that down there. The tool, yeah, the tool section's up there. Cool. What else we need to do? Is there anything else? Uh, I need torches. I need, tor I need, uh, I need torches. Coal is what I need. Coal. It'd be around here somewhere. Actually, it's probably up above. Uh, there's coal. Got it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, well... There, there are a lot of people out there who unthinkingly say something like, those, those homeless people are lazy and they should get a job. Um, yeah, it is very possible to spiral out of uh, being able to get a job if you can't present yourself well and or you have mental problems. There, there, are, there are some serious issues that can uh, cause someone to be put into a position where getting a job isn't an option. And, uh, you know, it's there's, there's no easy way to deal with it, especially for a politician. Politicians don't, don't, uh, don't want to get their hands dirty with an issue they can't completely clean up. If they could solve it just to the snap of their fingers without any bureaucracy or chance of it backfiring, they would because they'd want to be able to campaign on it next year or next, uh, you know, section. But, uh, yeah. You tried to apply a farming job? 
Oof. Oof. Okay, what are we doing here? I'm gonna grab some uh, beetroot seeds. We're gonna plant those. Um, what else? Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not celestial produce. That's not what we need. need to figure out exactly what else. Lesser root is fine. Yeah, let's put those seeds. Um, Get those planted. Just these beetroot seeds real quick. We have a spot for them. Yep. There we go. Those will grow the beetroots. No problem. More importantly, I've got a bunch of coal right now. And I'm going to put yeah, 64 units of coal in there. Mm -hmm. Chaos orbs. Well, nothing's called the same thing, right? You have... Uh, you have your uh, spiritual sharpening stone, which upgrades the quality. You have your orb of imbalance, which changes the affix orb of qu uh, quality, which uh, will upgrade the quality of an item. And then, you know, of course, you got the orb of infinity, which uh, will increase the level of the item. But there's more. There's more than that. Yes. Um... Hmm. Yeah, just gonna put all the coal here for now. And I got 36 torches, so that's fine. I do need to fix this axe real quick. I need to use stone to do that, actually. Cobblestone. Should be right over here. Cobblestone. Got it. Did I take this cobblestone? If I remember correctly, yeah, we should go over here. Um. And then we put the axe here. And you'll notice that um, that is the uh, uh, vamp uh, tie. Uh, yep. And then we push this in here, and that uh, repairs it. Yes. So. Okay. Um, there we go. So this is va vamp tie. And that is the magic axe. What else? Uh, we don't need to worry about this iron pickaxe right now. We've got a diamond pickaxe with silk touch as uh, like backup. Um, I guess that's it. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I can't touch on that. That's beyond the scope and scale of what I can uh, properly comment on. All right. Let me see here. Again, I have to use a light touch for light. Oh, map rarity upgrade orb. Yes, this upgrades maps with better rarities. You, you know maps in the Path of Exile game. Ah, ah, they're here too. Okay, I think that's it. I just need to go gra gather some food real quick. High, higher grade food than this. I'd say I was gonna do baked potato. Oh, like I've been uh, like out of uh, baked potatoes. So let's let's cook some carrots for fun. How about that? Do some cooked carrots. Yes. Again, no matter uh, what you have to say on that point, what you, how you want to continue it, I, I cannot comment. Okay, we can't cook the carrots. Yes. Um. I mean, there are uh, servers you can play on for this. Like, if you're you're talking about like putting hundreds of hours into this, like you can play with other people. Sixty-four breads. Good. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're going to put the map rarity orb in with the other orbs over here. There it is. Okay, let's have a look-see at our different quests. This is the other one, the advisor. Cool. Get that chest. Get that Enderman gateway. Cool. Um, what else we got? Okay, so that's it. We've got the Illager 1, Illager 2. So we'll just have to find the advisor. Track down the evoker put an end to his evil plans. You've been told they are found in woodland mansions. 
Uh, but apparently they can be forced through a gateway of the Raiders. How do we get a gateway of the Raiders anyway? Uh, that's a weird question. Yep, yep, yep. Seems I like this mod. Um, have you seen my previous streams? <laughs> like this is uh, this is several um, streams in. Oh boy, at least two. Okay, we have to figure out where the mastermind is. Supposedly, woodland uh, mansions is is what they're saying. Hmm. Let's open this coffer and see what's inside. Oh, it's runes. Nice. Eta moss. Eta moss. I don't have a good base to build a rune word with, though. That's the unfortunate thing. Like, if even if I wanted to build a rune word, I just don't have the uh, thing for it. So I'm grumbling about that. Okay, let's. Okay. So, whoops, I got the nose rune. The nose rune in there. Good. That should be good enough, though. Um, where'd the gemstone go? I'm being stupid, and I'm like. It's got to be over here in the corner. I don't know, then. Hmm. Let's go take a nap real quick. I assume it's going to be uh, nighttime. Yep. Good morning. So we go to the roof. And we immediately travel back over to the north of Pillage. Yes. We're looking for woodland mansions somewhere. This is the top of the pillar. A name tag. You too can name your animal. Precise skill bow. I'll take that. Thanks. I haven't looked at the treasure chests in this tower yet, so it's going to be fun. Uh, stat soul. Yep, that's good. Cracked ruby. Mm -hmm. Let's see. An iron hoe with... Uh, that's efficiency three. Okay, fair enough. That's, that's, my, uh, that's mine from now on. I'm going to be using that. Cooked pork chop. Neat. When we get hungry, we'll uh, snack on this cooked pork chop real quick. Anything else? Let's see. Raw iron is good. Stat soul is good. Hammer we can break down is good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Damn it. Okay. Couple raw pork chops, no big deal. Yes. Correct. Igloos were temporary housing. That's true. That is absolutely true. I'm gonna check out this area next. Yeah, that, that tower is kind of interesting. There's also a pillager base to the south of that. Mm-hmm. And Penguin Wars was such a fun game. This is a cherry... Okay, this isn't a normal forest. It's a cherry grove. We have to go further to get into the forest. Past the cherry grove. Fine. Yeah, oh, it's a small cherry grove. Okay. A little confused there. Wait, what's in here? There's so many caves. It's so fun to just go explore, but... I'm trying to achieve a sort of goal here before I have to nope out soon. And by nope out, I don't mean give up because I'm I'm crazy. I'm a crazy person, right? Um. Okay. Uh, that looks like a well in the middle of nowhere. That is a well. Very well designed. A well of well wishes awaits you in the crypt of decay. What? I want to see what this is. Is this a mansion? No. I remember on... Um, that's a nether portal that's been knocked onto its side. But um, no, I was going to say that um, 
I remember in the other game, uh, in the other one I was doing, RL Craft, demons rise up from this, like, areas like this. It's crazy. Yeah, zombie just noped out. Okay, that's fine. Uh, stone, stone, stones. Golden carrots. Flint and steel. Stat soul. A golden knife that is unbreaking. It lacks a soul. What a shame. Hmm, that is a, a dodge helmet. Okay. RL Craft, too painful to play. I just turned off the items drop on death. And I, I just straight up uh, enjoyed it. Yep. Okay, this is Crying Obsidian. It says my... Yeah, my my, uh, my diamond pickaxe with silk touch can grab the Crying Obsidian. Takes a moment, though. Yep. Who is cutting onions? What? Oh, crying obsidian, right, 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 right. Bad joke. Got it. Where's my pork chop? There's my pork chop. Yeah, we don't need the stone hoe anymore. Even though it's been upgraded massively. Mm-hmm. Items drop on death uh, ruins your fun every time you ever play with it anymore. Strongly disincentivizes exploration. Yes. Either that or like you massively overcompensate by having like duplicate sets of gear. And that isn't fun for me. Uh, whoop. Yeah. I'm glad I got burned. Think of all the things we learned for the people who are still alive. Okay, let's see if we can grab this without uh, it instantly being destroyed. I want to know. Actually, hold on. No. We'll grab this one without it instantly being destroyed. For various reasons. I'm going to do a test on that one. Yep. Oh, jeez. You kidding me? This pick isn't capable of it? Oh, there we go. This pick is. Okay. I'm about to use the wrong pick. A pain wall to have two sets of fully enchanted gear? Yes, exactly. Nope. That, it just, it just goes away. So we have to, we have to put dirt. I'm going to grab that dirt from earlier. And we're just going to do this. I don't care if we're losing lava. We can get lava in other places. So, fine. That's good. Okay, now I can mine it. Give yeah, me the crying obsidian. I'm glad I tested before I did that. Very important. You can get all the lava you want in the nether. Yes. Yes, indeed. Nether rack. No, thanks. Yeah, the nether... Setting up a nether base was really fun. Do, do, do. Gonna make a respawn anchor with Crying Obsidian. Don't know anything about it. I just saw Crying Obsidian look cool. That's all. Crying Obsidian didn't exist when I played. Sorry. Like, respawn anchor? What's that? Okay. Uh huh. You farm only nether food in the nether. Yep. That's pretty funny. Okay. Magma block. Yeah, it's an emu. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Hold on. Yeah. I just gotta dig. Dig some dirt. The dwarf fortress liquids can travel diagonally? Yes. But the only thing that pisses me off consistently about dwarf fortress 
is actually the, um, what do you call it? Um, um, oh, it's another version of a bed. Yeah, because normal beds explode. I got it. Um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah. Um, the only thing I, um, the only thing about Dwarf Fortress that really pisses me off is the verticality and my inability to see well, you know, uh, see things vertically, uh, like above me or below me, especially above me. It, uh, the original version of the game is terrible at that. Steam made it better. But the original version of the game is just atrocious in Dwarf Fortress when it comes to seeing abo uh, above you. Like, figuring out what's happening up. Okay. I consider playing Dwarf Fortress on stream. I haven't played Dwarf Fortress in a long time. Many aspects of the game have changed. I was playing on an old free version. Anyway, as soon as I finish grabbing this, uh, what would I call it, obsidian here, we'll move on. Yep. Would I play Caves of Quid? Mm, I'm not really enthused to right now, mainly because, you know, it's early access. Did it ever officially, quote-unquote, come out? It took me quite some time to pick up uh, Bannerlord after it came out. So I'm just saying, like, uh, it's one of those cases of uh, I've got so many other things I'd like to play right now. <laughs> okay. I don't see any forest mansions yet, but I'm going to wander around a bit more. This forest doesn't seem to have generated any. Hell, that's a like, couple mushroom blocks over there. Yeah, that's just a big gravel mountain. Let's go north. Yep. Still early access? Oh, it's old growth pine. Okay. That explains what that is. Yeah. But no. Hmm. Okay. Let me see here. I miss very obvious things. That's how my mind works. Very obvious pattern recognitions get completely lost on me. Bushland. Bushland isn't what I need. Is that's there's a swamp yeah, there's bush over there, swamp over there. Okay. We gotta go this way. It's nighttime. The monsters are coming out. This is not great. Rocky jungle. Hell. Well, I've got all my zombies out now, at least. Um I just need to keep digging uh, more forests. Oh, right, there. Okay, that's jungle over there. Yeah, bushland there. F forest is down south. That's that's what we need to do. We need to go down south. There, <laughs> there's also a lot of enemies. Oh, there's a witch over there too. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going south. Our goal specifically. Explosions. No thanks. There's a creeper. My zombies are all jumping off like crazy. Okay. Damn. Got hit with something. I'm gonna ignore it and keep going. Kill that creeper. These are caverns. Don't care to be in them. I'm just using this to cut across. Mm hmm. Baldur's hate. Assume you meant gate. 
<laughs> what? Imagine, like, you, you said, but, like, the way you phrased it, Baldur's Hate playthrough, it sounded a lot like, like, a, like a hate playthrough, you know? Like, uh, you, you're just playing through it because you hate it, you know? Like, you, you don't actually like the game. It's a hate playthrough. Hmm. Let me see here. Mm-hmm. Weird. Um, let me see here. Someone's a crazy person, I see. Auto carrot, yes. Hate field. Well, boy, I'm running. I ran from that uh, creeper that was crazy. Baldur's Fate. Baldur's Date. I mean, honestly, isn't Baldur's Gate 3 more Baldur's Date than anything else? That, that's the, the great meme. It's funny how some people looked at the marketing material and said, that's the bear sex game. Um, my goodness. Um, let me say here. Mm hmm. Right. Watch out. Oh, crap. Thing was scary. Yep. Yes, it, it, it's, it was comical to see how people react to that. That game is not okay, people shout. Oh, God. I have my zombies here, but this is still very painful. Whoop. Okay. Whoop. Creeper. My best. There's another creeper over there. I'm going for it. I'm hunting it. But it's dead. Uh, okay, we gotta loop back around. How, how are we doing on inventory? We're gonna dump everything into our backpack and get going. Hell yeah, level 28. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. You know what's funny though? Uh, like, it's a very optional thing. Do you, does anyone remember the incest game? Uh, the, 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 the memes about that. Because, like, it turns out, like, uh, I looked into it, and it, like, that is, like, a bad story arc that, that, like, they warn you this is a bad idea before it goes horribly bad. Like, it, it turns out the, the rest of that game has absolutely, is just completely different. It's, uh, like, what what became famous for the quote-unquote incest game uh, um, uh, here on, uh, on on the internets. It turns out that, um, like, like everyone was outraged about it, right? They showed the, 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 like, the, the two characters, the two stylized characters facing each other. No, it wasn't Shower, Shower With Your Dad. Shower With Your Dad Simulator was actually a hilarious game. It, that was, that was a comical game. No, no, it was like the coffin of something or other. And it had like yeah, it was it was um it had like one uh ending where that like it would uh it it did not portray it in a positive light. But uh, everyone just kind of kept memeing that and uh as a result the lady who made it kind of got driven off the internet. You're a terrible person for making this material. Even though she, uh... It, it, it's hilarious because apparently, like, it really, uh, was a bad, um... Um... Like, it was apparently a bad ending. You know? You had to actively choose, and the game kind of went out of its way to tell you that this was bad. That's what I'm told, and that's what, like, from what I've been able to look at or uh, see on the internets that's uh that's how it was yep it's just that people here uh, people were referring to it as the incest game and as a result they kind of just latched onto that and uh 
It's the same thing with Baldur's Gate, and it's like one marketing thing where it showed the guy sleeping with a uh, druid, you, you know, who had, uh, um, you know, a transformed druid. It's like, uh, yeah, everyone wants player choice and tell, exactly. But I mean, Baldur's Gate did that marketing push, mm. and it's hilarious. Yep. Let me see. Mm hmm. What the hell are you talking about, Smitty? Okay. I'm talking about an artist who made a video game. Yes. Not a performer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Going up. Slowly, bit by bit. Okay, we're back into the forest again. We're getting attacked by all the things. Okay, this is the forest. So if we can find a forest mansion, that would be best. We can fight some pillagers. And find the leader of the pillagers. That's our goal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, the current drama is people uh, who still to this day believe that uh, Baldur's Gate 3 uh, revolves around bear sex. It's very funny. Damn skeletons. Okay. This way. Uh, he hello there. An archaeologist. He want he will give you emeralds for bones. Uh, he'll give you rotten planks for emeralds. That's so strange. This is an archaeologist guy in a tent. A big old tent. Oh no. More importantly, oh, that's a decorated pot. We should be uh, putting that back down here. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, pillagers! Pillagers! We got them! We killed the archivists! The pillager archivists are dead. I'm pretty sure that was what we had to do. I mean, you can absolutely, positively not interact with um, any of the adult, quote unquote, adult content in uh, Baldur's Gate 3. Like the, the, uh, well, I hear a horn. It's over this way. Um. Uh-oh. I hear the creeper. Is that a creeper? That's a creeper riding a spider. That was frightening. That was terrifying. Okay. There's a raid going on here, so I'm going to very carefully put all the medallions I've collected away. Along with the obsidian and the hammer. And the bow. And then just, uh, yeah. Let me see here. At most, you'll be flirted at, and you can turn them down, and yes, exactly. That's a skunk. There's supposed to be a raid here. I don't see it. I'm looking. Mm, Enderman, zombie... P pillagers are down here. They're down that area. I see. They're around the pit. Yep. Do the skunks spray you? I don't know. I'm not interacting with them right now, lol. Yep. Hmm, hold on. 
Are all the characters functionally bisexual? That, okay, so let me explain how Bethesda games works and this and uh, Baldur's Gate works the same way by extension the characters are what is referred to as um, Player sexual What I think it's lagging Look at that That is hilarious Yeah. This is exactly how Bethesda games work as well. You know, compare that to Fallout New Vegas where nobody is player sexual. Okay. Pillagers up there. Yeah, it's got to be up there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that music was the uh, opening. Uh, what the hell? What is that? Oh, that's just, just someone's broken weapon. Okay. Yep, yep. Okay. Mm Did you know that in Fable, it is objectively less evil to kill your spouse than it is to divorce them. Uh, you're a completionist and uh, sitting through a romance is agonizing. That's funny. I hate to say it, but I'm uh, I'm definitely not a completionist. I will play things well beyond what anyone considers reasonable. I, I will play them for like the longest amounts of time you could ever imagine, but and, uh, that is not because I want to complete everything in them. Yes. It's because uh, I'm generally having fun. That's, that's a sign I'm enjoying myself. Is going at like a slug's pace. And it's kind of funny. Um, like, I will very often not um, end that there, yes. You said a lot of bi people believe everyone is bi in real life. Uh, that's, that's, not, that's not true. Um, if anything, uh, bi people tend to get the, um, the you are selfish treatment. Um, like, how to put this? Very often, uh, gay people resent bi people. And I've, uh, it's not, not a, not a great time. Yes. Anyway. With video games, uh, oh. Hmm. People tell you that explicitly? Yeah. You're, you're talking to crazy people. Unhinged people. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. I don't see any more raiders here, so I'm just going to give up. I think I killed the target, though. Let's see if we actually killed the target. No, we did not. Uh, the, the invoker is still around somewhere. We have to find a woodland mansion. Or an orb that summons raiders. One of the two. What's this? Blue skies. Journal assist newcomers. Ever bright. Ever bright portal. Turquoise bricks. Ever dawn. I see. Oh. Nothing in general right now. Weird. Mm hmm. Yes. Okay. I'm looking around. I see Endermen and other creatures in the caves, but uh, I say we just head back over to the center, and if we don't see them once we've he head... Uh, wait, wait, where's the arch archaeologist? It's this way. Okay. 
Good enough. We'll go over to the archaeologist, look from there, and if we don't see anybody, we'll give up. Yep. Plus, we need to eat. So, what do we eat? Uh, I guess we just eat more bread. That's fine. Yep. Uh-huh. Wait. Okay. Okay. B B No, I, I don't see any more. I think I've I've thoroughly exterminated them and if they exist then they're just in my way. So uh we're going to dive like we're gonna check out the rest of the forest, but um I'm gonna have to start going in a different direction soon. I think we should check out these forests uh presently. So we're gonna try to find another uh what do you call it? Um yeah, we're going to go down in this direction, uh, s southeast. And um, on our way down there, we're going to look for certain things. So, mm hmm. Okay. Radio. Southwest. Southwest. We got it. Mm hmm. You scared of blood. I have frequent nosebleeds, especially during uh, Tasmanian Devils. Tasmanian Devils! I hate you. Okay. Uh, should be fine. There's an airship there. Let's go see if it's in the damn airship. How about that? I don't, I don't think, like, I don't know what's in the airship. It's up there. It's got a ladder. Don't you want to go to the airship? It's in the snowy region, not the forest. I see. Mm-hmm. When you are an anime character. Uh -huh, that that's funny, but no, it uh, has more to do with uh, the nose drying out. Got to apply uh, a fun little spritzer. Whoop. Excuse me. How, how even? Dirt. Get out of here, books. Yes. Mom said it's my turn to go to the airship. Okay. There we go. Find a small blimp. Sky high. Find a small blimp. This is fine. Oh, I see a castle down there. That looks interesting. Almost there. A small blimp. Can't wait. Press the button. Come inside. Damn. Looks pretty nice. Let's, oh, hold on. That is redstone, it looks like. Oh. That's just the small blimp? What's... Oh, up here. Okay. Huh. Oh, this is dark. Fuck! Oh, jeez. So it's uh, full of zombies. That's great. Let's 
Time for torches. Hmm. There's a spawner. Put a torch over the spawner. There we go. That is a skeleton spawner. Interesting. There are more. I hear skeletons. They are... Come on. Whoa, what the hell is that? It's frightening. Okay. That's a fair few items, I think. Not necessarily, yeah. Some iron there. Looks like we got 37 iron from that one little spot. This iron helmet lacks a soul. That's unfortunate, but uh, understandable. Hmm. There is stone, a bunch of redstone capacitors. That is a trap. Oh. I see. Go and kill. Go and kill. I uh, can detonate them with my R button. The C button summons a skeleton, and the R button detonates the skeleton. Or the, the zombie, I mean. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Treasure! More iron. Very good. This is precisely what I wanted. Orb of imbalance would be nice to have. Goodbye, paper. At low orb of imbalance. Hmm. Those are melon seeds. That is exactly what we needed. We definitely needed those melons. Okay. One and two. Beetroot seeds as well. We could definitely have more of those. Goodbye, maggot. Hello, beetroot seeds. And that should do it. Yes. Hmm. What are you talking about? Getting uh, our hands on those melons means we can uh, we can produce uh, melon seeds, which will in turn allow us to be able to make more um, what you might call it um, alchemy, alchemy foods, go, go, foods alchemy, all good stuff. That that spawner just exploded. That was funny. We gotta go up. What is this? Traps. What's this? Redstone lamps. Don't redstone lamps not count toward normal lights as far as, like, redstone torches, monsters can still spawn in the light of a redstone torch, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> yeah, we already went up there. Let's see... This is an airship we're in. Mm hmm. Yep, yep. What did you do? Hmm. I did nothing. Smooth quartz. <clears throat> I don't see anything over here that... Yeah, I, I don't see any reason we'd want to collect this. 
I could use my uh, silk touch to collect this glass. I I own uh, Cyberpunk 2077, but I've never played it past the like intro. Put the dirt in here and see what happens. The answer is nothing. But no, I haven't played it. Okay, so we got everything we could get, I think. Yeah, there's there's nothing up front here. Would love to be able to use a bed or something and, you know, not be terrified of the creatures. But no, I looked around and I don't see anything here. Like, uh, I see a uh, trap, kind of. So you can collect the uh, the last now. Great. Goodbye, eggs. Hello, glass. Yep. Those are collectible. <clears throat> I probably don't need this stuff, but I'm going to go this way anyway. Yeah, it's just a furnace. There's nothing inside. There's some obsidian there. I'd like to get my hands on that. No eggs here, that's for sure. There we go, we got the obsidian. There's nothing else we need here. Let's get out. Okay. Look! We're on an airship. It's a great place to be. I'm sure that nothing bad will happen to us as we descend this ladder. Ahem. <clears throat> okay. Down we go. No big deal. Goodbye, airship. Said it was uh, boring. It was a uh, little, uh, little overblown. Could have been something really scary, though. We had no way of knowing. Okay, give me a second there. Do, 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 do. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought it was cool. I just uh, think it should have had, like, two more spawners and potentially, I don't know, something scary as opposed to just a bunch of skeletons. Oh, God, sp spiders! Crap, 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 crap. Z zombies, 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 get out here. Zombies, go! Run, run, run. Does it fly? It's a stationary object that was built. Uh, yes. Okay. Here we go. We, we can go back now. We just have to be extra careful. There's some enchanted pants there, which are hilarious looking. Um, taking all the money and uh, EXP we can get our hands on, of course. But, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. You would have moved into that thing? I mean, yeah, like, I could use teleport coordinates to literally live there if I wanted to. Gold pants. Goodbye, bone. Wait, hello, bone. Is that, that's a goodbye glass panel. Hello, bone. The glass panel is not actually useful. The bone is extremely useful. So. Let's figure out where the hell we are in relation to everything else. There's a house over there. Yes. Could have made parachutes. I mean, I can, uh... I can glide. Like, like Zelda, you know? Uh... What do you call it? I like loot, but, uh, I prefer exploration. Yep. So, uh... 
long as something's cool, I'm okay with there not being cool loot in it, provided that, uh, you know. Like, it, it's all randomized loot anyway, so how, how do you, uh, you know. How, how are you uh, absolutely certain uh, that something's going to have cool loot? And the answer is, you can't be. All right, we are heading back now. We are going northwest. Wait, what's this? What, what, what is this? Give me light. Oh. What's, what's that? It's an Enderman. Fair enough. Yes. His name is Lunk. Hmm. That, that person named Link. Yes. Oh, boy. Okay. Let me put this away here. Gotta put, gotta put some things in the backpack. Or we'll be sad. Yeah, lacquered plates. Same deal. Okay. I don't know what that did. It moved things around. Hmm. I hear creatures. Creatures in the dark. Hmm. Hear them. Where are they? There's a tower over there for us to check out. To the south. But... I keep hearing noises. And it makes me wonder... What's back here? Pistons. Treasure chests. Redstone. Pistons, treasure chests, redstone. Diamond. Fair enough. You want me to have diamond? I get rid of gunpowder, thanks. Hello, diamond. What's this? Orb of quality. Mm, some chaos gemeralds. More bones. Really? Coins? I'll take all the coins, thanks. Ancient dart. Oh, it's supposed to shoot that dart at you. Okay, fair enough. I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, there's three types of wood here. That explains the problem. Yeah. There we go. That's one chest. The other one is also gold. There's a rune there, too. Hell yeah. Hmm. Get out, rotten flesh. Hmm. Yep, there we go. Got the rune. Crazy. So there was supposed to be a trap here that shot you. Apparently. Because I see all this redstone, like, circuitry down here. Hello, zomboy. Oh, there's another trap to shoot you. That you said, uh, Nintendo, um, they call it, uh, a retcon Samus into uh, several things, yes. But his name is Metroid, and he's a cyborg dude. Keep that in mind. Alrighty then. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, hilarious. Do, 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 do. Mm hmm Glorious. Mm hmm 
When was this? March 16th. No. No, no. We're already clocking 